race. 30.3 for Rossiter, up to second. We hope you guys are enjoying the live broadcast of the 2024 Southern Indoor Championship, and we want to thank all of our sponsors for helping us make that happen. Battle for the lead rages down the straightaway, heading into the chicane. We're following it live. And here comes the battle for second down the straightaway. It's gonna be a three-way battle coming up on Little Bump and Justin Fails, Lutz, Westergaard, and Fend. That's the battle to watch as they're coming down the step down. Rossiter right there with the best lap of the entire race. 30.3 for Rossiter, up to second.
We hope you guys are enjoying the live broadcast of the 2024 Southern Indoor Championship, and we want to thank all of our sponsors for helping us make that happen. Huge shout out to all of our 2024 race time sponsors, including Absolute Hobbies, J Concepts, Techno RC, Reds Racing, Team Losi Racing, VP Racing Fuels, BeachRC.com, aka Nitro Pro, ProTech RC, Trinity, S Works, Lugs Racing Tires, TNR Fuels, HB Racing, A Main Hobbies, and On Point Graphics. We hope you guys are. All righty then, we are back. Our first A man of the day, 40 plus Nitro Buggy. Hope you guys have been enjoying the coverage. Never got my Red Bull, Kobe. Never got it. All right, up first, NorCal native, Bryce Beaver. Have you got me on? Are we ready to go, Danny Paz? Hello, Danny. All right, we are ready. Says our guys. Bryce Beaver, Chuck Berg, Ryan Dunford, Donald Elliott, Mark Morrow, Mark Moon. All right, so let's get that overlay off, guys. Let's get ready to start. Bryce Beaver, Chuck Berg. We know Chuck Berg can do 10-minute pit stops. Adam Drake pitting for Chuck Berg this weekend. Dakota Fenn is pitting for Ryan Dunford, returning the favor, good to see. And they are off. 30 minute, 40 plus Nitro Buggy Main here at the 2024 SIC. This is our first A Main of the day. Let's get ready to rumble. Let's get ready to boogity, 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 boys. It's time to go racing. This is racing for all the marbles, no bump ups. No first, second, or third, no second or third. You want that first spot right now. Oh, Bryce Beaver getting wrong, Chuck Berg. Gonna take over that lead in the uh, <clears throat> in the Dragons back. So let's get back off this shot. As someone heard my request, and I greatly appreciate that, Mr. Daniel Rankin. Thank you, sir. then so Chuck Berg out to an early lead he throws down a 35-4 Bryce Beaver in second Mark Morrow making the trip over from Texas so we got Mugen we got three pillow ball cars out there in the N1 we got Chuck Berg in the Mugen Bryce Beaver in that in that uh, associated and Mark Moon in the S-Works Don Elliott in that N1 Mark Morrow sorry Thank you for the correction. Mark Moon, Mark Morrow, very easy to get mixed up. Completely, com they look completely different though. Chuck Berg, I tell you, when I tell you this guy's package is on point, it is on point. And he can do 10 minute, 10 minute pit stops, no problem. So Bryce Beaver not letting him get too far away. Chuck Berg is now 2.3 seconds ahead of Bryce Beaver. I missed that. All righty then, so Chuck Berg. Bryce Beaver getting it wrong in the uh, Dragon's back. I missed it, I'll have to go back and have a look at it. All right, so I heard that coming into my ears ready. All right. All right, we're going to try to find out who that truck, that car was. Chuck Berg still out front. He is out there in no man's land right now. I hope this is going to be reminiscent of this 40-plus man. I know Chuck wants it to be easy. Come on, Bryce, you can pick it up the pace. Chase him down. You guys had a, a great battle in qualifying. But after that big mishap in the 
Dragons back. Bryce Beaver on the back foot right now. 3.6 six seconds back. Not too bad. There you see Bryce coming into shot. So he is starting to put on the afterburners and chase down. Sam here, Grant. Thank you, sir. Sam here, Grant. Safe travels back home. Chuck Berg. So Don Elliott and Mark Moon now battling it out. We got Don Elliott, Mark Moon, Mark Morrow all battling out for that third spot. So it's Chuck Berg from Bryce Beaver, Don Elliott, Mark Moon, Mark Morrow, Ryan Dunford now up to six. Bobby Smith in seventh. Dave Teller in eighth. There's the battle between Mark Moon and Don Elliott. These two stalwarts of the Southeast community racing out here. Mark and that associated. All right, so the car that cut the track, we believe, is currently running in 12th position. Well, car number 15, we're not sure about that. But Mark Moon, out front, got Don Elliott right behind him. Mark getting it wrong in the Dragons back. Bryce Beaver having a long lap, a 38-4 for him. We got four minutes and 16 seconds. Awesome, Matt. Good to see you guys. Safe travels. Mark Moon fending off a hard charging Don Elliott. Chuck Berg's lead now up to 6.7 seconds over Bryce Beaver. Chuck Berg clicks off a 36-3. Bryce Beaver going to answer that with a 35-4. Still 5.7 seconds back looking on our battle to the front. Right now we are on tap of our battle for the lead. is Mark Moon in that blue and white car. Yellow wheels. Don Elliott in that pink and white car. And Mark Morrow in that all red car. So this is our battle. That is third, fourth, and fifth right now. Thank you, Daniel Rankin, for that Red Bull. Greatly appreciate it. Thank you for everybody that showed me some love her. Oh, Mark Moon has a... Mark Moon flames out. Moon Pie flames out. Mark Moon flames out. That's going to knock him out. Mark Morrow up the fourth. Don Elliott can get by now. He's going to set his sights on those two guy front runners. There's Chuck Berg. He's out front. No worries. For him right now, he's got a 3.1 second lead over Bryce Beaver. Let's see where Bryce Beaver is when it all shakes out. Chuck Berg across the line at 35.6. Beaver looks to have a long lap. A very long lap for Beaver. 40 point flat. I think uh, Beaver just having a bad lap there. And that lead now goes to 7.4. Dunford way down the line in 8th. It's going to be Chuck Berg coming across the line again, solidly out front, our leader right now. That black car with these fluorescent yellow side dams. Bryce Beaver trying to make some end runs. Another long lap for him, a 38-9, down 10.3 seconds. Chuck out to a big lead over, the, over second. We're going to try and find a battle between Mark Morrow and Don Elliott. We also got a battle going on between... Ever and Ryan Dunford for fifth and six. All right, here is our closest battle. Mark Morrow and Don Elliott battling out. We got Texas S Works versus N1. There's there you see Don Elliott just coming through the uh, Dragons back, making his way down into the Newtown Valley. Behind them is Ever Lobos and Ryan Dunford. They're embroiled in a battle for fifth. But we're looking at the battle for third right now. Bryce Beaver. All right, so Don Elliott in for fuel. Our first fit stop at seven minutes and 30 seconds. We expect Mark Morrow to come in here shortly. Chuck Berg, we know, can go 10 minutes, but he's got a 10.9 second lead over Bryce Beaver. All right, so... 
We should have a pit from Chuck soon. Let's follow Mark Morrow in. Morrow coming in for fuel. Let's see how his fuel stop goes. Dwayne Rose on the fuel and Ricardo Fauch. Good pit stop, shaking it. Good pit stop by those guys. Bryce Beaver though, still way down the line, 12.8 seconds back. There's Bryce Beaver, just going up. I think that's Beaver that got it wrong. Nope. There's Chuck. The Iceberg Slim. Nope. Chuck should be coming in shortly. He's got another minute and a half. Chuck Berg making his way through that rhythm section. The Dragon back as we're calling it. Down into Nuketown Valley he does go. That Mugen MBX-8R looking very good out there. His tuning engine is, his tuning package is absolutely great running that Drake engine. Getting those 10 minute pit stops. But right now he has a 22.6 second lead over Bryce Beaver. That's going to go down again when he comes in for fuel. He's probably going to go another lap before he does that. So right now, running order, Chuck Burke, Bryce Beaver, Mark Morrow, Donald Elliott, Ryan Dunford now up to fifth. Dunford on the move. He's 8.3 seconds back of Don Elliott. Nope. He's going to stay out one more. He's doing 10 minutes. So Chuck Burke, we're going to follow him in. He's got Adam Drake pitting him. Uh-oh. Getting into some lap traffic right there. Uh, Adam Drake. On the fuel gun for Chuck Berg. Let's zoom out a little bit. As he's getting ready to come in for his fuel now. Ten minutes on the dot for Chuck. Let's see. Let's watch this pit by Adam Drake. Up into the pit. Smooth. Drake. Oh! A little bit of a bobble, but no harm, no foul. Drake making sure he gets full. Good pit stop for Chuck Berg. All righty then. So, good pit stop. Not the fastest, but a good one nonetheless. He doesn't need the fastest one. It's going to be Chuck Berg for Bryce Beaver. Mark Morrow, Donald Elliott, Ryan Dunford now up into fifth place. Mark Morrow and Don Elliott going back at it on the track. There we see those guys coming through the Dragon's back. That's Don Elliott using... I, I don't know who that was, but they were using that uh, staging as a berm. All right, we got a battle brewing between Mark Morrow and Don Elliott. Actually, there's a battle brewing between Bryce Beaver and Mark Morrow. They're separated by three seconds. Let's find that all orange car of Mark Morrow, and you can find Bryce Beaver. We are currently following our leader, Chuck Berg. Driving very smart, not taking any unnecessary chances. As we're gonna pick up on our we're gonna pick up with our third place, our second place battle that's ruined between Bryce Beaver and Mark Morrow. Alright, so we're on board with Mark Morrow and that solid orange S works. He's trying to chase down Bryce Beaver. When they come across the line, that's separated by 3.7 seconds. There's Beaver. Oh, no. Mark Morrow getting caught up in some lap traffic. Oh, my goodness. What? That is unfortunate for Morrow. There's Don Elliott who's going to take advantage of that. Don Elliott, that pink and white car, black wing. Now right behind Mark Morrow. So this is a battle. Don Elliott getting out in front of Mark Morrow now. So Don Elliott back up into third. There's Don Elliott right now, looking to come on the straightaway, avoiding all those bumps. Don Elliott with a 35-3. He's got a six sec, a 2.2 second lead over Mark Morrow, but he's six seconds back of Bryce Beaver. Bryce Beaver now 6.7 seconds back of Chuck Berg after Chuck Berg having a long lap at this pit. So it's starting to tighten up here at the top. Chuck Berg only got 6.7 seconds over Bryce Beaver. A 37.9 for Chuck that time by, but right now we're following that pink 
and blue car. White wing car of Don Elliott. 38-4. And guess what? Don Elliott is uh, almost right there's uh there is Bryce Beaver just jumping up that yellow that car of the yellow wing. We can see him just going over that double. Don Elliott is starting to catch up. Oh, just as I said that Don Elliott gets it wrong. Oh my goodness. Oh. So Don Elliott gonna have to do it all over again. Mark Morrow just took, took advantage of that and now is in third. There's Mark Morrow in that solid orange car. He's gonna try and challenge Don Beaver. There's Beaver just going onto the straightaway. So Mark Morrow, early 2.3 seconds back. So Morrow on the hunt. Nobody seems to have anything for Chuck Berg though. He's 13.2 seconds up. After that long lap, he's clipping off some fast laps. Morrow making his way, trying to, t trying to find and clip on there. Oh, wow. There's Beaver just in front of him, so he's not too far away right now. All right, Mark Morrow. I think he got around Beaver. He got around Beaver just now as he went down into the Nuketown Valley. That's right, Mark Morrow not up, now up to second. Bryce Beaver chasing him six tenths back. Bryce Beaver, that yellow wing car right behind that orange car. So this is our battle for third. Woo! Chuck. Chuck not worried about anything going on right now because he's got a 15.6 second lead over these guys. So this is right now is our battle for second. We got 15 minutes and 20 seconds left to go in this race. So lots of time left for things to happen. Now Bryce chasing on that solid orange car white wheels as we watch our second place driver Mark Morrow coming across in second. Blake, uh, Bryce Beaver right behind him. That's NorCal versus Texas. That's a S works that orange car and that yellow winged associated behind him, yellow and blue. Don Elliott, 6.4 back of these guys. Ryan Dunford, 8.2 back of Don Elliott. That's your top five. So Chuck Berg out front with a 15 second lead, followed by Mark Morrow, Bryce Beaver, Don Elliott. Ryan Dunford, Aver Lobos, Randy Anger, Dave Taylor, Brad Nimonik, and Larry Commissaire, your top 10. We got some pit stops coming in, so Beaver coming in for fuel. Now that's Mark Wheel. Let's get back on our on, on number two, that solid orange car. He should be coming in for fuel soon too. Mark Morrow coming through the Dragons back right now. Keeping this move going very wide. We're going to catch him up going on into the Nuke Valley. Nuke Town Valley. I think Morrow is going to come in for some fuel right now. And he does. Let's follow him in. Dwayne Rose and Ricardo Faust doing the fueling duties. Another great pit stop. Giving him a shake. Mark Morrow got one more pit to go. He's going to come out in second, I believe. Yep, Bryce Beaver is behind him. Right there behind him is Chuck, is Bryce Beaver. Hold on, guys. Don't go anywhere yet. So right now we have a battle for second between Mark Morrow and Bryce Beaver. But we're going to check out our first place driver right now, Chuck Berg, who can do 10-minute 10, 10 pit stops. He's not due to come in for another three minutes. Let's see him make his way through this lap traffic. I think that's Don Elliott. He's about to put a lap down. That's car number four. Chuck Berg in the zone. Absolutely flying. Let's get back to that Mark Morrow, Bryce Beaver battle. All right. So there's Mark Morrow and Bryce Beaver battling it out through that Dragon's, dragon's back. Beaver with that yellow wing right behind Morrow in that all orange. Don Elliott too far back not to be involved in this mix. Morrow looking very solid as he comes flying down the straightaway. Beaver was looking good in qualifying now, but being challenged by Mark Morrow, not able to, these guys just allowing Chuck the Iceberg Slim to just take a lead and never look back. Morrow making his way through the washboard. Beaver going on the inside, having to check up a little bit. Both of them 
keeping it smooth over the Dragon's back, not risking anything. Down into Nuke Town Valley. And they're going to be separated by woo, four tenths of a second. Just under half a second separates these two drivers. It seems to be a lot closer on the track. We are getting treated to a vicious battle right here. We are 18 minutes and 15 seconds into this race. We got 11 minutes and 43 seconds left to go. We're going to see one more pit stop with these guys. One more pit stop for Chuck Berg as he's going 10 minutes. Morrow looking very solid out there right now. That s rex is working very good for him. He's able to pull away from Bryce when he wants and put his car wherever he wants. Bryce playing catch up. Oh, Bryce just kisses the pipe, turns him around. That's going to give some breather into Mark Morrow. We're following our second place driver, Mark Morrow. Orange car, black wing, white wheels. That gap is going to be spread out to about two seconds when they come across the, the line, barring any mistakes by Morrow. Beaver trying to get back in touch. He did pick up some pace. Let's see when it comes to Morrow. A 35-9. Beaver, a 38-4, 2.8 seconds back. Chuck Berg should be coming in. Let's pick up Chuck. He should be coming in for some fuel. I would stay. I would get on pit. I would get on pits and see him. Or I would just find him and follow him into pit. Everybody likes the Adam Drake pit stop. Nothing else going on. He's just too far ahead. Jeff Tarrant cheering on Mark Morrow, Team Texas. There we are, Chuck Burke. He's going to come in for field. It's going to be his last stop of the day. Chuck Burke was doing this 10 minute. Woo! 10 minute stops at, at uh, Peach State. He's been doing them all day today. Oh no, getting a little bit of traffic is Chuck Burke. That pit stop would take him away from all of that. That seems to keep it calm. He's coming in. Let's see. Drake. Oh, much better pit stop so far. That was a fast one. Good stop by Drake. Good form. Good job, Chuck. Good to go for the rest of the race. Mark, Beaver, Don. Everybody else got to come in one more time. We are on board of our lead. He's actually coming up to lap uh, second place, which is Mark Morrow. Oh, no, Mark Morrow is actually behind him now, sorry. But he's looking to get back. Mark Morrow does have to come in one more time. So once it all cycles out, Mark Morrow to that lead. Chuck Berg now 1.7 seconds back. But Morrow is going to have to come in one more time. So our orange car, Morrow getting it wrong. Oh! Berg getting it wrong. But what Morrow wants to do is stay in front of Chuck as much as he can and make Chuck work for it. Oh, Chuck having a rough, a rough couple of laps after his pit stop. So stay on Mark Morrow. He's currently in front. He does have to come in one more time, though. Beaver now 2.5 seconds back of Chuck Berg. Make that 3.6, but right now we're looking at Mark Morrow, who's leading this race, but has one more pit stop to come in, and Chuck is good to go for the rest of the day, but Chuck, if, if Chuck's smart, he just chills out, runs his race, and doesn't use too much throttle, doesn't make that lead be too big for uh, Mark. Mark needs to really push the issue and get in front as far as far front as possible in front of Chuck. And just as I say that, we see Mark coming in for fuel, and there goes Chuck. And that and Chuck, and now it's gonna be all on Mark. Can he push hard enough to catch up to Chuck? That was a good pit stop. He might be able to do it. Good pit stop. He's good to go. Seven and a half left to go. No! Chuck getting it wrong. Long marshal for him. Shame, shame, shame. Getting it wrong after such a good pit stop. All right, so Bryce Beaver into second now. But he's got to come in for fuel. 
Yellow ink, blue and yellow car. There's Bryce Beaver, our second place car. Now coming into the pits. He's good to go to the end of the race. It's going to be a race between Bryce Beaver and Mark Morrow, barring any failure by Chuck Berg. Chuck Berg doesn't have to come in anymore. Oh, man. So Bryce Beaver looking to hold on to that second place. Mark Morrow, 7.8 seconds back. But that will cycle out as they come across for their pit, pit stops. Bryce not taking any chances going through that Dragon's back. Up next is our Sportsman Nitro Truggy A final. Ooh. Dunford now up to fourth. Don Elliott down to fifth. Our running order Chuck Berg, Bryce Beaver, Mark Morrow, Ryan Dunford, Don Elliott, Randy Anger, Ever Lobes, Dave Taylor, Brad Nimonik, Larry Comercier. Now moving up to ninth. Mark Moon, Greg Roop, Gilbert Jimenez, Bobby Smith, Jake Wilm. Alberto Zimbardo, only one racer out out of 17. Yeah, sure, if you want to. We're going to pick up Ryan Dunford, who's here racing with us in that all-yellow car, TLR. We had a great chat with him yesterday in the, in the booth. Ryan Dunford currently in fifth, battling it out with Ryan, uh, Don Elliott. He took a TQ as well yesterday in one of the rounds. Chuck Berg, still 6.5 seconds up on Bryce Beaver. Four minutes and 53 seconds left to go in this race. Our first A main of the day. All right. Chuck Berg. Nine seconds up on second place. Chuck Burke, Bryce Beaver, Mark Merrill, Don Elliott, Ryan Dunford, your top five. Randy Anger now moving up to that sixth spot. There is our second place driver, Bryce Beaver, who has a 8.5 second lead up on third. So we thought Mark Morrow at that very quick fuel, fuel stop would be able to Put his head down and muster up a challenge for Chuck Burke, but unfortunately having some crashes coming out of there and that has caused him to uh, still be on the top three. Uh, but no real challenge for Bryce Beaver here or Chuck Burke. Beaver kind of consigned to that second place with three minutes and 43 seconds left to go and an 11 second deficit to make up. He needs the RC gods to intervene and cause Chuck to have some issues. Or some bad laps if Beaver wants to uh, make a challenge. But with 3 minutes and 26 seconds left to go, Chuck Bark having that superior one fuel stop less pitch strategy definitely coming into his advantage in this 30-minute main. He still has a, a 40 uh, intermediate nitro buggy main to run as well. That's really, really, really going to come in handy because he's starting kind of far down the line. Two minutes and 59 seconds left to go. And we are gonna line up with Chuck Berg, who uh, we saw him do this a few months ago at Peach State. Absolutely flying. Great driving from Chuck. And he'll be pumped if he wins this, but still. Anything can happen with two minutes and 28 seconds. Like that, getting spun around. Anything can happen. But able to overcome that adversity in the Dragon's back. Chuck Burr comes by, that's gonna be a 38-6. Still not that bad of a lap for him. 
That lead still 10.2 seconds out in front of Bryce Beaver. We are on board with that Mugen MBX, MB, MBX, MBX8R. Got running the full Drake package. Even got Drake pitting for him. You guys are watching the 40 plus Nitro Buggy A final, our first A final today, 30 minutes long. Chuck Berg got out to a lead, lost it a few times in his pit cycles, but uh, running one less stop than everybody, giving him, an, giving him an advantage over the entire field. It's gonna be Chuck Berg, Bryce Beaver, Mark Merrill, Don Elliott, Ryan Dunford, your top five. Fifty-three seconds left in this race. Yeah, man. All right, 17 seconds left to go, and we are on board with our front runner, Chuck Berg. Well-deserved win here. Chuck and his boys came down and beat up on the Southeast guys here a few months ago, and they have started it all over again. <laughs> the No Pro RC team coming down here to the Southeast. Duking it out, gonna take their first win of the day. As he comes across the line, well done, Chuck Berg. Gonna be your overall 40 plus Nitro Buggy winner, followed by Bryce Beaver, Mark Morrow, Don Elliott, Ryan Dunford, your top five. Good job, Chuck Berg. Whew, what an excellent drive. Woo! 10 minute pit stops, guys. That definitely, uh, I mean, he drove well as well. His package is good, but having to do that one last pit stop, that guys are always gonna be at a disadvantage. They kinda had to push it and get out to a lead and not let him take it. He got out to that lead, and uh, and uh, Chuck Berg will take the victory. We're gonna wait for these guys to come over to the podium. We hope you guys are enjoying the live broadcast of the 2024 Southern Indoor Championship, and we want to thank all of our sponsors for helping us make that happen. Huge shout out to all of our 2024 race time sponsors, including Absolute Hobbies, J Concepts, Techno RC, Reds Racing, Team Losi Racing, VP Racing Fuels, BeachRC.com, aka Nitro Pro, ProTech RC, Trinity, S Works, Lugs Racing Tires, TNR Fuels, HB Racing, a main hobbies and on point graphics. All right, just waiting on Mark Morrow to come back here real quick. Here he comes.
Hey, shut them down, please. Shut them down. Shut them down, please. Shut it down, please. All right, we ready to go? We got one more, one more here, one more. All right, here we go. In that number five spot, it's going to be Ryan Dunford. In the number four, it is Donald Elliott. In the number three, Mark Morrow. In the number two spot, Bryce Beaver. In your 2024 Southern Indoor Champion, here for 40 plus Nitro Buggy, it is Chuck Berg. Congratulations, Chuck Berg, taking the win here in the 2024 Southern Indoor Championship. Man, a hard-fought battle here. That car was super fast here this weekend. Come on over here and get you an interview with Lefty. Race, our sportsman, Nitro Truckee. Fire him back up, fire him back up while we get our interview. All right, get them warmed up here. Let's get our turn marshals out here. All right, I'm here with Chuck Berg. Whoa, well, 10 minute pits, one less than everybody. Good job, man. Yeah, thank you. Again, OS 83 Drake, Flashpoint Fuel, J Concept tires, everything was on point. Yeah, and having Drake pitting you, first stop was a little bit slower, but he got you there. The second stop was epic. Good drive. I mean, you kind of, when you have that one pit advantage, it kind of just puts everybody at a disadvantage out there. Yeah, I mean, I definitely needed it. Um, however, I kept getting stuck in traffic because of the pit cycle. So, like the back double double section, I kept running into the mid race there, running into a lot of wrecks. So it kind of slowed me up. But it's hard to just kind of slow down and just uh, dodge everything. But that's kind of what it was half the race was dodging things. So, all right. Well, you guys coming on to, uh, to, uh, we came coming back down to the southeast a few months after you came back down here and starting back up where you guys finished off. Congratulations, good luck to you and your intermediate man as well, and all to the rest of you guys that came down with you. Good job. Thanks, Lefty. Appreciate it. I hope to see you some more. Absolutely, absolutely. All right, Chuck Berg taking that first A main win. We're getting ready for our sportsman uh, Nitro Truggy class coming up. They're going up there for the warm up races. I'm going to get back and move to call all the action for you guys. We hope you guys are enjoying the live broadcast of the 2024 Southern Indoor Championship, and we want to thank all of our sponsors for helping us make that happen. Mudding on the 16 and James Sarton on the 17. <laughs> Figured you like that. All right. We're ready to roll here, guys. Racers ready. Marshals ready. Let's fuel them up, fuel them up, fuel them up, fuel them up. Clean them out, clean them out, clean them out. Down and quiet. Race number 30 underway. Sportsman Nitro Truggy. Easy guys on the start now. Easy, easy, easy. Don't kill each other. Murder is frowned upon on the first lap. Yeah. 
It's going to be Jesse Davis out in front after setting TQ. Lance Flowers, though, diving to the inside. All right, we have started Jesse Davis starting on pole. Truggy time. Lance Flowers out front, though. Peach State Hobbies running those Ogo tires. Lance always doing well in that uh, Sportsman Nitro Truggy class. He is a Truggy driver for sure. Does well in, in, in the Nitro Buggy class as well, too. Woo! As we get ready to go here, we're following Lance. That blue, white, and purple car. White wing, white, white wheels. Ogo tires. Georgia Peach State representing them. Lance coming by. That's a 35 4 form. Jesse Davis in second. Followed by Alex Cummings, Rob Ward, Brad Bowman, Nick Snethen. Alrighty, we are on race number 30 of the event. 15 more races to go. Alrighty then, so we're gonna get both moving cameras for you guys for this man. Hey Jared, I told him to come. He hasn't come over here, man. I'm behind the booth. I don't know what you want me to do. I'm out there doing interviews. That's up to him to come over here and do it. Message him. Tell him to come on over. I'm waiting for him. All right. But we do have Matt Walter in the house. Come on over. So one of our sponsors joining us in the booth today is Matt Walter making his way over from the Techno team. How hey, you doing, Matt? Hey, hey doing good, Keenan. How are you, man? It's kind of weird hearing yourself, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, good to see you. Uh, you guys uh, doing pretty good. You got Mayfield out there, TQ and Truggy. Uh, Spencer Hackett in his new ride. Wiggins looking pretty good out there. No Seth and Dan. I know we had a, a bit of an emergency come up. But... Uh, how are you liking your start of 2024? So far, it's been great, actually. And I think we we had a great 2023. I think we ended really strong. Absolutely. Um, team's done really well. Everybody's working really well together. Couldn't couldn't be happier, honestly. Yes, absolutely. Uh, went out on a bang with AMS with Mayfield taking that win. Very dominating win for him there as well. Uh, he seemed very confident when I was talking to him early on this week. And uh, we're happy to see... Uh, one second, guys. Let's, we need to get closer. We're going to do in it. In, come, come a little bit closer there, Matt. We're going to try and get us on camera. Yeah. We got to got, got to get up close and personal. <laughs> uh, we see some changes. We see over in Europe. We signed Yal Figueredo. That's good. We're starting to see some inroads for techno going in Europe. I recently uh, did a call for the buggy land races. So a lot of people running techno e, e truggies over there in Spain. A lot of people coming from France. Yeah. So. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about your strategy going into Europe? Over there? I know in America, but uh, I know mm -hmm. you, Europe is a big market as well. Yeah, absolutely. Well, this year in um, in Europe, we're kind of making a little little bit of a push. We're, we got added a couple more drivers. Instead of having typically our, our single pro driver, we're going to have two, three, three drivers. So it's going to be good. Um, we think it'll be great. There's uh, it's, Europe is a market that we have had difficulty getting into mm -hmm. and uh, this is kind of a different strategy that we're we're hoping will help uh, bring some attention to the brand and maybe open people's eyes on on what techno can do so. absolutely absolutely uh, released some new I would say four by four short push truck we was recently at a race last week up in Lukama we had two heats I think three heats of four by four wow. short push truck awesome. lots of technos up there you released two new ones you have the SL I think which is more for the indoor type of mm -hmm. uh, lighter version I mm -hmm. want to say yeah then the more heavy duty uh, off outdoor four by four truck mm -hmm. as well then you released the new 10 scale monster truck so yes. you guys still 
developing new things or can we expect to see anything new coming out in the racing categories in the next couple of months well that's that's a that's possibility always you know we're always testing new stuff we've you know we've got uh, new bulkheads that we released last year we've got new shock towers that we've done uh, front end stuff that we've done there's also lots of other things that we're we're doing and testing so it's a uh, it's a big possibility but yes our uh, our platforms that we've released in the past year or so have been kind of tent scale focused. It's uh, it's the the uh, short course, the SL, that's based off the tent scale 4x4 platform. Um, and then we released the uh, SET 2.0. Uh, that's that's a whole new platform, actually, but it is 8 scale based. Uh, it has new chassis, new bulkheads, new arms, new pretty much everything. I think the only things that are kind of reused are bearings and screws and maybe a couple other parts. But uh, other than that, it's completely brand new. And then the uh, the MT410 uh, uh, 2.0 uh, that also is built off that new platform that the SET okay. is. So yeah, it's it's a uh, it's a good one for us. We we wanted to make some changes. We had the short course out for I think it was out for eight years actually. Oh, wow. Since there had been a revision on it, so it, it's it's been a great platform, done very well for us, both that and the monster truck. So we we wanted to really put some time into it. That platform was in development for almost three years actually. Okay. All oh, really? the testing and stuff they they were doing with it. So it. We put it through its paces and did a lot of bashing and, you know, just messing around, you know, racing with the short course, but the monster truck really isn't a race platform, so we were kind of testing that, and, you know, in pretty harsh conditions, you know, just doing drag races and stuff and jumping it, just doing crazy stuff with it, just to make sure it, uh, make sure it had, you know, the stability, the durability, everything that, you know, we've kind of been known for, um, you know, as, as a brand, we try to, we try to really, you know, we want to have performance-based products, but we also want to make sure they're durable and dependable absolutely, so that absolutely. they can last through some crashes yeah. and stuff. Yeah, and the MT410 is considered like one of the uh, best bashers out there. I have one myself. Yeah. I definitely thoroughly enjoy it. But let's bring it back to the race side here. <laughs> yeah. uh, Ryan Mayfield, first year, a big signing for you guys in 2022, paid off. What is it like to work with somebody uh, who races the caliber, the, the uh, intensity of a Ryan Mayfield? Well, it's it's been great actually. You know, we've had the we've had the luck of having Lutz on the team, Joe Bornhorst on the team, Jared Tebow on the team, um, and now Ryan Mayfield, which is awesome. Spencer Heckert, uh, uh, which we just added this year, which is great. You know, of course we've got Seth, we've got Joey and Cole, um, and Jared Wiggins also. You know, not last but not least, uh, but. The whole team has been great. We've been blessed to have, uh, you know, great guys on the team that represent well, that, you know, add value to the brand, you know, whether it's helping with customers, whether it's racing, whether it's helping with the team. You know, honestly, anything that they can add to the team is, has always been great. And uh, Ryan, Ryan has, uh, Ryan's been a lot of fun, actually. It's, okay. it's, he's, he's been, he's been a different driver for us in the, in the sense that, you know, he's actually kind of local for us. So we can, we can go out to Arizona. He can come to California. We can run together which has been great um, and then just working with the rest of the team he's been excellent he's uh, he's kind of like a mentor for some of the younger kids which is which is awesome that was a that was a real big thing that we talked to him about and he's he's been great with that also and yeah he said he had uh, Spencer Eckert out for about two or three weeks uh, prior to him releasing uh, you mm -hmm. guys announcing him testing the cars with him getting used to it he's good friends with Spencer it's always good to see I always see the techno team I mean you guys are over there you all pitted together uh, pro guys, non-pro guys. Yeah, try to. Uh, definitely see Techno doing well uh, on a regional basis around the USA as well. And I guess we're looking forward to seeing if we can re repeat the same performance over there in Europe. Uh, we definitely thank you for coming over here and being a big part of the race time events. I know you've been doing this for quite, quite some time. Also supporting me on the No Name RC podcast. Absolutely. And uh, La I know you support Lance McDonald and the FRCC a lot. Um, so very good from you guys there at Techno. Tell us what you guys like about coming over to these race time events. They are turning. We have four big events here. Yeah. DMB coming up next, not yeah. too not too far long from now. I'm expecting to see a big uh, techno team there as well. Yeah, absolutely. No, we're, we'll come out in force for sure. Uh, the biggest thing is the competition. You know, we always have really good competition here. We can show what the products can do. And then the other big thing is is just meet, getting to meet all the customers and you know working with all the customers, helping them if they have any issues. You know, just building that relationship with customers. That's always the biggest thing for us. Absolutely, absolutely. I, you know, I'm just going around talking to people. You guys have that uh, that veterans discount as well. That that <laughs> appeals to a lot of new racers getting into it. I was just talking to a guy about that. You, you have very good products. They're very tough. They seem to work in all conditions. 
Uh, I really like your e truggy It's killing it out here. I need to get one one day myself. Yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, awesome to see what Techno is doing. I know you said that we have a few surprises coming up. Silly season isn't over. I look forward to some of those announcements being made. I know that they're over on the other side of the pond. Yeah. So Techno definitely doing big things in 2024. Yeah. Hopefully we'll make that those announcements here really soon. We're just waiting on a couple of things, but we'll get that info out. And, and thanks, Keenan. You've done a great job with the with the podcast, with the videos and stuff. You know, the more the more attention we can get to racing, the better. You know, the more Absolutely. the more bashers, the more enthusiasts we can convert into racers, the better. And and if there's anything that Techno can do to help out with that, we're we're definitely behind it. Oh, so. absolutely. Well, we appreciate your support of all race time events. Uh, the support of myself. And we wish you and the Techno team a lot of luck going into these rest of these finals here later on today. Awesome. Thanks, Keenan. Appreciate right. it. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. Good stuff. And thank you for lunch yesterday. No, you're welcome. Yeah. Pretty good chicken, huh? Yes, it was. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, Matt. All right, everybody. Just had a quick talk with Matt Walters from over in the Techno side. Don't worry, Jared. We're going to get Tim Lime in there just for you. I'm going to message him here shortly. But right now, we are looking at the, we have elapsed 11 minutes and 38 seconds in the Sportsman Nitro Truggy A final. Up next after this is the Intermediate Nitro Truggy final. Alex Cummings, Josh Fines, Jesse Davis, Matt Jones, Brad Bowman, Nick Sneth, and Scott Anderson, Ronald Kimball, Jonathan Bunton, Justin Andrus, Eric Dillon, James Sarton, Kirk Peterkin, your top 10, your top 13. <laughs> that would be something, eh, Daniel? All righty then. I think we're going to uh, put this over to Lance real quick because I actually have to... Uh, um, uh, we're going to put Lance over for a second. I'll be right back in about five minutes time, everybody. Near 12.30 down, 17.30 left to go, 12.30 down, 17.30 main. Sportsman Nitro Truggy, A main, out on the track. Race number 31 going to be coming up next. Race 31, intermediate Nitro Truck. Seventeen minutes left. You're thirteen thirty down, sixteen thirty left to go, thirteen thirty down, sixteen thirty remaining. Alex Cummings right now leading the way with Josh Fine working in at number two spot. Jesse Davis in the number three. Brad Bowman in the four. Matt Jones holding on to five. Nick Seth in at number six. You're 14 minutes down, 16, 16 minutes, minutes left. left to go. 14 minutes down, 16 minutes remaining. Race number 31 going to be coming up next. Closing in on the halfway point here. Alex Cummings right now with a 15-second lead up on the field. Now the round of fuel stops here underway. Alex and Josh, one and two. Jesse Davis in that number three. Brad Bowman in the four. Matt Jones, five. Again, guys, we're going to be done right about 8 o'clock tonight. About 8 o'clock, we should be done. About 8.30. 8.20.
In the bottom half of the race now, Alex Cummins still with the race lead. Waiting to come back to the line here. There he is crossing the line. Last time by, he was 13 seconds up on the field. Josh Fine, though, just ran his fast lap race out at 35.8. Josh now going to close that gap down to 8.5 seconds here. Jesse Davis working that number three spot. Matt Jones holding on to the four. Brad Bowman in the five. Here, 15.45 down, 14.15 left to go. Race number 30, currently on the track. Race number 31 going to be coming up next. Another a long lap left. here for Alex Cummings. Josh Fine going to be right there on him now. There's Josh Fine coming across the line with the race lead. Alex now down to that number two spot. New race leader here at the 14-minute mark. Josh Fine to the top of the leaderboard. Jesse Davis working that number three, 11 seconds back of the two. Brad Bowman holding on to that number four. Nick Sethin in that number five. Matt Jones right now in that number six spot, but only six tenths of a second away from podium. Thirteen minutes left. All right, you're seventeen minutes down. Thirteen minutes left to go. Alex Cummins now close in on the back side of Josh Fine here for that race lead as they go down that front straightaway, working that right hand side of the track. Here they come in towards that big hip jump. Alex Cummings all over the backside of Josh Fine as he's looking for the race lead. Them two are battling out. Josh Fine, I believe in that all. Oh, no. Oh, man. Oh, for a minute there, I heard a crack, and I thought it was just a pipe that was, that was breaking. Oh, he's all hung up on the – oh, no, it was a break. Oh, I, know. I thought I heard it. That right front broke on that blue truck. Oh, man, I, thought, I was hoping it was just a pipe, but, nope, I heard the snap when he hit the pipe. And breaks the right front. Josh Fine now still out of front. Alex Cummins, though, in that number two spot. For a minute there, I thought that was Josh in that blue truck, but it's not. He's still humming and going. Oh, that's Jonathan Bunting in that blue truck with an unfortunate break. You're now 18 minutes down, 12 minutes left. To All right, everybody, I am back. I do apologize for that. Sportsman Nitro Truggy A final, 11 minutes and 38 seconds left to go. We are on board with Josh Fine in that white car, green wheels, yellow wheels, black wing. He was with Josh Fine last weekend up in uh, Lukama. All right, guys talking about a blatant clap track clock. I wasn't watching that. I had to take a walk over to the uh, facilities. Oh, wow. Very hectic out there in that dragon's back. Let's see. I think that's Alex Cummings in that uh, pink and white car. Yep, that's Alex, that yellow wing car. I want to say, or oh, that car right there. I think that's Alex, too. That looks more like his colors, if I remember correctly. He's currently 4.5 seconds back of Josh Fine. We should see seeing a pit stop here shortly. There's our leader, Josh Fine, making his way through that washboard section. Over that Dragon's back, making quick work of it. Double, double, single. Mm. Josh Fine. Coming into the pits. Let's see what type of pit he gets. Oh, Don Elliott snatching that car. Great pit. Oh, great pit by Don Elliott. Both of these guys are up in Lukama. What's up, Dan Gangler? Josh Fine, Alex Cummins, Jesse Davis, Brad Bowman, Ronald Gimbel, Matt Jones, Nick, Nick Snethin. Let's see. 
First and second are really close right now after that pit stop. That white car, Josh Fine. Oh, good, Dangler. Josh Fine coming across the straightaway. Alex coming just in front of him. Alex will have to come in for fuel though. Alex, that red and yellow car. White wheels, yellow wing. Bryson says, how's the weather? It's sunny. It's, not, it's, it's cool. It's not too bad outside. What do you rather? Oh, man. Alex Cummings getting caught up on that pipe. Unfortunate for him. As he just got in front, he's going to have to come into pit, though, I believe, one more time. Let's follow. Oh, no. That's even going from bad to worse for uh, Alex. Deja vu right there. He said there might be something new in the rocks there, Jason. Okay. Alex now eight seconds back. We're going to get up to our leader, Josh Fine. That's, that's our leader right there. Sorry, I do apologize. That's Alex Cummings. Alex got to make up 8.8 .8 seconds on Josh Fine. Jesse Davis in third. Brad Bowman in fourth. Ronald Kimball fourth, fifth. And here is a battle shot of our leader, Josh Fine, making his way up that stop. You can see that divot right there. Making it hard for these guys. There are holes all over the track. This track is blown out in a way that I don't even know how to explain it. Not that bad, but the jump, the bumps that are there are very sharp, I would say. And it's very hard packed. So no real give in them. As now you can see, guys have been going right down that line the entire race, uh, avoiding that big hole. Coming onto the straightaway. Good morning, Coast to Coast RC. How are you guys doing over there in Australia? All right, so Josh Fine's got an, an, an 11-second lap. There's second. Now, I think it's a little bit too late now. They had a, a that's that's going to be, it's got seven minutes left. Seven minutes left in this race. Seven minutes left in this race. Your Sportsman Nitro Truggy A final. Up next is your Intermediate Nitro Truggy A main. Josh Fine out to that lead. He's got a 14 second lead over second place. He could come in for a little splash and dash if he wants to. Josh Fine, Alex Cummings, Brad Bowman, Ronald Kimball, Jesse Davis, Matt Jones, Nick Snethen, Justin Andres, Scott Anderson, Kirk Peterkin, Eric Dillon, our, our leader making a mistake. Great marshal from Dana. Dana going hardcore out there. Throwing that card on. Todd cheering on Alex Cummings. Alex, though, I think it's... We'll see. Unless Josh has to come in again. I didn't note what time he came in. He might have to come in again. But Alex having a long, long lap there right now. About 44.5 for Alex. 15.8 seconds back of Josh. Josh, though, getting it wrong. Five minutes and 52 seconds left to go. This race is not over. Josh flying out to that lead. Alex Cummins in second. Brad Bowman third. Ronald Kimball in fourth. Matt Jones in fifth. So Alex shouldn't give up, put his head down and click off some fast laps. Let's see if he can pick up car number five, our, our second place driver. There we go. He must have read my mind. Alex Cummings, though, cutting that lead down a few seconds, 12.1 last time around. Let's follow Alex as he goes through the Dragon's back. Nice and smooth. Down into the Nuketown Valley goes. Ronald Kimball, not Alex. So we gotta find Alex. Alex, one car back. 
There's Alex. I believe this is Alex with his yellow wing. Red and white paint job. Well, you got to go back. I believe his... There's Alex. There we go. Oh, no. That gap down to 2.2 seconds. So, Josh Fine, I think he came in for fuel. We're going to have a race on our hands. I think Alex is good to go for the rest of the day. So, Alex... Oh, there's first place. We are about to have a challenge for that lead. I believe Josh either had a long lap or it came in for fuel while we was finding Alex. Oh, no. Oh, I thought that was Alex that got it wrong through the Dragon's back. Oh, man. He just gets his two wheels up over that pipe. Luckily, he didn't flip. That's a bad place to flip. Alex coming by. That's a 37-1 for him. Josh Fine just had a 37 flat. Three minutes and 30 seconds left to go in this race. Alex trying to make his charge up, trying to get a win here. Josh Fine, oh no. This is going to be a lap that Alex wants to forget. Josh Fine getting a little bit of breathing room now. Alex doesn't have to worry about third place. He's way behind. He's a lap back from these guys. Josh Fine coming up to that straightaway. A 37-2. Alex going to clap back with a... 40.4, now 5.5 seconds back is that gap. He needs a couple mistakes by Josh Fine if he wants to take this win. Josh Fine needs to just be smooth, not take any unnecessary chances or crashes. There you see Alex just coming over that big double. Alex making his way through the washboard, coming onto the Dragon's back as well. There you see Josh Fine going on into Nuketown Valley. All right, so Josh Fine with 38.2. Alex is going to come by with a 37.8, 5.2 seconds. Two minutes and 17 seconds left to go. Alex needs a little bit of help. From the RC Fates. From the Racing Gods. To intervene on his behalf if Josh Fine, Josh Fine needs them to be on his side and let him win. Only one can win. There's Josh Fine. They got some lap traffic in between them. Running out of time is Alex Cummings. He's gaining, but a little bit too late now. 36.8. A 35.6. 3.9 seconds. So Josh getting caught up in that lap traffic. Alex, ooh, jumping to the in inside field, but getting it straight when he comes back on the track. As we chase Alex going through the Dragon's back. Josh Fine making his way. Oh, he passed him. We missed it. Oh, my God. So I'm telling my, my camera and telling me that, that that lap car actually wrecked Josh Fine. So lap traffic caught in a, causing a kerfuffle again. And now Alex Cummings out front. Two more laps to go. That lap car needs to get out of the way. That red car is a lap down. Josh Fine going wide after that double. Oh, no. Oh, both of them crashing. Both of them crashing. We're going to get one more lap of action between one and two right now. There's Alex Cummings. Woo, they both got it wrong in the Dragon's back. Alex Cummings, Josh Fine, Brad Berman, Ronald Kimball, Matt Jones, your top five. Alex trying to hold on to that top spot. He needs to keep it smooth. Let's try and keep them both in shot. Alex getting it wrong. Oh, no. Gives that spot back. Josh getting it wrong. Alex going to come down the middle of the washboard. They're going to go neck and neck down the Dragon's back here. This is the last lap. This is for all the marbles. <coughs> Excuse me. As they go down into two. Oh, my goodness. This is going to be a close race. Josh Fine, no. Not going to be able to pip Alex. And that's a race to the end. Alex Cummings going to take victory, followed by Josh Fine, Brad Bowman, Ronald Kimmel, Matt Jones. 
Good race to the end. There's Alex right there, a big smile on his face. Josh would be upset because he had a fairly decent lead and got wrecked by some uh, lap traffic. Unfortunate for Josh, he's gonna have to settle for second. Oh my goodness. What's up, Blake Brewer? That was an exciting race that come, came down to the very last corner. Very good. Let's hope that our pro nitro buggy and pro classes can be just as exciting as we get ready to go have an interview with our winners and the uh, podium finish. Next up is the uh, Intermediate Nitro Truggy A Final, and after that, Pro Nitro Truggy A Final. So don't go anywhere. We hope you guys are enjoying the live broadcast of the 2024 Southern Indoor Championship, and we want to thank all of our sponsors for helping us make that happen. All right, guys, let's get our top five over here. Alrighty guys, here we go, your 2024 sports or intermediate nitro truggy. In that number five spot, it's gonna be Matt Jones. In the number four spot, Ronald Kimball. In the number three, Brad Bowman. In the number two, Josh Fine. And your 2024 Southern Indoor Champion, it is going to be Alex Cummings. Congratulations, guys. Sports with Nitro Truggy. What a great final there at the end for Alex Cummings and Josh Fine as they did battle to the very last corner. All right, Alex, get your, get your interview with Lefty here. Race at number 31. Let's fire him up. Fire him up. We hope you guys are enjoying the live broadcast of the 2024 Southern Indoor Championship, and we want to thank all of our sponsors for helping us make that happen. All right, guys, let's go ahead. Turn them loose, turn them loose, turn them loose. Race number 31. Turn them loose. I'll get the rest of my marshals out here. Race 31. Let's turn them loose. Eric Hammond. Need the rest of my Jake marshals Holden. out here, please. Marshals, come Michael on out. Hugh. Michael Purcell. Last corner of victory for you, man. Congratulations. Somebody was cheering you on in the crowd, too, in, the, in online. Oh, yeah. We had the whole Chase the Team, Chase the Podium team supporting us, and uh, just a great race. Uh, I feel like we put on some clean racing, me and Josh did there at the end, and hopefully put on a show for everybody. Awesome. That's a great way to start 2024. You are the Southern Indoor Champion Sportsman Truggy Champion. Congratulations. Good job. You got your video, people videoing us, getting videoed. Good job. I've talked to you before in the, in the podium circle, so great job on you, and um, good luck in the rest of your classes today. Right. Yeah, thank you. Just got to give a big thanks to Chase the Podium, N2RC, Chad Cup, and then Promotion Tires, and just thank everybody else for doing what y'all do for us. Awesome, man. Congratulations. Good job. Thank you. All right, Alex Cummins takes that win. His all smiles. Great way to start out 2024 for him. We're going to get back to some intermediate Nitro Truggy action.
We hope you are enjoying the live broadcast of the 2024 Southern Indoor Championship, but don't forget, the granddaddy of them all is coming up in April, the Psycho Nitro Blast, and we hope to see you guys there. everybody we are back remember everybody psycho nitro blast the next big race for race time entertainment congratulations to alex cummings i'm fortunate for josh fine some lap traffic yes uh, that's how it goes sometimes racing gods bless some take away from others that's how it goes and josh fine will be upset about that but uh still got a second place up next our intermediate nitro truggy a final dalton balboa from wisconsin jerry kleinbauer you out there watching your boy Chris Morant, Mike Lee, Cody Ingram, Ryan Daze, Colin Beaver, Jake Stolson, Wade Pickett, Kyle Neary, Trevor Michael, Benny Comario, Lee Flowers, Michael Parcel, Cole Whitehead, Eric Hanneman, Tiffy Hobbs, and Eric Morrison. Let's get ready to rumble here, fellas. It's time to go racing. Let's boogity, boogity, boogity. All right, let's get it to rock. Let's get ready to rock and roll. Dalton Balboa flying all weekend. TQ of this took three straight TQs, if I'm not mistaken. Looking to go out there with that techno car representing the great state of Wisconsin. Next time, all you Wisconsin guys, come down here. You're going to have to bring me some cheese. That's Dalton Balboa from Chris Morant, Mike Lee. Cody Ingram, Colin Beaver, your top five. Wade Piggott, our top five, separated by three, 2.4 seconds. Dalton Balboa, <laughs> pulling away from guys right off the bat. A 32-8 was his out lap, his uh, starting lap. And right behind him, there is going to be, I'm not sure who that is. I know one of those guys is uh, Mike Legge, is that green and yellow. That's got to be Cody Ingram in front of him. So I see Tim Limes in the house. Uh, he's come over to get his interview. I hope Jarek Costa Herrera is out there as well. There we are, Mike Legee, just in front of Cody. Sweater, I'm told to call him. Oh, Legee getting it wrong. But nobody, Dalton Balboa already pulling out to a, let's see when he comes by, when Cody Ingram comes by, a 4.1 second lead over. We're going to have Tim Lime come in for his interview. Jarek Custazar would not leave me alone today till I got you in here. Come over a little bit. All right, so we got Tim Lime here. What's up, Tim? Happy, happy New Year to you. Thank you, you too, sir. Uh, pretty good weekend for your S-Works guys. We're having fun, for sure. Yep, debuting, uh, debuting your two new drivers, Mason Fuller and Caden Fuller. Right, yeah, we got uh, four cars in each main. Absolutely, so that's, good weekend. Uh, we have five in e-buggy, which is really cool. Mm -hmm. All five made it, so. There you oh, go, come get up, get closer to me, good buddy. Uh, but, yeah. but definitely, uh, we see over in Europe with Elliot Boots and uh, Kamas having a very good 2023, especially uh, I said Elliot Boots in the, the last quarter of that year. He was absolutely on fire. So you guys have definitely found something good here with the S-Works cars. Uh, I say it constantly on the podcast that we haven't seen the brand grow this way in America. I, I don't think ever. I mean, it's had many, then, diff many different people taking over, amen, and whatnot. But uh, I, I, that goes back to you, goes back to guys like Brent, 
And everybody working hard to grow the brand on her. And it's actually going to be one of the most popular cars out there this year, I believe. Yeah, no, we've uh, definitely worked on that. I mean, that was one of the difficult things when I took over. Um, parts support was um, a little bit lacking. The, the what you know, coming from Horizon um, at the time, at HP, um, HP was a little bit hard on parts. But you know, Horizon, since I worked for them for seven years, that it was you, you know, that's the number one thing you had to stop with parts because only way to uh, keep customers happy is make sure you have all the products so Brent's been doing an amazing job um, it's been a little slow for us this year because we have had so much growth uh -huh. it's really hard to um, <clears throat> forecast yeah, for that so, as yes, well. yes. So I know so. all about that uh, but very good um, like I said Joe Bourne horses look very good today awesome. uh, this weekend uh, we see uh, Captain Lion looking good in truck he also bumped up an e-buggy as well so lots of good things going. Um, who else is looking? Mason's looking good. First time out for those guys. Right. Tell us a little bit about that, I guess. Um, getting Mason Fuller, somebody like Mason Fuller and Caden Fuller on the team. What was you guys thinking when you went out and approached the guys to join s -Marks? Well, actually, Mike called Brent, and okay. then Brent and uh, Max worked a deal out with them, and then they brought me into it probably a week or so after the fact. Okay. Um, and let me know. Um, and, I mean, I was... I mean, I've always wanted the Fullers, mm -hmm. so is Max. Yeah. <laughs> it was, it was uh, definitely, and Brent's definitely a Fuller fan, so yeah. we, it was, uh, you know, we lost a couple guys last year, and, you know, we pick, picked right back up where we were. So. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, I'm a big fan of Team Fuller. Um, I'm predicting Mason to take a big win this year. Caden's definitely improving over time. Um, but like I said, B-Rose looking really good, good this weekend as well. Two, uh, two in a round, yeah. Yep, absolutely. And uh, we're looking really solid. So what type of, what are you guys working on on the S-Works cars? Uh, I know, uh, I know when I, I talked to you last year, there was a difference between what's going on over in Europe, maybe setup-wise and going on over here. We also saw John, uh, Juan Carlos Canas come up for AMS. So are you guys sharing a lot of information with your European counterparts well, to set these cars up? So like, yeah, so the uh, Evo is kind of a, I, they did some stuff over there. We um, told Elliot about the shorter chassis. Um, let's try the shorter chassis. And then um, it all kind of came together. We were running the shorter chassis by making truggy chassis, buggy chassis. Yep, yep. And uh, Billy Fisher did that for us. And uh, we really liked how the car rotated. So um, just, you know, get through the corner a little bit faster. And, here we are. Absolutely, absolutely. JCC coming over for the buggy land here, and then I predict it's probably going to go to straight to DNC. DNC after and that. Then, I don't know if he's staying, but I think he's planning on PNB too. So, oh, um, okay. I think you know that's that's the plan. Um, so we'll, we shall see. Awesome, awesome, good so. stuff. I'm, I'm a big JC3 fan myself. Um, he's really funny. He is. He's, a, he's especially ready. after the race. Oh yeah, I know. <laughs> he, he, he had a good time after the race uh, at AMS. Uh, Jared Cosazera asked me to ask you how to say your name. <laughs> how to say my name? Yeah, his name, Jared Cosa oh, Korea. Oh. Yeah, I think that's how we say it. Hey, just, I got him in her, Jared. He was Jared, asking me all day for you to be Just say in Jared C. Jared C. <laughs> there we go. All right, um, tell I, us. Go oh, ahead. Go, go ahead. I'll say. <laughs> tell us a little bit about if you're here at the race time events. Uh, s -Works attended pretty much all these events last year. Can we expect to see the full s -Works team here at all race time events coming up for 2024? I believe so. I think Joe's going to have to miss p and B. I I believe. Okay. Um, he has, he's going to have a baby girl. So oh, well, that's a good reason. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So um, I think that's one of the reasons JCC's coming over. Okay. Um, so we will uh, have a competitive team for sure. Awesome. Then, awesome. Um, but yeah, no, I think Wicked. I don't know if I'll be a Wicked because that's my busy season for mm -hmm. AC. Um, but uh, I want to go to Wicked. I've never done Wicked. Great race. Yeah. I enjoyed it. But it also ends up on a golf tournament for me for oh. a networking group. So there you go. I like golf, too. I'll send Camden and the crew and, yep. and, and have yep. uh, Brent be team manager for the BK. Yeah, he's, uh, yeah, I don't, yeah, Brent is always at that race. So, yeah, no, uh, there's no problem with that. I mean, um, Joe will be there. So Camden and Joe, will, you know, bunk up or whatever. So it'll be good. All right. So I guess, uh, Another big thing you guys are working on your 10 scale cars. Will we see an increase in uh, S Works in the 10 scale market here in the yeah, USA? Yeah, jo Joe's getting ready to go to EOS. Um, in, uh, oh, really? Yeah, he's going to EOS. So oh, awesome. Um, after Florida, um, uh, Yorn and uh, <coughs> Misha said uh, 
why don't you come do an EOS? So he's uh, going here in a, co a couple weeks, I think. Oh, maybe? that's good at the so, dawn. That'd yep. be awesome. Yep. Good. I'll be so, watching that. So it should be interesting for him. Awesome. Always good to see. Um, all right, man. I, I just want to congratulate you on the awesome no job you've done you, over the last couple it. years. You know, we've gotten to know each other as well. And uh, the boom and s -work is definitely flying. Good shout out to Brent and BTRC for Absolutely. all their hard work. They are amazing. The, the, the new the, uh, Mack truck that oh, they've yeah. got. Oh, yeah. Lucas, I saw Lucas. Yeah. It, it's amazing. Right. If you ever see the snap on or the BTRC truck now, you old snap on truck, it's done perfectly. Absolutely. So. Absolutely. All right. Well, I uh, we also Thank appreciate you. your support here at SROX at the Race Time and, uh, Entertainment events. We look forward to seeing JC3 at PMB. If, if he is going to stay for that, uh, that's going to be awesome. Unfortunately, I won't be there, but right. I look forward to seeing you at the next race as well. Good luck to you guys thank today, you, and thank you for your time. No problem, Lefty. Now, off to your pits. Yes, off to the pits. <laughs> All right. All right, everybody. We just had Tim Lime, SRX team manager, in here for a quick chat. Dalton Balboa leading this from from the very from the lights right now. We're following Justin Balboa with that white and orange techno, absolutely flying. Cody Ingram, 3.5 back of him. Colin Beaver trying to make it a race. Mike Leguier in fourth. Wade Pickett in fifth. Ryan Daze in sixth, and young Benny Comarion in seventh. Hope you guys enjoyed that interview with Tim Lime. Thank you very much, and good luck to all the SRX team guys later on today. Up next, that Pro Nitro Truggy A main. Don't go anywhere, anybody. We got 20 minutes left to go in this race, and then we got to see the Pro guys race. What's up, Ken Calhoun? How are you doing? All righty. So there is, I believe that's Cody Ingram chasing down Balboa, and it is a race as these guys are stuck between traffic. Cody, that purple and blue car, white wing, trying to make his way through to Balboa and make a challenge for him, and that lap traffic gets out of the way ever so gingerly. Cody Ingram, Southeast native. Oh, Dalton getting it wrong. That's going to allow Cody by. So Dalton just cracking under the pressure, knowing that Cody's going to come, come by. And Cody has some clear air in front of him. Can he capitalize on this? 10 minutes and 30 seconds. Cody getting it wrong. Dalton back on all fours. Getting ready to chase down Cody. Cody coming by with a 35-8. Dalton a 39-8, uh, 39 flat. Colin Beaver and Mike Lige battling out for three and fourth. There's Cody Ingram making his way down into that big double section. Cody, uh, I believe he's from Tennessee or Georgia. I'm not sure. Maybe from Alabama. Somebody will correct me there. In the chat, I'm sure. Getting it up on two wheels, making his way through that dragon back. That dragon, oh! Getting it wrong. That's going to allow Dalton right up in his rear, up right on the rear wing of Cody as they come by. They're going to be separated by one second. Cody Ingram, Dalton Balboa, Colton Be Colin Beaver, Mike League, Wade Pickett, your top five. But right now, we're watching this battle developing between first and second. Oh, man, Dalton trying to force that issue. Wow. He just needs to calm down. He has lots of time. Lots of time. Traffic's going to have to get out of the way, though. Traffic racing our leaders. Woo. What's up? Hello, Dwayne Fletcher. Back, first day back at work watching RC Live. It is Monday over there in New Zealand, I want to say. That's where you're from, I believe. All righty, then. Cody Ingram out front. Dalton having to force the issue, put his elbows out. A little bit of rubbing racing because he had to get around that lap traffic. He wouldn't let him by. Dalton representing the great state of Wisconsin and their cheese. As he comes down over that big double, he goes up. Smaller double, sorry. Through that washboard section. Back on the dragon back. That has been everybody's kryptonite so far this weekend. Cheddar putting in work. I'm told to call him Sweater now, not Cheddar. No Mayakas in intermediate or buggy or sportsman, not that I know of. All right, Cody Ingram. Got Kyle Neary in between them. Kyle Neary currently scored down in ninth. Wow, it is aggressive out there. All right, now, what can Dalton do? Dalton Balboa. Oh, Cody Ingram getting it wrong over that double. That's going to allow Balboa by. Balboa in that white and orange techno white wing. Balboa, you're at TQ looking to take a convincing win. 
coming down from Wisconsin, sharing what the Wisconsin RC guys can do. I'm sorry, Jer sure, Jerry Kleinbell is in the chat somewhere watching this. <laughs> Dangler, I'm not even going to say that. So, Dalton, on a 33-9 just now, a flying lap for Dalton Balboa. To Cody Ingram's 37-6. He's now got a 2.1 second lead over this. We have a poll going on in our chat. Who is your pick for the Pro Nitro Buggy? Ryan Mayfield, Kendall Lime, Dakota fan of Joe Buenos. Answer in our poll. I'm going to answer that too. I know who I'm picking. Oh, wow. 75% so far picking. Uh, I got to see that poll. 70% picking Ryan Mayfield so far. Vote on our poll up in the YouTube chat, everybody. But right now, we're watching Dalton Balboa, who has stretched that lead out to 2.2 seconds over Cody Ingram, making his way through the washboard. Do you see Cody just in our shot right there? That's not Cody, is it? Yep, that is Cody. Oh, Cody getting it wrong. That section of the track has caused these guys a problem. Every single person and every class has had some difficulty making it through that dragon's back. Cody Ingram, 3.1 seconds back of Dalton. We're going to see another. Uh, we're going to about see some pit stops here coming up soon, I would suspect. 15 minutes and 38 seconds left in this race. Almost halfway through. Nope. Trent doesn't drive for Mayaka. He arrives for Rockstar Hobbies now. Dalton Balboa, Cody Ingram, Mike Ligue, Wade Pickett, Colin Beaver. Ryan Mayfield wins that poll, 63%, 19% for Dakota Fan, 13 for Camden Lime, and two for Joe Bornhorst. No Chris Morrell here, no Trent Walker. Oh, Trent Walker, like I said, drives for Rockstar Hobbies now, no more Mayako for him. But right now, we are following Dalton Balboa. Not out of the clear yet, because Cody Ingram, I think Cody came in for fuel. Had to. There's Cody coming in for fuel. I'm assuming that Dalton's going to come in soon here as well. Oh. Oh, Dalton getting it wrong. Oh my goodness, it is hectic out there. It is hectic out there. Our leader, Ingram, now out in front after that pit stop. I'm pretty sure that Dalton has to come in again. Let's stay on our second place driver. There's Cody right in front of him. Cody coming in for fuel. And coming up, Dalton having, unless Dalton came in that, that lap just now. Okay, so Dalton had to come in that lap. That uh, just before Cody came out, but Cody ahead of him on the track. These guys scrapping it out. They got 13 minutes and 50 seconds left to go in this intermediate nitro truggy race. So these guys have been battling for about 10, 15 minutes now. And here they are, got some clean air in front of them. Let's see what they can do. Put a show on for us guys here out in Watching this race, this is our intermediate nitro buggy, nitro truggy main. Cody coming off a 36, 33 6 to a 33 flat for Dalton Maboa. So Dalton, the faster truck that lap by. This is where Cody seems to make up some time. Dalton making some, losing some time just now. Oh, wow. There is Dalton Balboa. They don't have to worry about uh, Wade Pickett right now. Wade Pickett is 10.7 seconds back of these guys. We're going to see one more pit stop. But these guys coming out right on top of each other after pit stops. Cody stretching out a little bit of a lead over, over Dalton right now. Let's see. Can Dalton put his head down, click off some fast laps, and make it a challenge to Cody? Cody about to get into some lap traffic. That has been everybody's kryptonite if you're a leader in this race. Lap traffic all day long. Uh-oh. 
Dalton getting hung up on the pipe. Cody getting it wrong as well. They were separated by two seconds on that lap. It's going to be a little bit further now. Oh, wow. 12 minutes left to go in this race. One more pit stop for our leaders. Dana Tino still out there turn marshalling. He is getting that turn marshalling championship belt for SIC. He has turn marshalled nonstop here. Well done, Dana. Thank you for everything. Thank you for bringing me a coffee this morning. Glad to meet you, man. And uh, keep up the good racing, dude. All righty then. So, Dalton pulling to within a few feet of uh, Cody Ingram, I do believe. No, that's not Cody in front of him. That's Cody just in front of him. Well done. Well done to that lap traffic, letting him go by, knowing that's a leader. We're following that uh, white and orange car of Dalton Balboa, that Techno, representing Wisconsin. We got 11 minutes and 12 seconds left to go. Cody Ingram out front with 33.7. Dalton comes by for 33.2. They're separated by 2.9 seconds. Cody now getting in some lap traffic, making that maneuver now. Right back there with some, uh, some more lap traffic. Not sure who that is. Hopefully they give him some courtesy and let him by. Dalton, though. I see Dalton has put on the afterburners, and we are back together here. Going over the Dragon's back, Dalton and Cody back together again as they go down into the Nuke Town Valley. Down the straightaway they go. A 35, a 32, 8 for Dalton Balboa. Fastest lap of the race so far. And they are neck and neck coming up through there. Dalton looking on the outside, looking on the inside, giving Cody a little bit of a push. 10 minutes and 23 seconds. Oh, he gets a little bit squirrely. There we see. Lap traffic in between them. Thank you, sir, letting our leaders go by. Cody jumping into the infield. That's going to allow Dalton by going through that Dragon's back. Swapping places once again. Absolutely awesome. Good afternoon there, Jonathan Hilton. Oh, they switch places again. Cody going to come out in the lead. Oh, my goodness. Elbows out. Robin is racing here in the intermediate Nitro Truggy class. Dalton. From Wisconsin, Cody, our Southeast native. We got an HB versus a Techno. Cody, that red and purple car, white wing. Dalton, that white and orange. They have been battling out the entire race pretty much as Dalton trying to come down here to the Southeast and snap off a good win. He's looking pretty solid, but Cody trying to defend the honor of the Southeast here, saying, this is my backyard. You ain't gonna do that here as they go by that green and white car like it's standing still on the straightaway. And there we are, back together again. Dalton just clipping that pipe. He goes sliding around there. Has a good run coming into that double. Can he make this pass stick? He had an inside. Oh, he had a look on the inside, but just didn't have that speed. Had to slow down and get on the binders. Oh, Dalton gets it wrong before this start. He goes in there. He gets it wrong. That's not the place you want to get it. Wrong. Unfortunately for Dalton, he's going to have to do all that hard work all over again. Cody can breathe a little bit. These guys are going to have to come in for some fuel. Cody making his way down the straightaway. They are going to be separated by 6.2 seconds. That one mistake costing so much time. Cody has a little bit of breathing room now. 6.2 seconds of that breathing room now. But Dalton going to be on the afterburners to catch him up. What an exceptional race we got going on right here. Hopefully we can get Dalton back up here so he can challenge Cody for the win. Cody going to have to come in for fuel. Dalton going to have to come in for fuel. Eight minutes and 20 seconds left on this clock. We got a lot of racing left to go here, ladies and gentlemen. Dalton coming down that straightaway. That gap still 6.2 seconds. He needs to get around this lap traffic, get into some clear air, and put his head down. Not like that. Dalton, keep calm. You still have lots of time. You got eight minutes. If I'm your pit man, that's what I'm telling you. Dalton just going nuts. Blowing out, unfortunately. Oh, no. Come on, Dalton. Calm down. You can do it. Cody Ingram, you see him just going down into the Nuke Valley. Cody Ingram got a big lead now. Comes by 34.3. Cody has been racing at these races for a long time. Showing that race craft and experience coming out here in the later stages of this Chuggy main. And there is Cody Ingram going up over that double. No, that's our second place. There's Dalton coming in for fuel. He's good to go. Good to go. Second place in. Cody's going to have to come in next. Let's get back on our leader. I'm pretty sure he's coming in for fuel now. There's Cody. I predict he's coming in for fuel. 
Yes, he is. Last fuel stop for Cody. This is going to tighten things up. Tudor on the bike. Tudor on the pits. Great pit by Tudor. Oh, no. Cody getting caught up in some traffic coming out of pit lane. That's going to make things get closer. Dalton going to have to capitalize on that. Dalton coming across the line. Not coming across the line. Dalton having a long outlap as well. Oh, my goodness. Dalton now dropping down to third to fourth. A 47-second lap. Mike Legay. Oh, no. I don't know what happened to Dalton just now. Dalton having a really bad lap. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Cody Ingram with six minutes and 26 seconds left to go. He's going to have a massive lead. Dalton Balboa dropping all the way down to fourth. Mike Legee all the way down in second. He's 22 seconds back. Oh, my goodness. So not gonna, I don't think we're going to see that finish we wanted unless something happens. Our leader right now, Cody Ingram. Dalton Balboa making it back up into second, third. Wade Pickett now just 14 seconds back. They got five minutes to make some inroads. Balboa, nine-tenths of a second back of Pickett. Pickett. And we are following Cody Ingram as he comes down that straightaway. A 33-8. Wade Pickett and Dalton Balboa. Mike Legee all battling it out for second, third, and fourth. Let's see if we can pick up Wade Pickett and Dalton Balboa. They're battling it out for second right now. Thank you, Joseph. Thank you, Jonathan. Good to see you. I know you guys are curled up there in Canada. I met a few of your Canadian races here this weekend. Great dudes. Happy birthday, Will Wall. All right. Cody, a 34-6. He is in cruise control with five minutes left to go. Cody doesn't need to take any unnecessary chances. He has, let's see what that lead is. Back to Red Pickett and Dalton Babo and he comes by Dalton. Having a horrible lap. That lead now 13.4 seconds. So Dalton, unfortunately, going to be out of this unless something happens to Cody. There's Dalton right now. Dalton coming up over that. There's Dalton. He's currently scored in third. I think that's Wade Pickett with that gray wing. And that blue car is in between them. That's uh, not for position. Uh-oh. I think Dalton got by Wade Pickett as Wade Pickett just got hammered by some lap traffic. Nope. Wade Pickett still in front of him. There's Wade right there. I can see him. So Dalton setting his sights on Wade Pickett. There's Wade Pickett, that white and uh, orange and white car. He's currently scored in second, but he's 15 seconds back of Cody Ingram. Cody Ingram looking very solid out there right now. He's got a 15-second lead over Wade Pickett. He was in a, embroiled in a battle with Dalton Balboa for pretty much three quarters of this race or more. Pickett now a 33-6, 10 seconds back, 10.6. There's Cody, three minutes and 46 seconds left to go. Up next, Dennis the Dominator is your Pro Nitro Truggy A final. That's up next, good buddy. All righty then, though. Cody Ingram, though, threw down a 33-9. I'm fortunate for Balboa. He, he, the best thing he can do now is fight for a second with Red Pickett. Balboa now 1.3 seconds back of Pickett. There we go. There's our battle for second. Pickett. There's uh, Dalton and that Techno. All righty, so Wade trying to hold on to second and Dalton trying to say something about that. Wade getting it wrong after the uh, Dragons back. That's going to allow Dalton by two minutes and 48 seconds left to go. All Dalton needs is some mistakes from Cody Ingram, and he can and he capitalize on that. Still some time left there. Anything can happen with two minutes and 35 seconds left on the clock. Balboa. Oh. Dalton Balboa going up through that Dragon's Black. Hoping for some mistakes from Cody so he can capitalize on that and make it a race to the end. 
Cody with a long lap of 39.9. That's gonna chip away at his lead. Two minutes and nine seconds left to go. A 34.7, that lead down to 8.4 seconds. A few more mistakes by Cody, and Dalton will be right there. That traffic causing these guys all types of problems this weekend. Along with all the bumps. Cody coming by with 35-5. Dalton Balboa now in second. The 34-7 that last time by clicks off a 34-5. That lead down to 7.3 seconds. 90 seconds left to go in this race. Will Cody Egram hold on? No mistakes. That's what he needs. Oh, just as I say that, he gets caught up into, uh, I believe that's Kyle. No, that's not Kyle Neary. Kyle Neary is right behind him. So Dalton Balboa is now coming into shot. I just saw him coming into shot. So... Not over to the to the to the turn is over. So there we go. Cody coming by a 38 flat. Dalton Balboa coming by. He's gonna have a 34 one. That lead down to 3.4 seconds. There's Cody. Cody getting it wrong. No, was it Cody? No, Cody comes out of there unscathed. They're gonna get two more laps as Cody goes over that. Oh, there's Dalton Balboa. He is right behind Cody now. What an impressive drive by Dalton Balboa to come back and chase on just like Rocky. Never give up. I had to throw in a Rocky reference there at some point. Dalton Balboa, Cody Ingram, get it up on two wheels. We're gonna have a race to the end. They're gonna get by for one more lap. They got some lap traffic in front of them. What an exciting race to the end here. Cody Ingram can't make any mistakes. Dalton Balboa is right there. I have to talk to both of these guys after this race. Oh my goodness. We're going to have a race to the end. Here we see Balboa going up over that double. He is chasing down Cody. They can't make any mistakes. Coming through this dragon's back. There we see Dalton right. Oh, I think he's, gonna, I think he's just going to lose out. As Cody Ingram is going to keep it smooth right across the line. Cody Ingram going to take a very hard fought victory here at the Intermediate Nitro Troggy A final. Followed by Dalton Balboa, Wade Pickett, Mike Legee, Ryan Daze. Wow, what a great race. What an amazing race. That was amazing. Well done, Cody Ingram. Well done, Dalton Balboa, fighting back from that big deficit to come back and make a challenge. What a race. What an absolute amazing race we just saw. Wow. Woo. Wow. That was good. I'm getting excited now. Are you ready for the most insane race on the planet? The Psycho Nitro Blast is coming to you April 5th through the 7th in White Pine, Tennessee, and you will not want to miss it. We'll see you there. We hope you guys are enjoying the live broadcast of the 2024 Southern Indoor Championship, and we want to thank all of our sponsors for helping us make that happen. Huge shout out to all of our 2024 race time sponsors, including Absolute Hobbies, J Concepts, Techno RC, Reds Racing, Team Losi Racing, VP Racing Fuels, BeachRC.com, AKA Nitro Pro, ProTech RC, Trinity, S Works, Lugs Racing Tires, TNR Fuels, HB Racing, a main hobbies and on point graphics.
Your award's right there behind you, buddy. All right, here we go. Your top five here at Intermediate Nitro Truggy. In that number five spot, it's going to be Ryan Daze. In the number four, it's Mike Legui. In the number three spot, Wade Piggott. In the number two, it's Dalton Balboa. And your 2024 Southern Indoor Champion here for Intermediate Nitro Truck, Cody Ingram. Dakota Fend. All right, you guys, fire back up, fire back up. All right, guys, let's get our marks letter. Good job. Good job, Mike. All right, you guys, let's get our marks. Oh, sorry. Let's get our marshals out here. Marshals, come on out here, please. Everybody hold them now. You're going to get a full five-minute warm-up. Five-minute warm-up, okay? Five-minute warm-up. I gotta hurry, I gotta all right, hurry. all right. Let's. We got Cody Ingham here. Let's get us live. Congratulations, good race, dude. Thanks, all right, we have Cody Ingham. You had a hard road battle with Dalton Balboa. Even, I mean, you got away for a little bit there at the end. Then he caught you back up. But a great race between you two. Yeah, that was awesome. That was really intense racing. Really clean with us too. Yeah. Absolutely amazing race just now. Congratulations, you take the win here in Intermediate Nitro Truck. You are the 2024 SIC champion. Congratulations. I know you got to go out a bit, somebody. Good luck, uh, and good luck in the rest of your mans as well today. All right, Cody, Cody Ingram taking a great win just now. He's got to run out of pit somebody. We're getting ready for our pro class here. He's pitting Cole Ogden, it looks like. Uh, well, let's get back to all the action, everybody. We hope you are enjoying the live broadcast of the 2024 Southern Indoor Championship. But don't forget, the granddaddy of them all is coming up in April, the Psycho Nitro Blast. And we hope to see you guys there. Alrighty, everybody, get ready for our first, I mean, our second pro, our first Nitro main of the day. Pro Nitro main, pro Nitro A main Truggy. 30 minutes long. Ooh, as you see, our drivers are letting things clear out. They're blowing off the track for everybody. There's Little Bump, Lee Setzer, Joey Bernon. There is Cole Ogden, Ryan Mayfield. Camden Lai starting in second. Joe Bornhorst, he'll be starting in fourth. Dakota Fend in third. Mason Fuller is starting in 12th. Adam Drake. Adam Drake going to do those 10-minute pit stops. He's starting in 11th. Spencer Heckett. Uh, there we have Brandon Rose on the end. So let's go through our starting order. Ryan Mayfield taking that TQ, followed by Camden Lime in second. Dakota Fenn in third, Joe Bornhorst in fourth, Cole Ogden in fifth, Fai Long Wing, aka Little Bump in sixth, Joey Bredon seventh, Jared Wiggins eighth, Ryan Lutz in ninth, Lee Setzer tenth, Adam Drake eleventh, Mason Fuller twelfth, Jonah Bilsa thirteenth, Spencer Heckett fourteenth, Brandon Rose fifteenth, Cole Caston sixteenth, and Cade Burnett seventeenth. Well done to Cade Burnett. He's made all his A-mains. I mean, there wasn't no B-main in this, but he's made all his A-mains this week. 
uh, having to bump up. And don't forget, everybody, coming up in April, from April 5th to 7th, is the biggest, baddest, most psycho, insane race on the planet, the Psycho Nitro Blast 2024. Registration is open at rcsignup.com. Yep. All right, everybody, how are you guys doing? Oh, what an exciting race we had an intermediate between Cody Ingram and Dalton Balboa. We had the Southeast being represented, as well as Wisconsin. Awesome race there just now. Uh, I, I don't know, man. I, if we can get a race half as good as that here at the Pro Man, it's going to be an exceptional day. As you guys know, we've had a pro, a uh, surprise field pro qualifying. So Camden Line take a take a, a Q3 win as these drivers go for a five-minute warm-up. If you guys have any questions out there you want to ask me while I'm here, I do have five minutes while they get warmed up. Let me fix my headset here. Uh, you may be asking why I have two headsets on. Well, this side I heard myself. This side I heard Danny and the guys uh, out there. We need to get a one side. like a, We need to get a one-eared uh, ra uh, radio here, microphone to talk. But we're having a great time here at the Southern Indoor Championship. We're going on to race 32 of 45. Mayfield looking tough in this main. We shall see. Camden Line was looking very tough in Q3. Very fast. Dangler says Mayfield. Who are you guys picking in the chat to take the win? Let's see. Most of you picked Mayfield to take the win in Pro Nitro Truck in the pole. Joe Bono is looking very, very good. Cole Ogden in fifth. What's up, Cody Taylor? Happy New Year to you, sir. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're enjoying the coverage here from Otagaville. Chuck Parks asks, lefty, are you left-handed? I am not left-handed. I am right-handed. I have a paralyzed left arm, 75% paralyzed. That's why I have the name lefty. Got it in a bike accident. BJ even says Mayfield is the perennial favorite. I can't argue with that. TLR Comp obviously rooting for uh, Dakota Fenn. Devon Hood rooting for Dakota Fenn. While well, you guys heard, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. We got 827 people watching this pro main. Uh, let's get that up to a thousand. Why don't you say? I say let's do it. Oh, Charlie Mack, I knew he wouldn't miss this. Knew he wouldn't miss this race. Spencer Hackett on his new ride as well. A new techno ride. No x-ray drivers, Roblox World. None whatsoever in this main. Uh, Ty Tasman retiring. And nobody here to uh, represent x-ray. Mayfield for the win says East to Coast RC over there in Australia. Jacob Montgomery says Fly Long for the win. How about Lutz? Nobody's picking Lutz. Very good and truggy. Kevin Swartz says, TLR, let's go. All righty then. 135 likes. Sure, there's all. Let's get 1,000 plus people watching this, guys. And he got 855. Ah, oh, lefty. Cody is from Tennessee. Thank you. I, I figured he was either. I did say Tennessee. Just wasn't sure. What's up? Brian Kofferman, how are you? Mayfield for the win, says Jonathan Hilton. Florida Life says Mayfield, Aaron Hellinger, Ogden, Justin Carl, Brandon last to first. But Brandon is actually starting in um in 15th, not last. Let's go Mayfield. I'll take Lutz. 868 people. I need you guys to smash that like button. We should have at least 500 likes right now. What's up D70 Racing? Ryan Rand choosing Mayfield. Jason Faulkner say, let's go Wiggins. Nico's rooting for Cam. Aaron Park says Lee. Frank Sosleby says Lutz. Tyron, what's up? How many Bugins? Uh, just Drake, I think. Mm -hmm. Just Drake in the final. Neo Chiof, a Lutz victory will be great. How you doing from over in Italy? Dylan Hartsman is saying the Fuller Brothers. 
Alberto Santos, Kyosho for the win. Uh, Angus Beef says Lime. Jonah says Evan Underwood. You pick me. But don't ever pick me in a, a RC car race. Pick me in a talking race. That's what you're going to pick me in. Uh, who I got? Man, I'm not going to lie. I wouldn't be mad if I saw Captain Live in this. I think it would be great for him to win it. Um, but, you know, I kind of have to be somewhat unbiased. So we'll see. What I'm looking for is a good race. An absolutely good race. What's up, Billy Crow? How you doing, man? Tebow for the win. <laughs> Nervoso says Camden. 872. Come on, guys. Share this. Scale Racing TV. Lutz watching from Arkansas, or Arkansas as I like to call it. Only 190 likes. Smash that like button. What's Lutz live in 5RC? How you doing? Gary Stoot, how you doing, sir? Met one of your racers from up on your track. The club all says the Drake Camden will win. Would be huge. I agree with you. How many HB cars? Well, we only have Go uh, Ogden in the final there. All right, let's get ready to start, everybody. All righty then. Jerry Kleinhaus says Jeremy Quartz for the win. 20 years ago, that would have been a true statement. All right, as we get ready, we can see Captain Line. Tim Lyon getting ready to pit Camden. Let's hope we get a good race like we saw an intermediate buggy. We're going to send it over to Lance, I think. Uh, is he doing driver introductions? Nope. No driver introductions. We're getting ready to boogity, boogity, boogity here for your pro Nitro Truggy A final. 30 minutes long. As they get the drivers get decided to fill them up, fill them up, fill them up from Lance. And we're getting ready to boogity, boogity, boogity. And they are off. And there is Mayfield out in that white techno. Right behind him, Camden Lime. Camden saying, I am not waiting for a win. I want to take it right now. Camden hounding Ryan Mayfield at the moment. So let's see how it goes when it all shakes out as we see everybody making it through that. Dragon's back pretty smooth. Oh, wow, Cade Burnett hitting that wall. So it's going to be Ryan Mayfield, Camden Lime. Camden Lime, you're one and two. Camden Lime not racing any time, chasing Mayfield through that washboard section. Mayfield stretching out a slight bit of a lead to Sorry guys, I've lost my scoring trying to get it up and going here. It has stopped working on my end. I do apologize for that, trying to refresh it here. But I know that Camden Line right now and Ryan Mayfield are breaking away from that pack. There you see Dakota Fan hanging on. As I try to get my scoring back up again, Mayfield coming across.
Mayfield getting a little bit of space between him and Camden Lyon, but Camden Lyon not letting it get too far in front of him. He's got Dakota Fenn right behind him. All righty, we are back. 31-8 last time by for Ryan Mayfield. Camden getting a little bit wrong. It's going to be Ryan Mayfield, Camden line. Dakota Fan, little bump in that fourth spot. And Joe Buenos in fifth. Camden going into a little bit of defensive. Makes a mistake, and that's going to allow Fan by. All right, so we're on board of our leader, Dakota Fan, going down through that Nuketown Valley. Then going to set his sights on Mayfield right now. Our first pro A-man of the day. Fend, the 31-9 that time around. Trying to chase down his nemesis from 2022. We saw these two go back and forth oh, for the last two years. Can somebody come up there? There's Little Bump now into third. Camden Lyons still hanging on to fourth. The key is not letting these guys get out to a lead. And Mayfield ain't trying to hurt that. He is already out to a lead. And Dakota Fenn is chasing. Separated by two seconds. Camden Lyme in third. Joe Buenos fourth. Joey Bordona up to fifth. Little bump dropping down to sixth. There's Camden Lyme trying to make up some time on Dakota Fenn. He's got 2.4 seconds to make up to Fenn. Lyme going over that double. Coming through that washboard section. He does. And the Dragons back. Fine. Lyme making that mistake. But now putting on the afterburners, this is going to be a good lack for Camden. When he comes by this time, it's going to be a 31-9. His fastest lap so far. Now that gap, 2.7. There is Camden chasing down uh, Dakota Fenn. Joey Bredon having a good run now up in fourth. Bornhorse in fifth. So it's going to be Techno, TLR, S-Works, Techno, S-Works, Kyosho, Cole Ogden in seventh. As we are on board with Mayfield, he's already starting to lap the field. He's about to lap Cade Burnett, Brendan Ruiz, and Adam Drake. There he gets by Cade Burnett. Mayfield absolutely flying right now. Don't look like anybody's got anything for him. With five minutes in the clock and 24.50 to go. Mayfield looking absolutely dialed out there in that techno truck. He's coming up on, I want to say that's Jonah Wilson, maybe. We'll see when he comes across. Yep, I think that was Jonah. Mayfield flying in that Techno truck. Looking to start out 2024 with a bang, with a Nitro Truggy win. Techno would like that as well. It's Mayfield from Fenn, Camden Line, Bornos up to fourth. Jerry Bernard dropping down to fifth. Little bump in sixth. Cole Ogden 7th, Jared Wiggins 8th, Spencer Hackett ninth, Ryan Lutz 10th, Fuller 11th, Cole Caston, Lee Setzer, Jonah Wilson, Brandon Rivers, Adam Drake, and Kay Burnett running out your top, the rest of the drivers there. we still got lots of racing left to go, plus pit stops. And there we are with Dakota Fenn, who's now 2.4 seconds back. But he has a rear view mirror full of a hard charging Camden line. Camden line was 1.9 back. This time around, it's going to be a lot closer than that as we see Camden line chasing him down through that Newton Valley line. Absolutely flying right now. This is going to be a flying lap for him. That's going to be a 31 9. He threw down a 31 6, backs it up with a 31 9. Camden line absolutely pushing, trying to catch up to Fenn. Nerves, he can't lose touch of Mayfield. Uh, Mayfield now 2.7 up on Dakota Fenn. There you see Mayfield going over that double. I think it's a lot closer on track now. Mayfield. Mayfield making a mistake down in Nuke Valley. He makes a mistake down there in Nuketown. That's going to allow Fenn by and Camden line by. So, unfortunate there, but that is racing. Mayfield making a big mistake. That's going to allow the DP by. Fan on the pipe, and there we see Camden Line now back with a second life. We thought Mayfield was going to pull away, but he gets caught by those bumps going on into that 
Nuke Tom Valley, there we see Mayfield. He's not going to be happy about that. He's going to start pushing. Let's, put, let's, let's zoom out. Let's see if we can get that battle in between both of these guys. Camden going to come in for fuel, I think. Camden coming in early, 7 minutes and 30 seconds. Oh, boy. Good pit. Good pit. Good pit. Great pit by Tim Lyme, and I believe that was uh, the Mexican s driver. So Camden Lyme, our first driver into pits. Fend still out front. Let's get on Fend. There's Fend. We know he can go longer. We know he can go long. He can go long and buggy. He can go long and truggy. Ryan Mayfield. Rayfield coming into pit. All right, let's get back on Mayfield. He's coming into pit as well. We hear him coming up. Our cameraman says no. All right, but let's stay on Mayfield. He's currently in second. He'll be coming in shortly. Captain Lime already coming for fuel. We are on board of our leader, Dakota Fenn. Fenn making a mistake right there. Mayfield not able to capitalize, but he's going to draw up closer. There's Mayfield making it up over that double. Did he get by Fenn? I don't think so. Out that dragon back he goes. There's Fenn exiting the dragon's back. Going down into New Town Valley. Sorry, that's not Fenn. That's Camden Lime. No fuel for Mayfield, but Camden Lime got by Mayfield on the track. Wow. Camden Lime absolutely flying. So there we are on board with Ryan Mayfield currently being scored down in third. He, he needs to come up for some fuel. Mike Cameron then tells me that fans in the pit. I think we're going to see Mayfield. Nope, Mayfield goes by again. So Mayfield going longer. Right, was that Mayfield that got it wrong at the end of this? Yes, that was. Mayfield getting it wrong at the end of the straightaway. Another accident for Fenn for Mayfield. Mayfield, I believe, has to come in for fuel if he hasn't come in already. So I'm not sure. I think Mayfield might have come in already. Let's see. Nope, I, I believe Mayfield has already come in for fuel. I believe so. All right. Camden Line, Dakota fan, Ryan Mayfield, Joe Bornos. Unless, unless Mayfield's going in 10 minutes, we'll find out her shortly. All right now, Camden Line out front hurling off at Dakota Fenn and a hard charging Ryan Mayfield. Right now, this battle is on. We've seen these two battle it out race after race, but Camden Line out front right now. Mayfield already, he has to have already come in for fuel. So he missed it. That's why Lime's out front. He'll stick with this battle. Camden Lyon got a four second lead on Dakota Fenn. He's gonna need it because he's coming in at seven and a half. There's Camden Lyon. He is feeling the flow. He is in the zone. Camden absolutely flying right now. Over that double he goes. Dakota Fan and Mayfield battling it out behind us. Behind him. Let's watch uh, Camden as he goes through this dragon's back. There's Lee Setzer right in front of him. He's lapped up, he's lapping up to Lee Setzer. That's gonna be a 32-4. A His lead gonna be 4.2 seconds over Dakota. Yep. Mayfield already coming for his fuel stop. We'll figure it out when he comes in second time. Camden Lyon scheduled to come back in at that 15 minute mark. He needs, this is exactly what he needs to do. He needs to get out front, put a big gap between him and Dakota Fenn. Dakota Fenn and Mayfield, they're battling it out. They got some lap traffic in front of them. Dakota Fenn and Mayfield going tit for tat as they come down to that Nuketown Valley. Mayfield having a look on the inside, trying to get by as they come drag racing down the straightaway. Fenn just keeping Mayfield at bay, going into the defensive posture. 
See them coming up over this double. They got some lap traffic in front of them. That's Mason Fuller. Fanned out there in that orange and purple, black wing, yellow wheels. There's Ryan Mayfield, that white, all white car. Well, not all white. Got some uh, pink and blue flames on it. They get past Mason Fuller. All put in valve for Camden Line as he comes across with a 32.5. That lead still 4.4 seconds, so these guys shook away a few tenths. They got Cole Ogden and Lee Setzer in front of them. Camden Lime, oh wow. So Cole jumping way wide. Dakota getting by now. Mayfield's gonna have to thread the needle through these lap traffic. Cole going wide of him. Lee, right in front of Mayfield. Man, that was close. So now these guys clear of that traffic. Camden Line came by, that's a 31-4 fastest lap of the race for Camden Line so far. 4.9 seconds ahead of Dakota Fan. Camden Line doing exactly what he has to do. And that is go out there and click off fast, fast laps and watch these guys race each other. We're coming up, 16 minutes and 36 seconds left to go in this race. We should see a pit stop from Camden Line soon. He came in at 7.30. Mayfield losing a little bit of ground to Dakota Fan over that Dragon's back. This is where Mayfield makes up a lot of time and he gets on the power and his car is absolutely flying. All right, we're not worried about Wiggins, he's way down. Wiggins running out of fuel, having a problem, I'm heard. We're focused on this big race we got going on for second. There's Dakota Fan pulling out some space between him and Mayfield. Mayfield closing the gap once again. Here we'll see if Dakota Fan can make that space up, make that gap grow again as he gets through that Dragon back and he does. So Dakota Fan always seems to pace himself and gap Mayfield through that Dragon's back. As they come on the straightaway, that's going to be a 32 flat, a 32-6 for Mayfield. Camden Line loving this, though. He needs Mayfield to push the issue and challenge Dakota. Dakota can go in that defensive, po uh, def defensive podium, uh, defensive position. And there is Mayfield right back up on the rear ring of Dakota Fan as they go through that washboard section. Camden Lime about to go into the straightaway. He is in the zone right now. Cole Caston, that's going to be some lap traffic. As we see Camden Lime making his way around Cade Burnett. That was a 32-1. Fenn makes it a mistake, says my cameraman. That's going to allow Mayfield by. Oh no, he's going to set his sights on Camden Lime. Camden Lime probably coming in for fuel. Let's get back on Camden Lime. I, I, I feel that Camden Lines could come in for fuel this lap, and he does. It's going to have to be a very thick, quick fuel stop. Tim Lime on the fuel gun, and they get him back out there. That was an absolutely amazing pit stop. He's going to come out behind Fenn. Fenn currently scored in second. Ryan Lutz a lap down. Ryan Mayfield going to take over that lead, while both Mayfield and Fenn have to come in for fuel, but they're going to probably go one stop less than than. Then Lime, there is Mayfield going up out on the Dragon's back. He's got to navigate that lap traffic. There's his teammate, Spencer Heckert. There's Fenn, Lime. So not too much space between them. Oh my goodness, absolutely flying. We're, get, we're getting witness to a very good race. We're going to see Mayfield come in here soon, I'm pretty sure. Let's stay on Mayfield. Don't follow Jory Bourdon. There is Mayfield coming up over that double. He's going to come into fuel soon. I'm pretty sure of this. I think Dakota Fan, the only one really going long. So There's going to be Ryan Mayfield, Dakota Fan. Camden Line, nine tenths of a second. There you see Camden Line going down in Nuketown. Mayfield in for fuel. Mayfield in for fuel. Stay on Mayfield. Scott Heckert doing the fuel. So now Dakota Fan, the only one going to come into fuel now. Spencer Heckert. Spencer Heckett's dad doing the fueling duties for uh, Mayfield. Great pit. We're going to have one more stop from each of these guys. Let's get back on uh, Dakota Fenn, please. He's got to come in for fuel. There's Dakota Fenn currently in the lead. I th would think as he comes across. Nope. Yep. Dakota Fenn in the lead. Camden Lime in second. Mayfield down to third. Dakota Fan trying to put some space between him and Camden Line and come in for a quick fuel stop. Let's stay on Dakota Fan, our leader right now. He's got to come in one more time. 
This is a three-way battle for first. It doesn't look like it right now, but once Fenn comes out from his pit, it's going to be all bunched back up again as these pits recycle uh, through. Stay on Dakota Fenn. Stay on Dakota Fenn. He's... Nope, no fuel for Fenn this time around. Let's stay on him. Let's keep him watching. Oh, Fenn getting the wrong jump into the inside. There's Mayfield flying. Mayfield now up at the second. Mayfield had an accident, I'm told, by a cameraman. That's going to not allow Camden Lyon back. Camden Lyon back 5.1 seconds. Fenn going to come in for fuel. That's what he needed, an accident from Mayfield. All right, so Dakota should be coming in this time around. Let's follow Dakota. Dunford on the pitting deal. Good, much better pit by Dunford this time around. I think that's going to get Fend out in front. Fend going to have to come in one more time for a quick splash and dash. Right in front of Mayfield, so it's back on. Mayfield right there behind uh, Fend. Camden now 3.2 seconds back of these guys. Little bump now getting up into that top four. Joe Bornos in fifth, Spencer Hecker in sixth. And we are on board with our driver stand camera. There you can see Mayfield and Fenn battling out. Fenn just in front of him. They, oh, Mayfield has to get on the brakes hard and almost crash into the rear ring of Dakota Fenn as they come flying by, separated by four one hundredth of a second. Oh my goodness, what an absolute battle we have going on our hands. As Dakota Fenn stretches out that gap a little bit, going over that big double. This is where we're seeing Fenn make up some time on Mayfield. Let's see if Mayfield can keep uh, latch on to him as they go through the Dragons back. And Mayfield right there. Fenn getting it wrong. He, uh, that was no harm. That was not on Mayfield. That was Fenn getting into the pipe. And uh, Mayfield respectfully getting on the brakes. It's going to be Dakota Fenn. Mayfield. Camden Line coming back up into the mix now. Fenn makes a mistake. Camden Lime going to be in third. This Camden Lime. Oh, no. So Camden Lime trying to get past Dakota. Oh, wow. We got a three-way battle for one, two, and three. That's one right out there. Ryan Mayfield, that white car. Dakota fan, that orange and blue car. And Camden Lime, that pink car with the white wing. We got a battle of the ages here in Nitro Truggy. Ten minutes and 19 seconds left to go in this race. Ryan Mayfield got a little bit of breathing room. Dakota fan coming there. Lime good on the inside, avoiding all those bumps. They are separated by 1.6 seconds from one to third. Excellent race happening here. Mayfield can't relax at all. Dakota Fenn can't relax at all. Mayfield wants these guys to battle it out so he can stretch out a lead, but Dakota not hearing anything of that. He is taking a challenge to Mayfield. All three of these guys got to come in for another fuel stop. Captain Lyon going to have to get in first. Captain Lyon crashes off Camber. That's going to be a bobble. He's going gonna, he's gonna to get some space to Mayfield. Mayfield comes by. That's a 32-3. A 32-3 for our Dakota. Can alive a 33-8. So we are following Mayfield and Fenn. Mayfield stretching that lead out ever so slightly, but some lap traffic coming up for these guys. One more pit stop for everybody. Lime trying to get back on the horse and make this a three-way battle. He knows he has to come back in at that 7.30 mark. It's going to be Ryan Mayfield, Dakota Fan, Camden Lyon, Little Bump, Joe Bourne, or Spencer Hackett, Joey Bredon, Ryan Lutz, Mason Fuller, Cole Castle in your top ten. We got nine minutes and five seconds left to go into race. This has been an absolutely nail-biting race for this uh, first 21 minutes. Let's hope it comes on to the end like we've seen many other races come today. There's Mayfield. He's got a little bit of... No, he doesn't because there's Dakota Fan. Dakota Fan getting a good run off that double. Now they're going... Oh! Ah, uh, do we see Mayfield getting cross running and uh, cross jumping across that track. Dakota Fan, can he take advantage? He stands on the inside. Mayfield gets on the inside. Mayfield muscling his way onto the straightaway, and they're going to drag race down the straightaway. Now uh, they are separated by four tenths of a second. Some great driving by both Mayfield and Fenn. Woo! Mayfield, though, cannot relax. It look how I mean, Fenn is just jumping right into that corner. No problem. There we see Mayfield. He got it wrong last lap by Dakota Fenn trying to get a run on him. He likes to keep it really tight around that pipe. Mayfield, no harm, no foul. Going down that straightaway. Separated by half a second. And they are much closer than that now as they come up over and do this first roller into this double. Watch how far Fenn 
right there getting good runs coming off this this uh, big double. Then right behind Mayfield. Mayfield and then both going through the washboard. Tit for tat. Coming through that dragon's back. Looks like Dakota fan has a little run, has a little peak, but decides to say no. He's got seven minutes and 30 seconds left to go. And if I'm not mistaken, that's Camden Lyon right behind them. But I think Lyon's coming in for fuel. So Camden Lyon coming in for fuel. These guys got to stop one more time as well. Uh-oh. Oh, Fenn hit the pipe. That's going to give uh, Ryan Mayfield some breathing room. Mayfield probably coming in here shortly the next lap or two. Let's stay on Mayfield. I'm sure he's coming in for some fuel. Oh, my goodness. What a barn-burning race this has been. Mayfield staying out. That was a 32-1 for him. Dakota Fenn, a 32-5. They're separated by 1.4 seconds. Six minutes and 52 seconds left to go in this race. Mayfield got some space between him and Fenn. Fenn, though, never conked Fenn out. Lots of time left for him to make a charge. Also for Camden Lime, he's 5.4 back, but both of these guys have to come in and pit. Mayfield coming up on the rear end of Joe Bornhorst. Mayfield, is he going to come in this time? Yes, he does. Mayfield coming in for his last pit. Scott Heckert. Heck, uh, Scott Heckert. A good pit stop by Heckert. Fenn staying out there. So now Fenn got to come in one more time. There is Camden Lime not too far behind Mayfield. I can see him coming into the uh, my peripheral vision. <clears throat> there is Cole Ogden. He's a non-factor in this race at the moment. All right, so Mayfield in for fuel. He's good to go. Dakota Fenn got to come in. Let's get that second camera on Dakota Fenn. Dakota Fenn. Okay, let's let's get up on our leader, Dakota Fenn. He should be coming in for pits here shortly. There is Dakota Fenn making his way. He's got a substantial lead over Mayfield now. 3.2 and he came across the line. He's got to come in for a quick splash and dash with Dunford as well. Oh, Fenn getting up on tippy toes there to that washboard. He is on the edge. I think that's Mayfield just pushing. Not too far behind there. You see Mayfield going through the Dragon's back. Fenn got to come in for some fuel. Not this time. Or is he going to stretch it out? I don't think he has 11 minutes in him. Fenn got to put some fast left between him and Mayfield. 3.1. Camden now three seconds back of Mayfield. There we are on board with Dakota Fenn. He's been very fast through this section of the track. We are expecting Dakota Fenn to come in for a pit. And we are going to have a race between him, Ryan Mayfield, and possibly Camden Lime. If this coming in for his pit now. Fenn maybe going to wait and stretch it out a little bit more. And he does. He's going to stay out for another lap. Dakota Fenn with a 32-2. 3.5 that gap. So Fenn absolutely flying right now. And his favorite section of the track. That double going into this next double. Coming through this washboard to that Dragon's back. Mayfield now 3.5 seconds back. We're staying on Fenn because we expect him to come into fuel. I think it's going to be this lap. He's got a pretty big lead. I think if he comes in for fuel, and he's coming in for fuel. He's coming in for fuel. It's all on Dunford right now. Let's see. Can he get him out? And it's a good fuel. He's gonna, it's a good pit stop. He's going to come out in front of Mayfield. There's Mayfield coming down the straightaway. So Dakota Fenn has it all in his hands to win. Four minutes left to go. Dakota Fenn doing what he has to do, clipping off some fast snaps. Then Mayfield went in for that pit. And now he is in the lead. And I think that is Camden Lime right behind him. So Camden Lime is now in the mix. Can Camden Lime hold on? There's Mayfield right behind him, I do believe. I believe that's Camden Lime. That is Camden Lime. Camden Lime right there in position in case anything happens. Mayfield right behind him. And Mayfield now going to be five seconds back. So this is the race. Camden Lime gets by him. Can the line gets by him? Can he make it stick? Three minutes and 27 seconds left to go as he goes up over that double. Captain Line in the zone. He's absolutely flying. He comes through that washboard section. He's going to go up over this back to back. Dragon's back. He has got a lead on Dakota Fenn coming around that down into that, uh, that blown out valley we see. And he is coming down that straightaway. Captain Line is your leader with three minutes left to go. He doesn't have to come in for fuel. Let's go, Captain Line. You can do it, good buddy. As he comes up over the round at 180, over that roller he goes back into this double section. He's going to fly over that double. 
Camden Lawn not feeling any type of pressure whatsoever. Look at Smith. Fan getting a good run. He's charging after Camden Lawn as they come through this. Dragons back. Oh man, Camden Lawn got a little bit wrong, but he still holds on to that lead. Oh my goodness, what an exciting race. Two minutes and 30 seconds, 35 seconds left to go as they come down this straightaway. Oh man, they are separated by four tenths of a second. What an exceptional race we're seeing. Camden Line, got a rear view mirror full of Dakota Fenn. Camden Line, the young up and coming racer, been looking for this big win for quite some time. Oh, oh, I thought he was gonna get it wrong, but he keeps it on all fours. Oh my goodness, two minutes and 10 seconds left to go. I don't think my heart can take it. I don't think I can take it. It's so much excitement. They are so close as they come down straight away. Oh my goodness, Fenn is all over Camden Lime. Camden Lime getting it wrong, Fenn gonna take him on the inside. But Fenn, wow, what an impressive move by Dakota Fenn as, the, as Camden Lime goes wide. Come on Camden, you got one minute and 42 seconds left to make a challenge to Fenn, don't let him get away from you, you can do it. Ryan Mayfield right there bouncing it off the wall. He's now 3.4 seconds back. Come on Camden. You got about three more laps to go. No more than that. I'd say four. Yeah, I do a 34-1. Come on, you can do it. There's Dakota Fan. He's coming up over the roller. Coming into this fast. This is where Fans are making up all his time in this section right here. Absolutely flying. There you see Camden Lime chasing that line as well. He is in it. He is not out of it yet, folks. One minute and five seconds left to go. Are we gonna see another late charge? Camden Lyon getting a little bit squarely down in Newtown Valley. That's gonna give Brett, uh, Fenn some breathing time. One mistake and Camden Lyon is there. Camden Lyon not too far off pace, 49 seconds, gonna get this lap plus one more. Ryan Mayfield hard charging now. As you see Mayfield coming into the mix. Camden Lyon has nothing to lose now. It's either second or third. He's gonna put his foot down, try to change, chase down Dakota Fenn. Ryan Mayfield hard on the, on the, on the gas, a 32-5 for him that time around. One more lap from these racers. What an exciting 30 minutes of A main pro nitro truck racing we have had. Dakota Fenn out in that lead. One mistake, Lime starting to make a push. Lime, look at him, having a little look. He's gonna put on the afterburners. These guys are gonna get no more laps, this is it. Oh no, Lime making a mistake over that double. Having a single single, that's gonna give Dakota Fenn the room that he needs. I think I'm fortunate that Dakota Fenn, barring any mistake, Lime's gonna try and hold on for second place. Dakota Fenn, gonna take your win and gonna be your 2024 Southern Indoor Championship Pro Nitro Truggy Champion. Captain Lime coming in second, what an exciting race. I don't think I'm gonna make it to the end of the race with my voice. Oh my goodness, I need a drink of water after that race. What an exceptional race, Dakota Fenn, Camden Line, Ryan Mayfield, Little Bump, Spencer Heckert, Joe Bornhorst, Mason Fuller, Ryan Lutz, Cole Kasson, Joey Burdon, Brandon Ruiz, Cole Ogden, and the Adam Drake. Wow, oh man, I'm tired. That was a good race. That was a great run. Are you ready for the most insane race on the planet? The Psycho Nitro Blast is coming to you April 5th through the 7th in White Pine, Tennessee, and you will not want to miss it. We'll see you there. We hope you guys are enjoying the live broadcast of the 2024 Southern Indoor Championship, and we want to thank all of our sponsors for helping us make that happen. Huge shout out to all of our 2024 race time sponsors, including Absolute Hobbies, J Concepts, Techno RC, Reds Racing, Team Losi Racing, VP Racing Fuels, BeachRC.com, AKA Nitro Pro, ProTech RC, Trinity, S Works, Lugs Racing Tires, TNR Fuels, HB Racing, a main hobbies and on point graphics. Mark Moon. All right, guys, let's get our top five over here. Antiqui, please. Top five, Antiqui. Four. Three.
3, 2, 1. Hold up, guys. Hold up. Nobody across the line, please. What are y'all doing? Hold up. All right, guys. All right, here we go. We're ready to roll. In the number five spot, it's going to be Spencer Heckert. In the number four, Fee Long Win. In the number three, Antique U, Ryan Mayfield. In the number two spot, Camden Lime. And your 2024 Southern Indoor Championship cha uh, for Pro Nitro Truggy, it is Dakota Finn. What a great job here from Dakota Finn, Camden Lime, and Ryan Mayfield. They battled it out for the full 30 minutes here in Pro Nitro Truck. What a great race and a drive from Finn to come out on top and win the first major race of the year here in Pro Nitro Truck. We hope you guys are enjoying the live broadcast of the 2024 Southern Indoor Championship, and we want to thank all of our sponsors for helping us make that happen. I'm here with Camden Line, impressive running Truggy, dude. Congratulations on the bump in e-buggy, too, but, man, you, I, oh. I was I was good nuts in there. You almost had it. Yeah, it was a good race. Uh, the track was super gnarly for 30 minutes straight, three-car battle. It's pretty hard out there, and, uh, you know, I just made one too many mistakes to keep up with the best in the world, but I'm really happy with how I battled out there. Uh, yeah, I just wish I wouldn't have clipped the two, but, you know, things happen, and I'm super happy with the second place. Uh, good start to the year already, and uh, hopefully we got to do something similar in Nitro Buggy. Absolutely, absolutely. Good luck in Nitro Buggy, and uh, good job, man. I'm super impressed. I'm losing my voice. I was freaking out right in there. Um, I know your dad's happy. Congratulations on that, and good luck to you in your Nitro Buggy run. SRX cars are looking good out there this weekend. Yeah, uh, they're awesome, man. The SRX cars, Hot Race, and Ultimate Combo, Beach RC, you know, everything. Everyone behind my corner is awesome. I want to give a big shout-out to Jared Tebow. Uh, he's our new uh, American team manager out here, and he's only helped me this weekend. It's been amazing, you know. Uh, he's doing good things for me, and then, uh, yeah, I would like to thank uh, all my sponsors for everything they do, and uh, it's been good. Awesome, man. Good job. Go talk to your dad, and good job on that run. Dakota? We got the Phenom coming over. Hard for Truggy victory for Hard Truck. A uh, hard for Truggy victory for you. Battling up with Mayfield in the early beginnings in Camden Lime, and coming on to the end, battling up with uh, Camden Lime there at the end. But congratulations on the victory. But it wasn't easy. Yeah, no, definitely not easy. Um, they had a little bit of pace on me. Camden was super fast the whole time. Um, just tried to stay smooth and consistent. I think I had a few less mistakes in them um, and decided to uh, kind of stretch a little bit on the stops. Uh, I think we're, I was kind of in the range of maybe doing 10, but I knew with the dust towards the end it was going to be pretty uh, pretty gnarly. So uh, we did like 9, 9, 15 uh, and kind of just got clean air, which helped me out uh, every time I came into pit. So I think the first time I ended up going from third to first, and then it helped me there at the end as well, just kind of kind of waiting them out. Uh, the tires were, uh, were getting pretty hard there at the end as they got lower. Uh, it's, just, it's just super, super dusty out there. Yeah, super rough as well. Uh, did you learn anything from that race? Are going to apply to your e-buggy and uh, nitro buggy races coming up later? Yeah, 100%. Uh, I went out on uh, blue reflexes. I think the reflex tire we learned yesterday was a little bit safer. Um, so went out on that. And then I think compound, uh, I, I don't know yet, uh, green or blue for sure. Um, but we made some changes to the truck just to get a little bit easier to drive a little bit safer. And it was uh, definitely in that direction and paid off. Well, sweet. Well, good. Uh, thank you for putting on the show. Congratulations. You take your first, uh, second big win of 2024. Well, first big win in an eight scale. 
And uh, we wish you all the luck, and we look for a similar show in the upcoming finals. Cool, I appreciate it. Thank you. Awesome. All right, guys, we're going to get back to our first Sportsman A, uh, E-Buggy A1, and I am going to let you guys go to Lance. You fellas not going to win on lap number one. Take your time now as you come through those first couple of corners. This is a 10-minute, 10 10-minute 10 A1 final. Bryce Beaver getting the associated. Out in front, feeling the pressure here from Chuck Berg. Now Berg going to dive to the inside. And Bryce Beaver going to take it right back away. Oh, on the wrong side of the pipe there for Chuck. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. All right, you have lap number one in the books as Bryce Beaver comes across the line. Guys, concessions is still open. Concessions is still open. They have lots of pulled pork and hot dogs left. He wants something to eat. Concessions is still open. Bryce Beaver leading away. Chuck Berg holding on that number two spot. Brad Nimble Lincoln at number three. Donald Elliott at number four. Mark Moon in the five. Brian Looper in the six. Jason Spitzman in the seven. Nine minutes left. One minute down, nine minutes left to go. Bryce Beaver right now leading it away. Chuck Berg in that number two spot. Brad Nibble Lincoln at number three. Donald Elliott working at number four. Bryce Beaver right now with 3.4 second lead up on Chuck Berg. Donald Elliott in the number three spot. Mark Moon holding on to the four spot. Brad Nimble Lincoln in the number five. Mark Morrow in that number six. Ever Lobos in that number seven. Brian Looper in the eight. Jason Spitzman in the nine. Randy Inger in number 10. Mike Lopes in the number 11. Randall in at number 12. James Williams in 13. Tony Rooney 14. Brian Bringles 15. Josh Dillon 16. Bryce Beaver right now 3.4 seconds up on Chuck Berg. Race number 34. E. Truggy coming up next. Eight minutes left. Three minutes down, seven minutes left to go. Bryce Beaver, Donald Elliott, Chuck Berg in that number one, two, and three spot. Mark Moon working at number four. Mark Morrow in that number five. Seven minutes left. Three thirty down, six thirty left to go. Bryce Beaver, eleven seconds up on the field. That associated flying out there right now as he's opened up a big lead on the field. Donald Elliott though closing in on the backside here of Chuck Berg for that number two. Looks like we now have a pass for that number two as Donald Elliott coming on the front straightaway. That Agama right now showing out in front. Chuck Berg in that number three. Mark Moon working at number four. Two point five seconds back into three. Mark Moen, Mark Moe in the five. Four minutes down, six minutes left to go. Six minutes left. Bryce Beaver. 12 seconds now up on the field. Donald Elliott last time by the line. 1.4 seconds up on Chuck Mark Moon. 2.3 seconds back of Chuck for the three. You're now 4.30 down, 5.30 left to go.
4.30 down, 5.30 remaining. Bryce Beaver, Donald Elliott, Chuck Berg. Right now running one, two, and three. Mark Moon, 2.8 seconds back. Mark Morrow, he is only two seconds away from Moon for the four. Five minutes left. Five minutes down, five minutes left to go. James Williamson working at number six. Ever Lobo at number seven. Randall Carden at eight. Jason Spitzman nine. Brian Looper in at number 10. Brian Bringle in the 11. Bryce Beaver with a 6.2 second lead up on Chuck Berg. Donald Elliott working at number three spot. One second back at a two. Mark Moon now 3.6 seconds behind Moon. Mark Morrow holding on to number five spot. James Williamson in at number six. Ever Lobo in at number seven. Randall Carden at eight. Jason Spitzman in the number nine. Brian Looper in the 10. Brian Ringle in that number 11 spot. Josh Steele in the 12. Brad Nibelink in the 13. Tony Rooney, 14. You are now six minutes down, four minutes remaining. Four minutes left. Bryce Beaver with a eight second lead now up on Chuck Berg. Donald Elliott in that number three spot. 1.4 seconds back out of the two. Mark Moon still working at number four. Mark Morrow into five. You're 630 down, 330 left to go. Finishing that one or two position, you are guaranteed a podium spot in either main. Finish in the number three, you are on the bubble. All depends on how A2 is going to shake down. Just over three minutes left to go. Race number 34 going to be coming up next. Race 34. We're going to blow the track off after 34. Going to blow the track off after 34. 40 plus E Buggy, A main number one, E Truggy out on the track. Or uh, coming up next, E Truggy coming up next. Seven minutes down, three minutes left to go. Bryce Beaver right now. Eight seconds up on the field. Chuck Bergen at number two. Mark Moon working the four. Mark Morrow in the five. Mark Moon up to the three. Donald Lilly falls to the four. Elliott only 1.2 seconds by Moon for that number three. Here's 740 down, 220 left to go. Race number 34, you're on deck. Two minutes left. Bryce Beaver with a 12 second lead here up on Chuck. Mark Moon holding on number three spot. You got a minute 15 left to go. Bryce Beaver right now with 8.6 second lead up on Chuck Berg. Battle though is hot between Elliott and Morrow. Nope, take that back. Mark Moon and Donald Elliott with the height bottle. They're separated by five tenths of a second. Mark Morrow still holding on to the five. One minute left. Ever Lobo sitting at number six. James Williamson in the seven. Brian Looper working the eight. Jason Spitz with nine. Less than a minute to go. 45 seconds left. Thirty seconds left.
15 seconds left. 15 seconds left to go. Bryce Beaver and Chuck Berg separated by 5.4 seconds, but Mark Moon right now with a slim advantage here up on Donald Elliott as the race clock is about to expire. It's going to be a race back to the line over here on the left-hand side of the track as Mark Moon and Donald Elliott drag race done. down the front straight Mark away. It will be Donald Mark Elliott Moon done. taking the number three spot by one-tenth of a second. Josh still done. Waiting on Bryce Beaver and Chuck Berg to come back and finish up. Randall Cart done. Here comes Bryce coming back to the start finish line. Bryce Beaver done. He's going to take the win. Chuck Berg going to come home in that number two spot. Brian Luber done. Ever Salizar Lobos done. Jason Spimmon done. James Williamson done. Tony Ronnie done. All right. Chuck Berg done. That is. Brian Bringle done. That is race, guys. Everybody is done. Are you ready for the most insane race on the planet? The Psycho Nitro Blast is coming April 5th through the 7th in White Pine, Tennessee, and you will not want to miss it. All right, Danny, you can put me back after this commercial, please. All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed that amazing uh, pro truck man that we just had uh, congratulations to Dakota fan on the win it was an exceptional win Camden Lime uh, as well as um, Ryan Mayfield well done to Little Bump coming in fourth and uh, Spencer Heckert with a good run on his first drive on that new techno truck it was an exceptional race and uh, as you guys could hear if you listen to it on the screen I'm gonna have to go back and listen to that race because I was screaming into that mic it was it was, a, it was a lot of emotions in there. You know, I, when I see racing like that, I'm super passionate. It gets me going. And um, I hope you guys have been enjoying all the coverage uh, that the Elite Elite RC has been bringing to you guys. Uh, we want to thank Race Time Entertainment for having us out here. It's always a pleasure to be here. I thank you to all the racers that have come up and showed us some support. We greatly appreciate it. I hope you guys have been enjoying the coverage of the SIC Southern Indoor Championships. We still got a lot more racing left to go. Don't forget, we have some uh, pro e buggy coming up here shortly. Then uh, we have the nitro buggies classes coming up as well. So don't go anywhere. We're scheduled to be done around, I'd say, about 7:30, 8 o'clock tonight, which would be 9:30 EST. And uh, yeah, we're having fun with hanging out with you guys in the chat. Don't forget to smash that like button on all platforms that you're watching. And remember, the PMB is coming up very shortly. April 5th to 7th, join us for the biggest, baddest, most psycho race of the year, the Psycho Nitro Blast 2024. Sign-ups and registration is open on RC Sign-Up. Thank you, Rory Harlow. Thank you, RC Jazz. Oh, man. I, I, it, 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 uh, it was awesome. Thank you, RC Attic. RC Car Attic. All right, so our first e truck a we got Little Bump and Hunter King, Michael Rinky, Peyton Puckett, Wyatt Lawson, Brandon Campbell, Aiden Richray, Jeff Stanford, Brian Looper, Orion Green, JJ Truex, Michael Lopes, Eric Hanneman, Sean Salter, Roland Compton, Jared Godwin, Goodwin, and Dave Taylor. Well, let's get ready. We still got a lot of races left to go, and hopefully that we can uh, get some good races. We've seen good races at all levels today, so very good, very good. All right, Little Bump getting out front. And I think that's, is that Hunter King behind him? Yep. Let's see if Hunter King can latch on and uh, make this a good race. Hunter King very fast in E-Truggy. Yeah, we're going to sleep well. We got to pack all this stuff up tomorrow and get back on the road. Oh, Little Bump getting it wrong. That's going to allow Hunter by. All right, so Little Bump just uh, getting it wrong at the end of the Dragon's Back. Thank you, guys. You can't do it without your support. Don't forget to smash that like button. Hunter King out to that lead in that yellow and purple TLR representing B&T Raceway out there in the panhandle in Florida. At the young 12-year-old little bump right behind him. Peyton Puckett right there as well. E. Truggy paying some bills here at the 2024 Southern Indoor Championship. Hunter King comes out of a 33-2. Little bump of a 33-1. 
Peyton Puckett a 33-9. Michael Rinka a 35-1. Oh, Hunter makes some mistakes. He got caught up in that infield. Gonna allow a bump by. Wyatt Lawson in fifth. Sean Salter sixth. Jeff Stafford, Roland Compton, Jared Goodman. All right, now let's focus on this battle we have shaping up for our e truggy Hunter getting a good run coming out of that Dragon's back, but gets a little bit squirrely. Has to correct and not drive into the pipe. Looking on the inside is Hunter King. Hunter coming flying down that straightaway. He's separated by three-tenths of a second for Little Bump. Little Bump fending off a hard-charging Hunter King. Hunter having a look on the inside. He is all over that rear wing of Little Bump. That's Kyosho versus TLR right there. Little Bump with his new ride. Hunter trying out some new, uh, signed up with Exalt Electronics this year. And running their stuff. We got seven minutes and 43 seconds left to go in this race, and we have a good battle for first out here. Peyton Puckett now 4.5 seconds back. These guys are battling, out, battling it out as Little Bump goes into a very defensive posture, slamming the door on Hunter King at any chance he can get. Understands that Hunter King is lurking back there. Hunting, probing, looking for a spot to take a, take over that. And Hunter King gets it. One second, everybody. Alrighty then, Hunter King taking over that lead after Little Bump makes a mistake through the Dragon's back. Oh, and Hunter making a mistake. And there is Little Bump again, going to take that lead from him. He says, thank you, I'll take that. Hunter King now going to have to fight back. Hunter with a 34-1 last time around. And Little Bump going to stretch that lead out to eight-tenths of a second. All right, Tiny, see you later, bud. Safe travels back home. Good to see you two weeks in a row. Hope you enjoyed yourself here at the Southern Indoor Championship. Have a safe trip back, Mr. Brian Folsom, a.k.a. Tiny. Thank you for the uh, frosty beverages as well. Yeah, Matt Nelson, that was amazing. Little Bump getting by. Hunter King now falling back. He doesn't want this to happen. They are um, uh, Hunter King now making another mistake, jumping through that infield. So I believe that is. I'm not sure who Little Bump's about to come up and uh, put down a lap. Ooh. Okay, so that's Aiden Ridgeway behind him, but Aiden currently being scored on in eighth. Oh, wow. That was close. That, I want to say that is, uh, no idea who that is. Roland Compton, actually. That is Roland Compton. That's his colors. That's why I knew I recognized it. Yep, a little bit of quiet here at Nikos for a few minutes. Clearing the air. Just going to be dusty now. Still grinding, buddy. Still got to grind out a few more hours. I appreciate it. Dynasty says Little Bump was playing with uh, Hunter King. Maybe. Hunter King is good, though. Don't get it to it. There's Hunter King coming across the line. I thought that was him for a second, but that's blue and yellow. E. Truggy, this is... The A1, up next is Pro E Buggy. Absolutely, Matt Nelson, that was a, a great race and it was, wow, exciting. Thank you, Nitro Freak, I greatly appreciate that. Gonna take a few days off and get back on it as our next stop is the Florida RC Championships at Dean's All Out. Hopefully. 
Little Bump getting into a little bit of lap traffic there. He currently has a 5.8 second lead over Hunter King. So Hunter King kind of dropping out of this. But with 3 minutes and 44 seconds left to go, it just takes a few mistakes from Bump. And Hunter King will be back in the mix. But now he's 9.5 seconds back with a long lap. So Hunter King going to have to go back to the drawing board and figure out some things to challenge Bump in the next heat. Talking a little bit low, guys, saving my voice for that. There's some excitement when it comes up. Because Little Bump and Hunter were going at it for a, a quick minute. But now Little Bump just throwing down those heaters and uh, taking over that lead. That lead is going to be about 10 something seconds when Hunter comes by the loop now. Hunter going to up 9.9, .9, almost 10 seconds. So Little Bump putting on the afterburners and out there on a Sunday afternoon drive. And Hunter King probably resigned to his destiny right now in second place. Peyton Puckett in third. Michael Rinke in fourth. Wyatt Lawson in fifth. Jeff Stanford sixth. Sean Salto seventh. Aiden Ridgeway currently in eighth. Mike Lopes in ninth. Roland Compton in tenth. Brandon Campbell eleventh. Jared Goodman in twelfth. Brian Looper thirteenth. Dave Taylor fourteenth. Eric Hanneman in fifteenth. And J.J. Churex out. No star from Orion Green. So not sure what happened to him. Oh, no. That's about a week away, Jonathan Kurz. The gap between them is 8.3 seconds between Hunter King and Peyton Bucket. The only real, there's no, the only real close battle going on is between Mike Lopes and Sean Salter down in 8th and ninth. So we got 1 minute and 50 seconds left to go. Yeah, or maybe if you want to show Hunter some love. He's currently in second. He just threw down a 32-7. All right, Hunter King and that TLR. Hunter is going to have to start running some nitro. He's going to have to have that third class here to run. No, pro nitro buggy is 30 minutes, maybe 35. I'm not sure. I have to go look at the... Uh, okay, all 30, I'm told. Eight hundred and eleven people want to thank everybody for joining in and watching us this weekend. We're coming up on up and our last few A finals. Pro Electric Buggy up next, A1. So do not go anywhere because we're about to see these pro guys. Lee Sets are starting on pole. Can he make turn that pole into an A1 win and a win of all? We'll find out shortly. Little Bump, though, turning his pole position into a win. Hunter just getting it wrong. All right, so they're going to take some time out to blow the track after this race, I'm told. All right, so little bump. I'm going to take this win convincingly. 16 seconds in front of Hunter King. Hunter King going to have to come back in that A2 and try to make a challenge. There's Little Bump right there. Next to Wyatt Lawson. There's Hunter King. Nope, that's Peyton Pocket, sorry. Aiden Ridgeway. What's up, Sean Brennan? How you doing? Oh, Lee Seth. Oh, I'm sorry. Lee Seth, sir. <laughs> Lee Sets and Ryan Mayfield, Dakota Fenn up next, but Little Bump going to take that win, followed by uh, Hunter King, Peyton Puckett in third. I don't have the results in front of me. Up next is our first heat of the Pro E-Buggy class, A1. 
Lee sets a starting on pole, followed by Ryan Mayfield, Dakota Fenn, Brandon Rose, Joe Bornholz, Ryan Lutz, Lutz, Jonah Wilson, Little Bump doing double duty, Joey Bernon, Cole Caston, Tyler Jones, Spencer Heckett, Jarrett Riggins, Mason Fuller, Cade Burnett, and Camden Line. And Caden Fuller starting in 17th. Absolutely. Here's a word from our sponsors. We hope you guys are enjoying the live broadcast of the 2024 Southern Indoor Championship. And we want to thank all of our sponsors for helping us make that happen. Huge shout out to all of our 2024 race time sponsors, including Absolute Hobbies, J Concepts, Techno RC, Reds Racing, Team Losi Racing, VP Racing Fuels, BeachRC.com, AKA Nitro Pro, ProTech RC, Trinity, S Works, Lugs Racing Tires, TNR Fuels, HB Racing, A Main Hobbies, and On Point Graphics. Battle for the lead rages down the straightaway, heading into the chicane. We're following it live. And here comes the battle for second down the straightaway. It's gonna be a three-way battle coming up on Little Bump and Justin Fails, Lutz, Westergaard, and Fend. That's the battle to watch as they're coming down the step down. Rossiter right there with the best lap of the entire race. 30.3 for Rossiter, up to second. We hope you guys are enjoying the live broadcast here at the 2024 Southern Indoor Championship.
We hope you are enjoying the live broadcast of the 2024 Southern Indoor Championship. But don't forget, the granddaddy of them all is coming up in April, the Psycho Nitro Blast. And we hope to see you guys there. All right, everybody, are you ready for the first Pro Electric A1 coming up next? Who's your pick to win for Pro E-Buggy? Who's taking the pole? All righty. So, who are you guys picking to take the win here? Who you guys got? I'm gonna take. Ooh, 99% picking Lee Setzer. Wow. Wow, you guys have no faith. James Darty says Mayfield gonna win. Well, anything can happen. Let's go. We're getting ready to start. Racers ready. Let's get ready to boogity, 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 and e buggy, because it pays the bills. And they are off. All righty then, Lee Setzer taking that lead. Ryan Mayfield right behind him. Dakota fan right behind him. Lee super pumped about taking that TQ. Can he hold on and uh, make it a win? We'll see her shortly or will nerves get the better half of him? Lee Setzer, whoa, looking very shaky as he went through that, uh, that dragon's back, but he kept it under control. Let's get back on with Lee Setzer. As he comes down the straightaway, it's gonna be Lee, 31-4. One second lead. Here's Lee coming up over that step up. Going on the very inside, avoiding that hole. He's about to have a rear view mirror full of two of the fastest one eight scale racers in the world named Ryan Mayfield and Dakota Fenn. Dakota Fenn already got a W under his belt. Lee making his way through that washboard section. Oh, wow, going wide, cross jumping, but no harm, no foul. Lee, Lee keeping it totally under control. Lee out there in that yellow and aqua associated. The Floridian now calling uh, Virginia his home. Up there at Adrenaline RC Raceway. So far, so good. Lap two in the books for Lee. Let's see if he can hold on as he comes up over the big ski double in front of the driver's stand. Oh, he just flat lands it. Has a bad bounce. That's going to allow Mayfield right up behind him. Mayfield having a look, but decides to say no. Lee gonna have to shut that door going on the inside. Good job, Lee, as he comes down into that Nuketown Valley. Up and around and avoiding these bumps and down the straightaway he goes as they drag race down the straightaway. 93-2, they are separated by three tenths of a second. Oh, Mayfield making a mistake. Ryan Lutz now up into third, I think. If that looks, it's gonna be Lee Setzer, Ryan Mayfield, Dakota fan, Ryan Lutz. Ryan Lutz now behind Mayfield, so Lee getting a little bit of breathing room. As he comes down through that washboard, Mayfield having uh, 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 some mistakes in Truggy as well, but making a mistake here as well. Lee 
Just digging it down. Going through those bumps, as you can see, it's a deep crater right there at the bottom of Newton Valley. Mayfield with 33.8. Lee with a 32.8. So Lee one second faster than Mayfield. Ryan Lutz 1.3 back of Ryan Mayfield. All right, so Lee sets us though about to be under pressure from Ryan Mayfield. Seven minutes and 30 seconds left to go in this race. Oh, Mayfield making another mistake out there. That's going to allow Lutz to come up and be right behind him. At, but going to give some breathing room to Lee. Another 32 6 for Lee. Lee out there taking off some fast laps. All right, so Mayfield going to have to worry about a hard charging Kyosho that is the cotton candy Kyosho of Ryan Lutz. Rocking a white wing this weekend, usually rocking a black wing. I don't know if Lee made a mistake off camera, but Mayfield is right behind him now. So Mayfield having a flying lap five here. It's going to be a 34. Yep, lap having a, uh, Lee having a slower lap and uh, Mayfield with a 32 six. That gap only seven tenths of a second back now. So Lee must have made a mistake somewhere. Six minutes and 30 seconds left to go. Lee. Gets a little bit of space. Oh, Mayfield really hard. Oh, and there we go. There's that break that Mayfield wanted. He's got by Lee. Now Lee's going to have to tag on and make that count. Lee going to make that mistake up right now. He tags on to that rear wing and is not going to let go as he chases Mayfield down that straightaway. Taking that inside. Lee going to have the inside right there. Lee looking on the inside again. So Lee got that first crash jitters out of his system. He said, all right, I can hold you off Mayfield. I made a crash. I'm not scared of you anymore. I'm going to chase you down. Oh, Lee having a look. He's going to take that inside. A great pass by Lee as he goes up and around. Lee sets a, oh, Mayfield. Oh, no. Oh, wow. Let's get, oh, my goodness. What a hard crash between those two drivers on the straightaway. Oh my goodness, we saw that uh, Dakota Fenn try to go underneath Ryan Lutz and didn't make it. Lee getting froggy on the at the beginning of that straightaway. Uh, and Mayfield making a mistake that's going to allow Lee by. And Lee making the same mistake. Oh no, bouncing completely off the... Oh my goodness, that whole pack is going by. Dakota Fenn now out in front. Oh my gr oh gracious. I think that's, uh, let's see when it comes out. That's Fend, Mayfield, Brandon Rose now, the big move and shake. And now can Brandon Rose get up here and do something unfortunate for Lee? Lee now in fourth. He's going to have four minutes and 55 seconds to get back. Lee making that accident and crashing to the infield, and a gaggle of cars going by him. All right, so there's Brandon Rose. He's looking for a big win as well. He's been froggy all day. Yesterday in qualifying. Let's see Lee putting on the afterburners as well. He's got Ryan Lutz behind him. Mason Fuller up to six. Joe Bornos in seven. Fenn, I don't know how his car, after he, he uh, had a rear-ended Lutz on that straightaway, the last lap by. Oh, Mayfield getting a run. Brandon Rose following in him. Brandon Rose having a look on the inside. He says, uh-uh, guys, this is B-Rose. I represent Texas. I'm about to be fast, too. Always been fast. Uh, Mayfield makes another mistake. That's going to allow Brandon Rose to chase down Dakota Fenn. So we see Mayfield make quite a few mistakes here and come back. Lee Setzer, though, dropping down to fifth, unfortunately sixth. So Lee Setzer going to have to try and do it in A2. It's going to be Dakota Fenn, Brandon Rose, Ryan Mayfield, Ryan Lutz, Mason Fuller, Lee Setzer, Cole Casting, Joe Bornos. Joey Bernon and Spencer Heckert. All right, so can B. Rose make a charge? Can he challenge Dakota Fan for that win? Mayfield hard charging behind him. Dakota, oh, wow, Brandon going through that hole and not around it. Oh, boy, they're about to get into some lap traffic. That is Cade Burnett. Well, they, oh, Cade Burnett. Uh, not choosing to move out of the way, but crashing out of the way there. But he's not scored down the last. Dakota Fenn. So no harm, no foul for him. Cade having a good run this weekend, but uh, 
not able to capitalize in this A1. Dakota Fenn stretches out that lead to 1.1 over Brandon Rose. Brandon Rose in that green buggy white wheels black wing. Oh man, Rose getting a good run coming out of that section. Brandon actually making up some time on Dakota Fenn. Oh, and he makes the same mistake. It's a divot in that jump, and and they're just catching it, unfortunately. Same mistake we saw Lee make, and uh, cost him his lead. Dakota Fenn now going to have to worry about a hard-charging Mayfield. Two minutes and 18 seconds left to go. Fenn already got a win in, the, in, the, a win in that column with that uh, Pro Nitro Truggy win, but a hard-fought win. Can Mayfield make up some time? Will we see... Fenn make a slight bobble, which will allow Mayfield to capitalize on that. Fenn and that TLR car, Jay Concepts tires. And there's Nitro Pro Service. Hello, Mr. Sherman. How you doing? Hope you guys are doing well. Good to see you in the chat. Rose trying to get back that position, that second place position to Mayfield. And uh, looks like Dakota Fenn just checking out a little bit. He's got a 3.5 second lead over Ryan Mayfield. Rose getting a very good run. He saw him do that to Dakota Fenn. So Mayfield going into a defensive posture against Brandon Rose. All righty then. So we are back on board. Oh, Mayfield getting a little bit squirrely. Going over the Dragons back. B. Rose going to get by him. Just a bobble for Mayfield. No crash, but just a little bobble. Getting squirrely, having to check up. Good morning, Daniel Kearney. It's gotta, you got to be on the opposite side of the world. Oh, man. B. Rose giving that position back. Behind them is Mason Fuller sneakily coming up here. And he's waiting to take. Oh, man. Fuller getting a good run. He's now onto the tail end of this second place battle. Fuller waiting for a mistake or waiting for that gap to take it up and make a second place. He'd be happy about that. Finally getting his cars underneath him. Uh, breaking those cars in here in practice. As we are currently on board watching. Brandon Rush chased on the Ryan Mayfield and Mason Fuller trying to chase down these guys. Rose making a small bubble. Western Australia, that's what I figured. Hello, good day, mate. Ryan Mayfield going through this dragon's back. Uh -oh, who was that? Okay, that's Spencer Hackett. He's uh he is currently being scored down in 15th. So it's going to be Dakota Fan, Ryan Mayfield, Mason Fuller, Brandon Rose, Ryan Lutz. There's Defend out there to a massive lead, 6.7 seconds. All righty then. Dakota Fan going to take this A1 victory. And let's see. Oh, as Mason Fuller gets by Mayfield. Oh, well done, Mason Fuller. Going to take that second spot. Steals up and robs it from Mayfield on that last couple of corners. Well done. Good job, Mason Fuller. That what, We should have stayed on that driver stand. We hope you guys are enjoying the live broadcast of the 2024 Southern Indoor Championship, and we can't wait to see you at the next Race Time Entertainment event.
battle for the lead rages down the straightaway, heading into the chicane. We're following it live. And here comes the battle for second down the straightaway. It's gonna be a three-way battle coming up on Little Bump and Justin Fails, Lutz, Westergaard, and Fend. That's the battle to watch as they're coming down the step down. Rossiter right there with the best lap of the entire race. 30.3 for Rossiter, up to second. All right, let's keep the tires and light the fires. And they are off. Randy Clark Jr. started on pole. Ooh, that's a bad start for our second place driver. Alrighty, so let's let these drivers uh, shake it out, cycle through, and go across the laps, go across the line. Oh wow, it is hectic through that uh, through that dragon's back. All right, so it's Randall Cart from Orion Green, Alex Cummings, Matthew Brindle, Michael Goble. Randy Cart out front, but not too far behind him is Orion Green. Oh no, that's Alex Cummings now. Five seconds back of Randall Cart. There's Alex Cummings. Oh wow. That car getting it very wrong. That track getting brutal out there for these buggies. Truggies were, were getting tossed around, so it's going to be interesting to see how these buggies make out. Randy having a long 39.8. Alex coming across a 40.4. That gap 5.6 seconds. We are currently following... The all-white car of Alex Cummings. Wow, 2.15 down, 7.45 left to go in this race. Alrighty, so Randall Cart now, that lead out to four seconds. Alex Cummings chipping away at that lead. And Randy getting it wrong, and I believe that's gonna give that lead to, oh no. Now we're first and second, right together here. Randy Cart in that pink and, prep, pink and yellow car, and that all white car with a little bit of yellow is Alex Cummings. Great move by Alex taking him on the inside as Randy Cart slams it into the wall. Alex, when he comes across the line, is going to take over that lead with a 37-3. Randy having a very long lap, 42-4. Ooh, Alex getting it up on two wheels, but able to bring it back down. He's got a rear rim wheel full of Randy Cart. 
Oh, and them guys both staying in the groove. Randy getting it wrong. There is, I need to see the face of that jump because it is a hole in there. All right, so Alex going off for an off track excursion as well, but back in front of Randy Carr as they come drag racing on their straightaway. Three minutes, four minutes on, six minutes left to go in this race. Randy getting back in front of Alex, but now they're about to come up into some lap traffic. And uh, Alex taking that lead back as they go down that washboard to the Dragons back. They attempt a good driving by Alex. A good move through there by Randall making up some time. He's looking to the outside. He's going to, I thought he was going to go on the inside just now, but has to go around that big hole. That's what's making it harder for these drivers. This is a huge hole. Got to be about six inches deep. Woo! Alex, I'm just jumping right across the uh, pipe and everything just now. Next stop is our intermediate electric buggy A1 man. Oh no, Alex getting it wrong. Doesn't want to get it wrong in that part, that part of the track. He's going to drop down to second. Maybe not. I think that's Randy Cart right there, who also got it wrong. Uh, Alex still out front. Randy Cart getting it wrong as well, right behind him. So nobody trying to win this race. Alex makes a mistake. Randy makes a mistake. They are matching each other tit for tat. Oh, wow. That was pretty aggressive. Putting his elbows on was Randy Cart when he come around that corner. All righty then, let's get cracking here with Alex Cummings, who is now stretching that lead out too. Let's see when he comes by. It's going to be a 3.1 second lead, four minutes left to go. So Alex just needs to drive cool, calm, and collective, and he will have himself an A1 Sportsman E-Buggy win. I think coming up after this race, we'll start back on our, uh, after the Intermediate Electric Buggy. We'll start back on our Nitro races. On race 36 of 45, one at home stretch. We've still got, oh, let's see, 40 plus Sportsman Intermediate Pro. So we got two hours of mains left to go. Two hours of Nitro mains left to go. Two hours of Nitro mains. Yeah, we got two hours of nitro mains in front of us. We got four 30 minute, four 30 minute mains to go uh, in nitro. Absolutely, I am ready for some nitro action. Absolutely. I am no lunch bought for me today, so. Just surviving on, surviving on pop tarts and granola bars today. Alex Cummings, out front now, about to come into some lap traffic. Two minutes and twenty-nine seconds left to go. Oh wow, he gets it big wrong. Oh, and he gets turn marshal. Wow, that is deadly coming through there. Randall Cart gonna take uh, that lead as there's Randy Cart and that yellow and pink. Randy Cart and him now going to battle out with two minutes left to go. 1.6 is the gap between them. A lot closer there on the track. Actually, I think he might have got across Randy Cart when I looked away. Uh, let's see if I can see Randy. There's Randy. Um, I believe that's Randy right there. He just went over that smaller double. Nope, there's Randy right there. And I believe Alex is in front of him now. So neither of these guys trying to win this race. They're just swapping the lead back and forth. There's Alex making his way through that myriad of traffic, that quagmire of traffic. Alex Cummings back out front. 
Orion Green now up to second. Okay, there's the all-white car of Alex Cummings. I don't know which one is Orion Green. Randy Cart going for a jump pass and a track cut. That was a track cut. Oh, I did. All righty. I'll have to see when it shakes all out. Oh, wow. Alex Cummings dropping all the way down to fourth. Well, Orion Green out to that lead. Let's find Orion Green with 32 seconds left to go. All right, so Orion Green out to that lead right now. I think uh, I'll be honest with you. I missed Little Bump doing it. Oh, wow. Alex Cummings getting it wrong. All righty then. So it's going to be Orion Green, Randall Cart, Derek Persley, Alex Cummings, Jake Lasko, your top five, followed by Josh Fine, Brandon Campbell. We hope you are enjoying the live broadcast of the 2024 Southern Indoor Championship, but don't forget that the granddaddy of them all is coming up in April, the Psycho Nitro Blast, and we hope to see you guys there. Yeah, we've seen lots of track cuts, but we've also seen people wait. That was a blatant cut across the track, across the pipe, and overtake about five people. That's what that was. But it is what it is. I didn't see the uh, little bump one. If I did, I don't remember. But anyway, up next is the sportsman, sorry, intermediate electric buddy at buggy, A1. And then after this, our first nitro buggy main. A main, 30 minutes long. It's going to be Peyton Puckett, Dalton Balboa, Michael Rinke, Jackson Anderson, Patrick Rossiter, Trent Walker, Garrett Martin, Wyatt Lawson, Mike Legge, Wade Pickett, Colin Beaver, Ryan Daze, Cody Ingram, Ada Ridgeway, Emerson Sturgeon, Jake Stolzing, and Benny Camarion.
Yeah, that's how it's supposed to be. Uh, you guys can go back and find the replay. We don't have that replay option there. So if you want to go back on the screen and, and find it, go ahead. I don't have that technology to do that. All righty, as we get ready to start, Peyton Puckett out in front, followed by Dalton Balboa. Dalton Balboa jumping out right in front of Peyton Puckett just now as they go up over that big double. All right, let's get back on our leaders. As Dalton Balboa from Wisconsin coming across that line, that's going to be a 33-7. Peyton Puckett, 2.2 back of him. Jackson Anderson, Patrick Rossiter, Mike Legee. Dalton absolutely flying right now. Out to a big lead right off the bat. Going right down the middle of that washboard. All right, so back down to Peyton Puckett who goes off the side of the track. That's going to allow Jackson Anderson to come by. Oh, Puckett getting a big wrong as he comes into that first roll of a jump. It's going to be. Dalton Maboa, Peyton Puckett, Jackson Anderson, Patrick Rossiter, Mike Legee. Oh, wow. Hectic go through there. I think that's Trent. Is that Trent? Yep, that's Trent on his lid. Unfortunate for Trent. Oh my goodness. I thought that guy was that was bad. Alright, Dalton Baboa we're on board with Mike Legee out in that green and yellow car. He's in second. He gets it wrong. Going up over that jump. This guy's hitting that divot there. Peyton Puckett gonna get take back that third spot. Dalton Baboa checking completely out right now. Do you see Balboa? He is coming across that straightaway right now. Wisconsin in the house. Cheese heads for days. Wow, he's flying. That was a 34-2 for him. He's got an 8.1 second lead with 2 minutes and 20 seconds left to go. I mean, already a laps. 7 minutes and 30 seconds left to go. Peyton Pocket with Mike Legee and Jake Stolson right behind him. Let's stay on this battle because that is now Mike Legee. Oh, wow. Mike Legee getting it wrong. Let's get Gene right there on that shot. All right, so we're going to transition over to our driver stand camera because Dalton Balboa is absolutely flying right now. And there we see just in front of him, Peyton Puckett. It's going to be Jake Stolson, Patrick Rossiter, uh, Michael Rinke, and Mike Legee, Jackson Anderson. That is a gaggle of cars all for position. I don't know where Mike Legee was going just now, but he sent it. These guys will zoom out a little bit there. They can get them all in uh, all. All in shot. There we go. There's Peyton Puckett currently in second. Up to Dalton Balboa. It's going to be Jackson Andrew and Patrick Rossiter. Patrick currently in fourth. All right. So let's stay on that. Let's stay on that second place, that third place battle between Jackson Anderson and uh, go up, up two cars, please. Uh, can we move up two cars, please? That's our battle for third between Patrick Rossiter and Jackson Anderson. And they're, ch they're, they're catching down Peyton Puckett. There's Peyton Puckett in that black wing multicolor car. He's got that blue and red car of Jackson Anderson right behind and Patrick Rossiter making a run.
Dalton now to a 14.9 second lead. This is the closest battle on the track. There's second, third, and fourth. Peyton having a bobble. Guys having to drive around these bumps, making new lines. Uh-oh, Jake Jackson getting it wrong at the end of that straightaway. That's going to allow Patrick to pull up Patrick in that white car. Black wing. Oh, Jackson getting it wrong. He just clips that pipe. Now Patrick going to be in third. He's going to set his sights on Peyton Puckett. As they make the, he makes his way through that washboard. Oh, wow. Patrick <laughs> really far just now on that jump. Around that 180, Peyton Puckett. Peyton Puckett out front right now in that yellow, orange, and blue car, black wing. Behind him is that all-white car. Patrick Rossiter chasing him down. Over that big double they go. Peyton looking pretty smooth. Patrick matching him line for line. Patrick getting on the bilers as they come through that dragon's back. Ooh. Peyton getting a little bit squirrely as he goes on into the valley. Patrick and him separated by two tenths of a second now. So Patrick looking to get into position in case anything happens to Balboa. Peyton jumping to the inside. There's a big hole right there. That's causing all these guys to either have to go on the inside or go through it. And it's making them jump all over the, erratically all over the place. They are on it right now. Peyton hitting that pipe that's going to allow Rossiter by. That's the mistake Rossiter was looking for as he now can spread his wings in that Rockstar Hobbies powered white buggy. It's going to be Dalton Balboa out front, 16.9 seconds, followed by Peyton Puckett. Patrick, no, Patrick Rossiter in second. Peyton Puckett, Michael Rinke, Wade Piggott, Jackson Anderson, Jake Stolson, Mike Legee, Emerson Sturgeon, Ada Ridgeway, Colin Beaver, Ryan Daze, Cody Ingram, Benny Comarion, and Trent Walker in 15 out. No star from Garrett Martin or Wyatt Lawson. Patrick getting it wrong, getting hit in the rut, getting cross rutted. Alrighty then, two minutes left to go in this race. Balboa out there by himself. We should probably take a look at Balboa, see how things are going. And we got a chance because right now, Patrick is now in front of Peyton Puckett once again as they come through this dragon's back. There's Dalton out there on his lonesome, just picking off fast laps for Wisconsin. 90 seconds left in this race. Patrick and Peyton still battling it out. Let's get back to the battle for second. And it is Peyton Puckett back out front. Patrick having a look inside. Wow, Peyton Puckett slamming the door. And uh, Patrick going to get the best of that, even though there was no contact by either of them. But Peyton came in so close. Oh, Peyton get. Uh, Peyton getting lap basted in the uh, Dragons back by a, a lap car. So Michael Rinky now getting up in the mix. He is right behind Patrick Rinky, that red and white car. 42 seconds left to go. That red car is not for position in front of him. But that red and white car chasing down Patrick is. That is Michael Rinke currently in second. Oh, Patrick Case in that jump. Oh, a little endo action from Patrick. That's going to let Rinke by. 
So Patrick having an endo at the end of that dragon's back. Now we got a race for this last lap for a second. Patrick looking for a way around Rinky. Rinky slamming that door every chance he can get. Oh, Patrick going on the inside, having a look-see. Patrick going to have that line coming up over that double. Patrick coming up over that double. Going down that washboard through the dragon's back. Oh, Patrick just casing that jump ever so slightly. Rinky pushing hard. Woo! It's going to be a race to the end. Well done. What an exciting race to the end for second place. Patrick Rossiter, and Mike Rinky. Wade Pickett can come in fourth. Peyton Puckett fifth. Mike Legee in sixth. Jackson Anderson seventh. Jake Stolson, Emerson Sergeant, Ada Ridgeway. Colin Beaver, Ryan Daze, Cody Ingram, and Benny Comarion. Well, a good race to the end. Are you ready for the most insane race on the planet? The Psycho Nitro Blast is coming to you April 5th through the 7th in White Pine, Tennessee, and you will not want to miss it. We'll see you there. We hope you are enjoying the live broadcast of the 2024 Southern Indoor Championship, but don't forget, the granddaddy of them all is coming up in April, the Psycho Nitro Blast, and we hope to see you guys there. Are you ready for the most insane race on the planet? The Psycho Nitro Blast is coming April 5th through the 7th in White Pine, Tennessee, and you will not want to miss it. We hope you are enjoying the live broadcast of the 2024 Southern Indoor Championship, but don't forget, the granddaddy of them all is coming up in April, the Psycho Nitro Blast, and we hope to see you guys there. whatever chassis they want so it's not a car made by them it's just a car bought by them and uh, they run it whoever their, dri their drivers are Trent Walker and uh, Patrick Rossiter are two of their drivers up next is our first sportsman Nitro Buggy A final Josh Fine Christopher Craig Jacob Lasco Lance Flowers Ronald Kimball Quinton Wages Jesse Davis Justin Andrews Ronan Compton, Mike Tudor, Alex Cummins, Matthew Brindle, Weston Wilson, Devin Brayer, Rob Ward, Mark West, and Jaden Pratt. 30 minute A main for these guys. It's not a buggy, it is a hobby shop. And they are sponsoring the drivers and they run whatever chassis they want. They are sponsored by a Rockstars powered 
Buggy. Rockstar Hobbies powered Buggy. That's what I was told to say. They are sponsored by Rockstar Hobbies. They run whatever truggy chassis they want. Answering to our chat as we're off our first Nitro Buggy A final. Josh Fine, our pole sitter, getting out to a very good start. Josh Fine in that green, yellow, black wing Losi. All right, Josh Fine coming by the line. Got that first lap in the books, followed by Christopher Craig, Jesse Davis, Q-Man Quinton Rages, Ronald Kimball, Jacob Lasco, Mike Tudor, Justin Andres, Devin Barrow, Weston Wilson, Alex Cummings, Jaden Pratt, Mark West, Roland Compton. Lance Flowers checking in, Rob Ward, and I don't think we have a start from Matthew Bringle. Alrighty, so let these guys get their second laps in. Josh Five a 40.4, 40 flat just now. Christopher Craig, 1.9 seconds back of him. So we are busy here in this Sportsman Nitro Buggy A final. Christopher Craig, Jesse Davis, Ronald Kimball, and Quinton Wages all separated now by seven seconds. I think we've, this is the battle between Jesse Davis with that teal wing and Quinton Wages now up into that third spot. Christopher Craig dropping down to fourth. Josh Fine running Red's engines, I'm told. Very good. Josh Fine out to a very big lead right now, right off the bat. And here is Quinton Rage Wages, I believe. <laughs> Nothing I can do about that. That's the point, R. Nolan. See you guys at PMB. Well, you'll see. You guys get to go PMB. All right, so it's Josh Fine, Jesse Davis, Quinton Rages. Jesse Davis now losing that lead. Oh, wow. I want to say that's Ronald Gimble, that red car, Q Man in that white car, and it goes really wrong for him. Jesse Davis is going to be the big winner coming out of that mix. I think this is going to be. Christopher Craig out front with that white wing, followed by Jesse Davis, Ronald Gimble, Quinton Rages in that all-white car. So this is the battle for second, third, fourth, and fifth. Josh Fine loving this right now. He's just checking away out there in first. That's Christopher Craig. There's Josh Fine, our leader. He's got an 11-second lead with only 3 minutes and 40 seconds into this race. Josh Fine flying down that Red's engine tuning right now. He's about to get into some lap traffic. Right on board of our leader. Just as I say that, he gets it wrong. And lands back on all fours. Rubber side down. Over that big double he's going to go. As we're going to catch up with our second place and third place drivers. Quinton Rage is now up into third. There is Christopher Craig. There's Quinton Rages battling it out with uh, Ronald Gimble. Jake Lasco now up into five. Oh, Christopher Craig getting up on two wheels. Quinton Rages 
Ronald Gimbo not too far behind. There's Christopher Craig. Quinton Ridge is now 1.7 seconds back. There's our battle for second place. You can see Jake Laskin on that purple car come into the shot. He's currently in fifth. Four minutes and 52 seconds left. The down in this race, almost five minutes on, 25 minutes left to go. Up next after this is your intermediate Nitro Buggy A final. So lots of racing left to do here. All right, so Josh Fine still out front, followed by Christopher Craig. Christopher Craig pulling slightly away from Ronald Gimbel. Don't know what happened to Quinton Ridge, but he's dropped down to five. Jake Lasko now in the fifth. You can see Jake Lasko in that purple and black car. That's creeping into shot. But here is second. Let's drop back a little bit, pick up that red car. There we go. That is actually the battle for fourth with Jake Lasko right behind him. Jake Lasko flying down the straightaway. He is currently in fourth. 2.4 seconds back of Ronald Gimbel. You see Ronald making that jump over that step up. Jake trying to catch up to Ronald Gimbel. Kimball, sorry. And he has him in his sights. And set his sights on Christopher Craig. Jake was building his cars. Then he got her Thursday night. Like brand new cars, finished building them here. And here we go, that battle for fourth, for third is now shaped up. Jake Lasko has pulled within striking range of Gim Kimball in that red and white car. Jake right behind him with that purple and black. Josh Fine now four seconds in front of Christopher Craig. So Josh having some rough laps. All right, so seven minutes in the book. Are we gonna start seeing some pit stops? I would suggest that we probably see them in lax lap. And Jake Lasko making a great pass on Kimball. Jake Lasko getting by Kimball on an excellent pass. No, oh sorry, there's Kimball right there. There's another red car. I do apologize for that. Christopher Craig came in for fuel, I assume. He's dropped on to fourth. Josh Fine probably got to come in for fuel as well. Nope. Or maybe already did. Let's see if Jake comes in for fuel now. Yep. Uh, Jake's coming in for fuel. All righty then, we are on board with our leader, Josh Fine, as Jake Lasko and Ronald Gim Kimball both went into pits at the same time. Let's see how it all shakes out when they come across the loop and get their laps back in. But Josh Fine, out front now, a 38.6, he's got a 7.5 second lead over Jacob Lasko. Let's see what it is when they come across the line again. Christopher Craig now in third. I think he's going to be in third still as Jake Lasko is in second. Ronald Kimball in third. Christopher Craig dropping back down to fourth. Justin Anderson five. Roland Compton six. Weston Wilson. Jesse Davis. Lance Flowers. Alex Cummings. Rob Ward. Devin Beera. Quinton Regis looks to be out. Or just having a, yeah, he looks out. He's showing that red line. We are on board with Jake Lasko. 17.4 seconds back of Josh Fine. I think Josh coming in for fuel. Yep, that's a 48.7 for Josh. Let's see how that shakes up for Jake. He's going to be about five seconds back. 8.2, sorry.
All right, so Jake Glasgow looking to put his head on, pick off some fast laps. Oh, our leader flames out. We're just saying that he's still out there. He tried to run too long, trying to go 10 minutes. And Josh Fine. Oh, no, I don't think it's a fuel thing. I think it's something else. All right, so Josh Fine out of this race. Jake Lasko up to the top. Let's get on our leader, Jake Lasko, this purple and black car. He's got a 1.7 second lead over Ronald Kimball. Probably looks like a servo went out or something. They say it's not dead. Said he lost power, so Josh Fine, our leader, losing some power. So something happening to our leader. He had a convincing lead. Here's Jake Lasko. Right there, white wings, black wings. Jake Lasko got a 2.4 second lead over Ronald Kimball. After Josh Fine losing some power to his car, did he get started again? No, Josh Fine not, lost complete power to his car, so he is done for the day, it looks like. Jake Lasko got Ronald Kimball right behind him and Christopher Craig. So this is a close battle for that top spot. No, he still had power, apparently. Well, maybe Todd Cummings knows. I don't know, but he still had power, it sounds like. I'm told. Jake Lasko not in. There, yep, he's still in, still in first. I believe. You'll see when he comes by. I think that's Ronald Kimball in front of him. I could be wrong. You'll see when they come across the loop this second time. This time around. Jake tippy turn through that dragon's back. 18 minutes and 5 seconds left to go in this race. Jake Lasko still out front. No, that's not Ronald Kimball. That's Mike Tudor. Jake going to have a big lead over Christopher Craig. 6.1 seconds. So Jake looking pretty smooth out there. Not bad for a guy that put his cars together. Finished putting his cars together Thursday night when he got her. Righty then. So, Jake Lasko looking to walk away at this a little bit. Let's see what his lead is when he comes across the line this lap around. Jake Lasko, a 42 flat long lap for Jake. Christopher Craig chipping away. 2.5 seconds back now. So there's Christopher Craig right there. That white wing car. White wheels. Can't see. Looks like a black car, but I know it's not that color. Jake Lasko, single, single, double. He is going super cautious over that dragon back. We're coming up almost on that second fuel stop window. 16 minutes and 40 seconds left to go. We should see these guys coming in at that 15 minute mark. Right now, one of our leader, who is now pulled out to a 7.8 second lead over Christopher Craig, will follow him to his first pit stop. This is race number 38 of 45. Josh Fine back out on the track. So whatever it is, they got it fixed. But he's currently scored down in 16. His car having some issues uh, while he was in the lead. He's back out now. Three down for three minutes. But you know who's not having any issues right now? Jake Lasko. And that purple, blue, and black. Car? Jake Lasko, Christopher Craig, Justin Andreas. Andres. Ronald Kimball, Jesse Davis. Jonah Wilson's father, Weston Wilson in sixth. Roland Compton in seventh. 
Alex Cummings, eighth. Lance Flowers, ninth. Quinton Ridge is back on the track. He's in 10th. Jaden Pratt, Devin Barra, Rob Ward, Mark West, Mark, Matthew Bringle, Josh Fine, and Mike Tudor. So all our cars still running. Tony Patashaw in her cheering on Jake Lasko. Lasko should be coming in soon for some fuel, I'd say. If he didn't already. Uh-oh, Lasko making a mistake. Coming up over that Dragon's back. I'm uh, predicting Lasko will come in right now for fuel. Let's see as we follow him onto the straightaway. Yep, here we go. Lasko coming in. Yeah, but smooth and calm like the... Oh, wow, great pit by Michael Walker. Mike Walker. Jake Lasko making his way up over that double or through the washboard section one more time. He's got 14 minutes left to go. He's out to a 8.3 second lead over Christopher Craig. Christopher Craig gonna have to come in for some fuel. That lead going to be this time around, let's see. 7.1 seconds, Justin Anders. Moving up to that third spot, Ronald Kimball in fourth, Jesse Davis fifth. And Jake driving a good race right now. Not bad for having brand new cars and um, finished building them Thursday night. He'll be, if it finished like this, he'll be super happy. I'll be happy for him as well. Good friend of mine. Jacob Lasco, Christopher Craig, Justin Anders. All right, so. Uh, Let's drop back. Let's find our second place car. Because he's in a battle with Justin Anders. A slight battle. He just, he's going to, he's probably in the, in the fuel. Getting some fuel now or been out. Uh, Christopher Craig having a 47 second lap. I think he came in for fuel. That is Ronald Kimball. He's coming across the line. Nope, that's not Ronald Kimball. That is Christopher Craig right behind him, so just drop back. Yeah, there we are, second place Christopher Craig. 7.3 seconds back of Jake Lasko. All righty then, 12 minutes left to go. We're going to see one more round of pit stops around that 7.30 mark for our leader, Jake Lasko. Christopher Craig going to have to come in around that time too, maybe a lap after. Jake Lasko stretching that lead out to 7.3 seconds. Justin Anders now 8.4 back of our second place driver, Christopher Craig. Ronald Kimball in fourth. Jesse Davis in fifth. Roland Compton sixth. Weston Wilson seventh. Alex Cummings, eighth. Lance Flowers in ninth. Jaden Pratt in 10th. Devin Behera in 11th. Bob Ward, Rob Ward, sorry, in 12th. Mark West, 13th. Fine in 14th. And Quinton Wages, Mike Tudor, and Matthew Brindle out early. So still got 16 cars running. All right, let's get back on our leader. There is Jake Lasko. No, not a Cowboy fan. I'm a Bucks fan. 
We got the Eagles on Monday. All right, so Jake and a myriad of traffic. That is a lot of cars. He's got a 9.6 second lead, but he slams it into the pipe, bounces it off the pipe. Jake making his way over that double. Down the washboard section again. Single, single, double for Jake. Does not. I have no idea who you're talking about, Frank Sosaby. Nor did I see it. Nor did anybody see it. If they did, they would have penalized him. Jake in a bunch of traffic. Well, if I don't see it and the RD doesn't see it, nothing I can do about it. Well, the chat's not her. I didn't see it. I do apologize. I can't see everything. I'm looking at a scoreboard and I'm trying to call this race. Uh, everybody's a referee in the chat. All right, now Christopher Craig out to that front as Jake Lasko having a long lap of 44-2. So he's now down in third. Got a lot of work to do if he wants to catch up to Christopher Craig. Ronald Kimball out in second. Yeah, we do. Christopher Craig is our leader. He's coming along the straightaway. No, that's not him. That's Ronald Kimball. That's our leader, Ronald Kimball. So Jake getting a big wrong. Ronald Kimball out front now. That white and orange, that white and orange car, white wing. And where is Christopher Craig? He's now back down to third. Someone coming in for their last pit stop. Not sure who that is. Okay, that's someone way down the line. Ronald Kimball is this orange car, white wing. Oh, man. Eh? So we are on board with our leader, Ronald Kimball. So Ronald Kimball taking over that lead. We've got seven seconds left to go. Jake Alaska is 2.7 seconds back. He's coming in for fuel. Jake Lasto must have came in already for fuel. We see him, the leader going out. There's Jake Lasko coming in for fuel. Mike Walker coming. I see him getting ready. And Jake Lasko good to go. Our leader good to go. Now these guys are going to have to click off some fast laps. And there is Ronald Kimball right in front of Jake. And I think uh, Jake Lasko is going to take that lead in the Dragons back from him. So now the purple and black car, white wheels. Oh, wow. Will take over that lead. Jake Lasko. No, I thought that was Ronald Kimball. I'm getting so good. There's Ronald Kimball. White wing car. So hard to tell with so many orange cars out there. Oh man, that's hectic back there. Sports and Nitro A buggy. M Nitro buggy A main. It's getting rough out there. Ronald Kimball coming across the line. Oh man. Jake Lasko, 
6.7 seconds back at 5 minutes and 25 seconds to go. There's second place. Jake got to make up 6.7 seconds. He just got passed by Christopher Craig for second. Ronald Kimball loving all of this because he's out in front. Christopher Craig out to that front. He's 7.8 seconds back of Ronald Gimble. Craig, Lasko, Andres, Davis, your top five. Weston Wilson in six. Gimble coming by for one more lap. And he is absolutely flying right now. Going to stretch that lead out over Christopher Craig to eight seconds. Jake, 1.2 back of him. 4.3 back now. So it's going to be Ronald Kimball out front. Christopher Craig, Jake Lasker, Jesse Davis, Justin Anderson, top five. And there is Christopher Craig. It is dusty out there. That too. Yeah. And up next is your Intermediate Nitro Buggy A final. Three minutes and 30 seconds left to go in this race. And we are following our second place driver, Christian Craig. Jake Lasko hoping for he'll make a mistake. Hoping for their leader, Ronald Kimball, to make a mistake. A mistake. He's got an 8.8 second lead over second place. Who are following now? Jake Lasko falling. Wow. I thought that guy was falling into the track just now. Wow. Where's Jake Lasko? He's way behind now. I don't know what happened to Jake Lasko. Oh, uh, there he is. He is way back there. So. Two minutes and 48 seconds left to go in this race. Ronald Kimball, Christopher Craig, Jacob Lasko, Jesse Davis. Let's find our leader then because nothing happened with our second place driver. Here's our leader, Ronald Kimball. He's got a 9.8 second lead. He just threw down a 38.6. And I think he got it wrong. Nope. That's another car. Nope, that's not our leader. It's getting so... Yep. No problem. Getting hard to tell these cars out there right now. White wing for our leader. He made a mistake in the coming out of the straightaway. Ronald Gimble, a long 41-3 lap. Christopher Craig throwing his fastest lap of the, lap of the race just now. He's 5.7 seconds back. One minute, 90 seconds left to go. We're following our leader in that orange and white car. Making his way over the Dragon's Back. It is getting so rough out there. These cars can't even make the Dragon's Back, it looks like now. The sports guys, let's see if the intermediate guys can do the double-double, but it is so bad out there right now. It's getting rough. These guys got a tippy-toe doing the safe line. Single, single. One minute left to go. Ronald Kimball got a 5.9 second lead over Christopher Craig. No, that's not our leader. Let's pick up Ronald Gimble. There he is. Wow, it is. 
This was a battle of attrition. Ronald Kimball, his last lap here. He is, he, he is just trying to hit everything on the track before he finishes up. All right, so Ronald Gimbal gonna take that first spot, followed by Christopher Craig, Jake Lasko, Justin Andrus, Jesse Davis. Your top five. There are no A3s and those RC, just A2s. They'll be up after Nitro. Oh man. Well done, Ronald Gimble. Christopher Craig going to finish in second. Jacob Lasko, third. All right, up next is our Intermediate Nitro Buggy A final. I'm going to go on and have a word with our winner. We hope you guys are enjoying the live broadcast of the 2024 Southern Indoor Championship, and we want to thank all of our sponsors for helping us make that happen. Huge shout out to all of our 2024 race time sponsors, including Absolute Hobbies, J Concepts, Techno RC, Reds Racing, Team Losi Racing, VP Racing Fuels, BeachRC.com, AKA Nitro Pro, ProTech RC, Trinity, S Works, Lugs Racing Tires, TNR Fuels, HB Racing, a main hobbies and on point graphics. We hope you guys are enjoying. Josh Fine, Josh Fine, top five in TQ. Josh Fine, he, 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 he finished like eighth or something. Wait on Josh to come over here. All right. Here we go. Your top five here in the 2024 Southern Indoor Championship. Sportsman Nitro Buggy in the number five spot is Jesse Davis. In the number four, Justin Andres. In the number three, Jake Lasko. In the number two, Christopher Craig. And your 2024 Sportsman Nitro Buggy champion here at the Southern Indoor Championship is Ronald Kimball. Congratulations, guys. Josh Fine, Josh Fine, where you at? Josh Fine, you close by? Josh Fine. Josh Fine, are you close by? All right, guys, I need my marshals out here. Marshals coming out. Marshals from that last race. I need all my marshals out here from that last race, please. Marshals, come on out. I'm here with Ronald Kimmel. That was a rough sportsman race. How was visibility out there for you? Uh, I got tough towards the end. The, the beginning, I kind of struggled a little bit, but I kind of laid back, you know, waited to see how things were going to turn out. And then I just found my groove, and I just stuck with it and had a couple bobbles. That, that back section's hard to see, and it, it, I just kept washing out. So I was actually single, single, and doubling out, and it, it just helped me. That I just tires. wouldn't wreck that much. Yeah, I was really bad out there. We saw a lot of people doing the single, single, double line out I there. Think you're supposed it was to hard for us to see on the, stream, on the stream as well. I see you representing BNT Raceway. Shout out to all those guys there. Good job. You just won Sportsman Nitro Buggy here at the Southern Indoor Championships. Congratulations. You go home a champion. All right. Thank you, Lefty. Good job, Ronald. Good job. All right, guys, we're getting ready for our intermediate nitro buggy. A final about to roll off here. 
to let the smoke clear out a little bit. I'm going to get back behind my booth and behind my screen and try to call this race. We hope you guys are enjoying the live broadcast here at the 2024 Southern Indoor Championship. All right, everybody. All right, Danny. Let's get Crackalack in here. Intermediate Nitro Buggy A final. Up next, our Pro Nitro Buggy A final. And then I think it's going to be all E-Buggy from there on out. Mike Ligui, Chris Morant, Dalton Balboa, Trent Walker, Ryan Daze. No click, no, no check from Garrett Martin, Kyle Neary, Emerson Sturgeon. No check from Colin Beaver, Donald Elliott, Jackson Anderson, Jake Stalsing, Wyatt Lawson, Cody Ingram, Chuck Burke, Ada Ridgeway, and Lee Flowers. All righty, so we are getting ready for this start. Intermediate though, was a... Uh, Pleasure to watch in qualifying yesterday. We saw a lot of great battles. Chuck Berg bumping up, doing 10 minute pit sessions. So let's see if that comes into effect this time around. We know Chuck Berg can do it. Yeah, let's start right there. That's a better angle by far. There we go. Mike Legge, that green and yellow car. Ooh. Let's see what type of start these intermediate drivers are going to give us. Uh, it's fairly clean. Everybody making it through that first and second corner pretty good. Leggy hitting that pipe. Chris Morant, right? Giving a little nudge just now. Mike Leggy in that green and yellow, followed by Chris Morant. Ada Ridgeway tricking, tripping the loop somewhere. So that's going to get fixed. All right, Leggy out front, followed by Chris Morant, Ryan Daze, Trent Walker, Don Elliott, your top five. Uh-oh, Leggy getting it wrong over that jump. We've seen a few guys just landing hard, flat bottoming on the downgrade of that jump. What's up, Soul68? How are you, sir? Green and yellow car of Mike Legge. Chris Morant right behind, and these guys slightly breaking away from that pack, putting 2.8 seconds on Ryan Daze. Trent Walker is uh, not too far behind. All righty then. Mike Legge out front. There's Chris Morant in that orange and yellow Mugen. Lagui, I think, is driving this green and yellow car. There's that orange car of Daze. Lagui, a 35-7 just now.
Legui making his way over that double. This is your battle for that first stock sweater, they call him. There is Ryan Daze in that orange car. You see Trent Walker and that Rockstar powered, Rockstar Hobbies powered car. All right, he said these two breaking away now. They have a 4.5 second lead. Trent Walker now up to third. Cody Ingram into fourth. Ryan Daze in fifth. And we are currently following. Ch we're following Sweda and Chris Morant. Leggy in that green and yellow car, white wing. These guys. Making a little bit of a breakaway from the rest of the pack. Trent Walker now 5.3 seconds back from these guys. Going to see if he can put his head down and chase them down. There's Trent right there. Making his way through that washboard section. Trent going single, single, double. They're taking that safe line. It is very hard out there. As you can see, we have massive craters. This track has been getting rough, but it's rough for everybody, so... Gotta just drive around it, drive through it. All right, we are back onto that battle for first. Mike Legee got a review mirror full of Chris Morant. They're making that double double single. Morant having to check up ever so slightly. They have opened up all the doors here, which is great. Pro Nitro Buggy Main up next. As we check on uh, Mike McGee, who's stretching that lead out ever so slightly on Chris Morant. Four minutes and 23 seconds down in this race. 25 minutes and 30 seconds left to go. As we're on board with our pole sitter, Mike McGee. He is stretching out that lead over Chris Morant. Let's see, 2.4 seconds when he came by. Let's see if Trent's making any inroads. And his challenge now, 4.2 back of Chris Morant. There you see Morant just coming into our vision. Cody Ingram, 5.1 back. Ryan Daze, 1.2 back of him. Chuck Berg in a good position in sixth place. Watch out for Chuck Berg. He can do 10 minute pit stops. All right, so we're on board with fourth and fifth. Cody Ingram, currently in fourth. Ryan Daze, that orange car right behind him. Cody getting it wrong. Daze getting it right. There is uh, Iceberg Slim, Chuck Berg. Oh, no, Trent Walker having an accident on his straightaway. That's going to let Cody Ingram get out right behind us, and now that's the battle for that's third right there that's fourth right behind him and there's ryan daze he should be coming in the picture soon oh daze a little bit way a little ways away chuck bargain six he's gonna be able to go one less pit stop than all these guys will that come into play later on trent walker having an accident coming out of oh and another one coming down into that newton valley and ryan daze Right behind in all that orange car, that is actually fifth. Oh, wow. Daze waiting for Trent. So here's your battle for fifth right now. Mike Legee out front, Chris Morant in second. Iceberg still in six, remember. If he's on his 10-minute pit strategy, he has to just go one lap, one pit stop less than these guys. So right now, he's in great position. Trent Walker dropping down to fifth now. Trent Walker losing touch with Ryan Daze right there. As Daze is pulling away from him ever so slightly. 
Baza is going to set his sights on Cody Ingram. They're separated by 5.8 seconds. Seven minutes down. 22 minutes left to go. 23 minutes left to go. All right, let's get back. And there's our leaders right there. Mike Legee and I don't know that is who is that behind him? That's Ada Ridgeway, but he is down in eleventh. Mike Legee in for fuel. Sweater, Cheddar, they call him. And he is out. Great pit stop for him. He currently has a 2.3. He had a. Now we're looking at that battle. Cody Ingram mixing it up with. No, that's not Cody Ingram. Sorry. All right. Doing it with some lap traffic. Cody Ingram trying to get by that lap traffic. And he just bumps him out of the way. Lap traffic's got to learn to move out of the way. Mike Legee still out front. Chris Morant taking over that top spot after Chris uh, Mike Legee's pit stop. I'm expecting Morant to come in sometime soon here as well. There's Chris Morant. We're expecting him to come into fuel. That yellow wing, orange car making his way. Chuck Berg now up to fifth. Morant staying out, not coming in for fuel. So maybe he's going 10 minutes too if he didn't come in already. We might have missed it. He's our current leader. Let's hope, uh, let's see, let's stay on Morant. This yellow wing car, orange and blue, yellow nose. Morant, I think he either came in for fuel or is doing 10 minutes. We'll find out here shortly. Chuck Berg, we know he's doing 10 minutes. He's in, he's in fifth. After Morant does this, if he doesn't come in for fuel, let's find Chuck Berg. After this, yes, you find Chuck Berg. All right, there's our leader, Chris Morant. Chuck Berg right in front of him. Nope, that's not Chuck Berg. So I believe that Morant has already come in. Has to be, because he's now on a 10-23. Oh, Mar that guy getting a big run, Morant. Looking very comfortable there. Got a 1.4 second lead over Mike Legee. I wonder, is Chuck Burr coming in for fuel? Yep. Chuck Burr coming in at that 10-minute mark. All right, so Chuck probably not doing 10 minutes this race. Not sure. All right, but Chris Morant out front, Mike Legee, Cody Ingram, Ryan Daze. Dalton Baboa, Chuck Berg, Trent Walker, Jake Stalsing, Emerson Surgeon, Wyatt Lawson, Jackson Anderson, Donald Elliott, and Lee Flowers. Looks like Kyle Neary out and Ada Ridgeway sharing that red line that he's out as well. 11 minutes and 20 seconds down, 18.40 to go. We're following our sixth place driver, Chuck Berg. We're going to see if he comes in. Oh, not coming in for fuel. Let's get back on our leader. Chris Morant stretching that lead out to 5.4 seconds over Mike Legee. There's Legee. That green and yellow car. We're currently following our leader. That yellow winged, orange, yellow nose, yellow wheeled Mugen of Chris Morant.
All right, so we're on board with Chris Morant. He's got Chuck Berg. That's actually six in front. So Morant lapping up to six at this moment. Stretching that lead to Mike Legee out to 2.7 seconds. Legee should be coming into focus here shortly. There's Legee. So Legee putting those afterburners on, making it a race. Chris Morant with 35-4. Legee for 34-3. Cody Ingram in third. Ryan Daze in fourth. Dalton Baboa. Chuck Berg. Trent Walker. Stalsic. Sturgeon. Wyatt Lawson, your top ten. Ooh, great avoidance. Great awareness by Morant. Quick. Reflections, Ref re well, you know what I mean. And he goes single, single, double, keeping it safe. It's starting to, it's getting dark, and the temperatures are dropping. It's starting to get cold again here. Chris Morant, followed by Mike Legee. Mike Legee was 1.6 six sec six seconds back. Just now he's 1.8 back now. 4.8 seconds is Cody Ingram. From 14th to 3rd, Ryan Daze in 4th. Chuck Berg still holding on to that 5th spot. They're currently following our leader. It's 1.x seconds. Yes, Mike Legee is very close to him. They're coming through the uh, Dragons back. Legee right there now. So Morant about to have some company. Uh-oh. All right, so Mike Legee going to take that lead as Morant gets caught up in some back traffic. The race is on. Mike Legee in that green and yellow car, white wing. Unfortunate for Morant getting caught in traffic. Legee stretching that lead out to 7.5. I believe Morant has come in for fuel. We're going to follow Legee. He should be coming in this lap around. Now cycling back around to Morant. You Oh, Legee hitting one of those divots in the Dragon's back. Going for a wild ride. Shout out to Dana Tindall back out there, turn marshalling. Getting his cardio in today. Legee coming in for fuel. Oh, great pit stop for those guys. Oh, but getting it wrong. Coming off the straightaway. Ouch. That hurt. Marantz. Uh-oh. Marantz in now. Oh, no. He flames out. Chris Marantz flames out. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh no, Laurent, Morant flaming out. Cody Ingram gonna take over that second spot. Mike Legee, Ingram, Morant now flaming out, gonna drop down. Ryan Daze, Chuck Berg in fifth. Cody Ingram gotta come in for fuel soon here too, I'd say. Nope. Might have come in already. That's gonna be Mike Legee, Cody Ingram. Ryan Daze, Chuck Berg, Trent Walker moving up to that top five once Chris Morant cycles out. Chuck Berg up to that fourth spot from 15th to fourth. Cody Ingram from 14th to second. Trying to chase down Mike Legee. They got plenty of time. One more pit stop to go. Legee dealing with some lap traffic. Thank you, lap traffic, for letting him by. That's how it should be done. Legee in that green and yellow car. 6.6 .6 seconds ahead of, of Cody Ingram. Who's going to make a mistake right there? 38 4 for Legee. Oh man, that sun went down. That temperature's dropped. Mm -hmm. 
McGee getting it all wrong in that Dragon's back. That's going to bird well for Cody Ingram. And I think that might be Cody. I think that's Cody now making a push for that first spot. There's Cody coming on into that. Blurring out Nuketown Valley. Slowly chipping away at that lead that Mike Legee has. Morant done for the day, it looks like. As he's sharing the red line. So he's done for the day. I'm, I'm fortunate for Morant. He was, a good, he was doing good, but today is not going to be the day he takes home a win. Yeah, we'll see. I'm pretty sure he is. I, I mean, he's been doing it all weekend. Chuck Brash running 10 minutes. I'm pretty sure he's doing it again. Why not? Just haven't seen him come in for fuel. He's currently in third. Mike Legee about to have a rearview mirror full of Cody Ingham. As like Mike trying to navigate his way through that sea of traffic. I think that's Cody coming through the Dragons back now. McGee, Ingram, Berg, Daze, Emerson, Sturgeon, big mover up to fifth. Your running order is Mike Legee, Legee, Cody Ingram, Ryan Daze in third, Chuck Berg in fourth, Emerson Sturgeon in fifth, Jake Stousing in sixth, Dalton Maboa seventh, Trent Walker eighth, Jackson Anderson ninth, Wyatt Lawson tenth, in eleventh, Don Elliott, Lee Flowers in twelfth, Aiden Ridgeway in thirteenth, Chris Morant crowd nearly out, no start from Garrett Martin or Colin Beaver. Oh, wow, somebody jumping right into that railing just now. They should be. That. We are on board of our leader, Mike Legee who has stretched that lead out to 1.7 seconds over Cody Ingram. Chuck Berg in for fuel. I believe he was in for fuel just now. So Chuck Berg, good to go to the end. Legee. I don't know, man, I don't know. I think Chuck, I don't know if he came in for fuel or not. Not sure. I cannot see him. Mike Legee, though, 7.7 .7 seconds ahead of Cody Ingram, but got a myriad, a plethora of, a sea of lap traffic right there in front of him. As we are now coming down to our last part of the, this 30 minute final, eight minutes and 30 seconds left to go. And this intermediate Nitro Buggy A final, there's Mike Legee in that green and yellow car, white wing. McGee pushing hard. Eight minutes and eight seconds left to go for McGee. One more pit stop he's going to have to do. As well as Cody Ingram, Ryan Daze, Chuck Burke, though, good to go to the end of this race, I do believe. Larry George cheering on Emerson, who's currently in fifth. Alrighty then, you can see that track is grooved up in spots, but rough. 
Lagi in for his last pit stop. Lagi in for his last pit stop. Gonna be a good, good pit stop right there as well. But not a good pit exit. Oh no, Lagi getting it wrong again. Give me that wiggle, please come get me. Please come get me. Oh no, he flames out. I think Cody Ingram flamed out too, if I'm not too sure. But I think I think both of them flamed out. Let's see, Mike Lagee flaming out. I think is that Cody? Is that Cody? That might be Cody too. Oh no, just not clearing it out and uh, coming out of that, coming out of that uh, pit and not able to clear that engine out. Oh no, Lagee flaming out. That's going to cost him big, big time. Cody Ingram flaming out too. So our two front runners flaming out right there. That's going to put Ryan Daze up front, followed by Chuck Berg. But Daze, I'm pretty sure, is going to have to come in for another pit stop. If he hasn't already, he's probably doing that now. Daze up to the lead, Chuck Berg at the second. What's Mike Legee going to do? Is he going to hold on to third? He just might. Oh, Cody Ingram coming by. Legee coming by. Wow. So Ryan Daze taking over that top spot. There's Ryan Daze in that orange car. Mike Legee, though, not too far back of him, if I wasn't mistaken. All right, so let's shake it up. Chuck Berg to the front as Ryan Daze. I think Ryan Daze came in for fuel. Yep, a 45-second lap. Chuck Berg is our leader right now. Ken Iceberg do it. Coming from 15th overall during those 10-minute pit stops. There is Chuck Berg right there with his yellow wing. He's taking it slow. He goes single, double, single. Chuck Burke coming out of a 35-6. Ryan Daze going to be way behind him now. Ryan Daze, 8.7 seconds back of Chuck Burke. Cody Ingram in third. Cody Ingram and Mike Legee both flaming out. It's going to be Chuck Burke, Ryan Daze, Cody Ingram, Mike Legee, Emerson Surgeon, Dalton Balboa, Jake Stousing, Trent Walker, Don Elliott. I don't know, man. Hey, hard to be bet against the iceberg because he has he has got that mileage down packed. But not only that, being in the right position too. So never count out iceberg. I agree with you, Steve Battaglia. Chuck Berg got four minutes and eleven seconds left to go in this race. That's our leader, Chuck Berg, out front. Chuck Berg does not have to push. He just needs to get by. This That's Dalton Balboa. Needs to let him by. All righty then. Chuck Berg got a little bit of clear in front of him. Three minutes and 44 seconds left to go. That was a 38-2 for Chuck. Getting held up in some lap traffic there. Again, but there's Ryan Daze pushing. Ryan Daze in that all red car behind him. Not too far off. That's what Chuck needed needed to get away from Dalton and have some clear air in front of him. But Daze too, getting by. Chuck, single, single, double. Daze though, probably double, double, single. Daze a little bit younger. He's not scared to send it. Chuck, racing like a veteran. He's going to be under pressure from second place. That's second place right behind him. That all red car, white wheels. Oh no! Wow, Chuck making a, bi a big dive bomb move and pulling it off. He has to push. Daze is absolutely flying right now. So Ryan Daze looking very good out there in that orange car. I think it's an HB. Daze snagging a pipe. That's going to cost him some time. Two minutes and 42 seconds left to go. Chuck Berg, while feathering that throttle, trying to get the best few miles he's going to win. It's going to have to fight off a hard charging Ryan Daze. Cody Ingram now 2.5 seconds back. 
4.3 seconds back of Daze. So Chuck Berg driving a very smart race. Daze trying to catch him up. He is absolutely flying. Daze with a 37-4. Chuck with a 37-4. Daze coming through that washboard section. Oh, man. Daze getting caught up in that pipe. Two minutes to go for Chuck Berg. Two minutes. Come on, Iceberg. Will Fuel Monage win out again? We shall find out. There is Daze. Oh, no. Daze coming in third. He's now lost that position to Cody Ingram in second. Ingram 7.3 seconds back of Chuck Berg. Oh, no. Chuck getting it wrong. Here comes Cody Ingram and Daze. This is your battle for second right now. They got a bunch of traffic. They got to make it through. Woo! Daze, woo -hoo. He's getting all wild down there. I, did he get past Cody? Nope, Cody in second. Let's follow second. Let's follow Cody. He's in front of him. There's Cody Ingram. Oh, no. Cody sending it off the side of the track. One minute left to go. 60 seconds left for Chuck Berg. And he will take an impressive intermediate nitro buggy man here at a stacked uh, Southern, Southern Indoor Championships. I got Danny in there going, oh no, in my ear. Chuck Berg coming across the line now. That's a long lap for him, a 36-3. Cody Ingram now 5.3 back of Chuck Berg. Ryan Daze, 1.9 back of him. There you see Chuck Berg. Going across our line. There's Cody. No, I thought that's Chuck. That's not Chuck. That's not Chuck. There's Chuck coming through that washboard. That, that's been happening for everybody, Ryan Rand. Lap traffic has been hard on these guys. One more lap to go. I don't think... Cody, Cody will get by. Daze Dunn. So it's a battle to the end. Daze Dunn, he's going to finish in third. Chuck can't relax, though. Chuck cannot relax at all. Cody Ingham, 5.3 back. Any mistake by Chuck. And Cody will be there to capitalize. If Chuck runs out of fuel, he will lose this race. Cody Ingham right there. The hope I get caught up in some uh, an overturned car. But it looks like Iceberg is going to make it happen. Chuck taking his second win. Right up pit lane he goes. Well done, Chuck Berg. He made it. He made it. He is like, woo! I can't believe I made that one. Oh, my goodness. Excellent, excellent drive by Chuck Berg and his fuel miners. Good job by Cody Ingram. We had your 15th and 14th car finishing. First and second, it's going to be Chuck Burke, Cody Ingram, Ryan Dazzy, Mike Lee, Jake, Jake Stalzak, Dalton Balboa, Emerson Sturgeon, Trent Walker, Jackson Anderson, Don Elliott, Wyatt Lawson, Ada Ridgeway, and Lee Flowers. Let's get ready to have a word with Chuck before we get our uh, pro Nitro Buggy Man going. Up next... Caston, no, Ryan Mayfield, Kate Burnett, yeah. Tyler Jones, Jared Wiggins. Yeah. Jake, good job, Jake. Good run. All right, guys, Adam got Drake. all my marshal, or excuse me, all my drivers here. All right. Mason all right, guys, here we go. 
your 2024 Southern Indoor Championship Intermediate Nitro Buggy champ, or, uh, Top 5 in the number 5 spot, Jake Stolzing. In the number 4, Mike Legui. In the number 3, Ryan Daze. In the number 2, Cody Ingram. And your Intermediate Nitro Buggy Champion here for 2024, it is Chuck Berg. We got Chuck Iceberg, the burger, Iceberg Slim. Hey, man. Oh, he wants to hold up. There you go, number one. You know, bumping up from that B-man on mileage, winning that race on mileage, and uh, excellent driving, just being in a good position there, man. Good driving once again to you. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I knew I had the runtime that a lot of these guys probably didn't have, but I just had to drive smart. The track was so blown out. I double singled that whole first, that back section, or single, single, doubled. And I knew that was going to be the make or break. I think I double doubled it maybe two times the whole race. Oh yeah, it looked very hard. We're seeing all the classes struggling out there. Yeah, starting 15th, I had to just hunker down and do what I could do. All right, man. Well, you come back down to the southeast and you leave us some hard work. Congratulations. Um, good job. I still think you got e-buggy left to go. Yep. And um, congratulations. That mileage wins it. And good job, Chuck Iceberg the Berg. Thank you, Lefty. Appreciate it. I'd like to thank uh, Mugen Siki, uh, Drake. 83, Drake Racing Products, Flashpoint, J Concepts, uh, ProTech, A-Main, and everybody that helps me out. I really appreciate it and say hi to my mom and dad at home. Awesome. Well, safe travels back and congratulations on uh, taking, uh, taking back some harder, man. Good job. Good to see you again. All right, Chuck Burke takes that win in Intermediate Nitro Buggy. We're going to get ready for this Pro Nitro Buggy race. They're warming up their engines now. Battle for the lead rages down the straightaway, heading into the chicane. We're following it live. And here comes the battle for second down the straightaway. It's going to be a three-way battle coming up on Little Bump and Justin Fails, Lutz, Westergaard, and Fend. That's the battle to watch as they're coming down the step down. Rossiter right there with the best lap of the entire race. 30.3 for Rossiter, up to second.
We hope you're enjoying the live broadcast of the 2024 Southern Indoor Championship, and we want to thank all of our sponsors for helping us make that happen. We hope you are enjoying the live broadcast of the 2024 Southern Indoor Championship, but don't forget, the granddaddy of them all is coming up in April, the Psycho Nitro Blast, and we hope to see you guys there. Danny Paz, can you hear me? Okay, give me a second. Give me a second to get sorted out here, please, good buddy. All right, let's go. All right, everybody. Up next, the big enchilada, what we've been waiting for for quite some time. This is your pro Nitro Buggy A main, the cut fans starting on pole. Tyler Jones in that sparkly sparkle in second. Tyler Jones taking a TQ in round two from the B sort and finishing third overall, third overall in Q3. Showing some impressive pace out there this weekend. We've been waiting for this all weekend, yes. We love we love E-Buggy, we love Troggy, but we all know Nitro is the glory and we are getting ready for this 30 minute Nitro Buggy A final. Will we see somebody come in here and disrupt the Dakota fan Ryan Mayfield show we've seen for the last two and a half years? The only person really to do that has been Ty Tessman with his retirement. Who will take up that mantle? Will we see a third driver come in here and compete? Dakota fan did take TQ, but it was a hard fought TQ. Tyler Jones was looking good. Mayfield's in third. Brendan Rose looking fast. Lee Setzer looking to make up for that. Uh, for that. Let's see who you guys all picking to take the win. Shout out to everybody. Sure this. Thank you guys all for joining us. We still got more races to go. But I think I'm going to lose my voice after this. Because it's going to be hectic. Let's get ready to rumble. Dakota fan Tyler Jones. Ryan Mayfield. Brandon Rose. Lee Setzer your top five. Violet Violet Wizard. Jared Wiggins. Big Joe Bornhorst in seventh. Mason Fuller in his new S-Rex ride in eighth. Spencer Heckwood in that new Techno in ninth. Camden Lime, Cole Kasten, Adam Drake, Ryan Lutz, 
Joey Bernon, Joe Lewison, Little Bump, and Cade Burnett running out your top 17. Let's get ready to rumble, guys. It's time to boogity, boogity, boogity. Let's get ready for your 2024 Southern Indoor Championship Nitro Buggy A Main. Let's get ready to rumble, everybody. Oh, Marlo Wright says it's line time. I like that. Let's get ready as they're going to fill them up one more time. Well, no, the first time of this race, sorry. All right, everybody, I am getting excited. Down and quiet, and it's time to boogity, boogity, boogie, and they're off. And there we see Dakota Fenn getting a clean start. Right behind him, Tyler Jones and that tech, and that, ooh, I said a techno, and that sparkly Sparko. Jones, that pink and blue car, white wing. Jones said this track reminded him of the Peach State Classic in which he won a few months ago. All right, so it's hectic there. Let's get back on our leaders, please. All right, Dakota fan coming on that straightaway, followed by T. Jones. Ryan Mayfield, Lee Setzer, Brandon Rose, Mason Fuller, Joe Bornhorse. Wow, T. Jones, good move by T. Jones. Don't, oh no, T. Jones stops it into the pipe. He's gonna lose that second position. Oh no, big mistake for Jones, letting Ryan Mayfield and Lee Setzer by. Ryan Mayfield gonna set his sights on Dakota Fan and Lee Setzer wants to just latch on and follow them. Brandon Rose currently in fifth. Somebody getting it wrong in that uh, Dragon's back. I see a, a Marshall trying to go over there and get him. Oh no, there is Dakota Fan, Ryan Mayfield, Brandon Rose. Oh man, so once again, it looks like Fenn and Mayfield breaking away from the pack. Dakota Fenn making it up over that double. Oh man, Lee Setzer dropping all the way down to ninth after that lap. So, but lots of time left to go. 28 minutes, 28 seconds left to go in this race. Only 30 seconds, one minute and 30 seconds down. Let's get ready. There's Dakota Fenn looking in the groove. Took a win in uh, Truggy, took a win in A1 of E buggy, I do believe, if I can remember correctly. And we are ready to rumble in. Mayfield making a hard charge through the pack from that second position. Oh, Mayfield casing that jump. There is Brandon Rose. Brandon Rose in that green S works. Looking pretty dicey out there. As we get going down the line, we see Brandon Rose chasing after Ryan Mayfield. The cutoff end trying to get away from him. Mayfield cased that jump earlier. Brandon Rose pulling up right behind Mayfield right now as well. Fenn getting it wrong. And Fenn's going to allow Mayfield by. We're back together again. Dakota Fenn getting it wrong, flipping up into that staging ramp. Dakota Fenn becoming a victim of those craters there going on to the start, going to that 180. Ryan Mayfield out front in that white techno. Dakota Fenn, Brandon Rose there in third. I don't know, did Dakota Fenn have another wreck? He did, because now... Let's let's zoom out. Let's get both of these guys in, in, in shot. All right, so now B. Rose now in second. The, Ryan Mayfield starting to pull away ever so slightly from Brandon Rose. Brandon Rose can't allow that to happen. Fan messing up again. There's holes, there's rough spots causing havoc for these pro guys. We've seen everybody from sportsman, intermediate, and pro having some issues with these rough, this rough track. Brandon Rose, though, looking pretty smooth through that dragon's back. He's not too far behind Mayfield. Mayfield with a 33.6. Rose with a 33 flat. That gap, 1.4 seconds. Rose making some, making some end roads in there on Mayfield. 
That gap was 1.4 when they came across the last time. Let's see what it's going to be. B. Rose, B. Rose flying around that corner. Let's go, B. Rose. You can do it, buddy. Going through that dragon's back. He's got a good line. Oh, Mayfield getting cross, cross, cross rutted. That's going to allow B. Rose by. B. Rose is going to come by. He's going to lead that lap. Well done, B. Rose. Doing it for Texas S Works. B. Rose. Now going up that section, keeping it tight on the pipe. Oh, no. He goes, oh, no, and he gives it back. And now he's going to have to deal with Dakota Fenn right behind him. As he comes up and over that roller. Oh, man. B. Rose gets in lead for half a lap and gives it right back to Mayfield. B. Rose back in second, but not too far behind. So there we see Mayfield about to come up on our first piece of lap traffic. That's Cade Burnett. Mayfield making uncharacteristic mistakes this weekend as well. All right, so there they come through the Dragons back. B. Rose forcing Mayfield to get there. Mayfield getting a little bit wider. B. Rose keeping it on the inside there. We got a Techno versus an S-Works. To go to Fenn, 1.9 seconds back. Your running order is going to... Wow! What a great run by B. Rose. Not getting it wrong this time. He's chasing down Mayfield. As he comes flying over that double, he goes. Hooking it in. Oh, man. B. Rose is feeling the flow. He's in the zone. Let's get back on those leaders. Let's stay on Gene's camera when we go across that, please. It's a better view. Mayfield coming flying down that straightaway. And they are separated by three tenths of a second. Wow, they're about to be in a myriad of lap traffic. Mayfield about to come by. There's Jonah Wilson letting these guys back by. That's how you do it. Good job, Jonah Wilson coming up on Adam Drake in that all yellow car. B. Rose latching onto that rear ring of Ryan Mayfield and following him down the line. Mayfield taking that B. Rose line coming through the nuke field. Well done. They are separated by one tenth of a second. These guys. Oh no! Mayfield getting it wrong at the end of the straightaway. B. Rose back out in front. Big crash from Mayfield. Ryan Mayfield going to drop down to second, maybe more. Mason Fuller now up to the top four, four, five. Ryan Lutz in fifth. So lots of racing left to go. We're going to be coming up on some pit stops here. Seven minutes on. Maybe B. Rose coming in for a fuel stop. Rose keeping it very close along the pipe down there. As he comes in, going to go by for another lap. Rose, a 32-6 that time by. Let's see what it is when it shakes up behind him. Mayfield, 4.8 seconds back. Mayfield, we know, can go long. So can Dakota Fenn on pit stop. So maybe that will come into play. What can B. Rose done do in that ELSE tuned motor? Rose right now looking quite competitive as he comes back down into that nuke field, keeping it close to the pipe. Oh, don't worry about that. B. Rose coming in for fuel. B. Rose coming in for fuel. Coming in at the 750 mark. There's his dad on the pit duties. He's out. And he's going to come out in front. Mayfield is... Nope, that's not Mayfield. That's Joey Bredon. I think he might have got out in front of Mayfield. Nope, the cutoff end. He got out in front of the cutoff end because the cutoff end is in second. The cutoff end going a little bit longer. That is not Mayfield. That is B. Rose still out in front after that pit stop. B. Rose coming in just before that eight-minute mark. Seven and a half pit stop for him. Dakota Fenn. Dakota Fenn coming into pits now as well. Ryan Dunford on the pit gun. That means Mayfield will be coming in too. I'm pretty sure Mayfield's coming in as well. B. Rose got some breathing room now. Oh, wow. Will this be the day we see B. Rose take that victory reach up? He's been getting, he's been very close all 2023. And that green s works. Oh, no. Dakota Fenn. 
I think Mayfield's coming in this lap as well. We'll see. Okay, not coming in. He might have come in already then. Ryan Mayfield having a 38 long lap for Mayfield. Oh, B. Rose just casing that jump. Let's see how much that gap is. It was 8.6 last time by B. Rose coming by. That's going to be a 33 2. Let's see what Dakota's doing when he comes by. Dakota. 8.8 .8 seconds back. So B. Rose. His destiny in his hands with 20 minutes and 10 seconds left to go. Lots of racing left to go in this race. Let's drop back and see what's going on with Dakota Fenn. And there's Dakota Fenn, our second place driver, coming up over that double down that washboard he goes. Back over, over the back, Dragon's back. He's got a six second lead over Ryan Mayfield. Mason Fuller in fourth. Joe Bornhorst in fifth. Heckert now up to six. Ryan Lutz up to seven. Tyler Jones in eighth. Little Bump in ninth. Joey Bourdon tenth. Adam Drake eleventh. Camden Lyon, Cole Caston, Lee Setzer, Jonah Wilson, K. Burnett, Jared Wiggins out of this race. Right now we are on board with that neon orange and purple with a little bit of gray in the back there. Dakota Fenn behind him, I believe that is. Uh, not for position, but not for position because Captain Line is down in 12th. Mayfield, the closest person to Fend, and he is 5.5 seconds back. We got a good battle brewing between Joe Bornos and Mason Fuller in 4th and 5th. Let's go back on our leader. Let's find that 5th place battle as Ryan Mayfield. There is our leader. He has just got by Little Bump. Little Bump currently being scored down in 9th. B. Rose. Putting a lap on the field up to, there's T. J T, T Jones in his sights. B. Rez looking to put T. Jones a lap down as he comes flying down a 33-7 for B, uh, for Brandon Rose. Brandon Rose got a 10 second lead last time by. Let's see what it is back to Dakota Fenn now, 9.7. Dakota slowly chipping away. B. Rez in some lap traffic. Hopefully these guys part the season, let him by. Thank you Lee, Mart Lee Setzer, sorry. T. Jones got to let him by as well. Oh. All right. Oh, no. B. Rose just clipping that pipe. He's going to lose some tenths of a second. As he comes by, that's going to be a long lap for Burrs, a 35-1. Let's see what the gap is between him and Fend when they come by this time. Fend going to back that up with a 34-2. So that gap back to 8.8 .8 seconds. All right, let's have a look at our battle going on between Joe Bornos and Mason Fuller. They're back there battling in fourth and fifth. And we are on. There's Joe Bornos, there's Mason Fuller, two s -Rex teammates battling it out. There you can see Mason Fuller just getting on that s -Rex control, uh, that s -Rex chassis, just breaking his cars in this Friday, trying to chase down the elder member of the s -Rex team. These guys want to work together. They're currently running fourth and fifth. We're following this battle while keeping our eye on Brandon Rose as uh, Dakota Fenn is still now 7.8 seconds in front of Brandon Rose. We're going to watch these guys as they come across the line. This is your battle for fourth between Mason Fuller and Joe Bornos. Ryan Mayfield currently in third. He's 9.3 seconds back of Dakota Fenn. All right, let's get back on B. Rose as he's coming across the line. B. Rose right there. Started to make some inroads. He's got to get past. T wow, he's still not past Tyler Jones. Tyler Jones making it hard to get by him. Brandon Rose trying to get by that Sparko. Let's see if he can do it this lap around. He's been fighting him for quite some time. B. Rose going to the inside, getting by that lap traffic. That's Tyler Jones currently being scored down in six. So Tyler Jones taking a TQ in Q2. 16 minutes and 33 seconds left to go in this race. Ooh. That was Mason Fuller, I think. Oh, Joe Bono is getting it wrong just now. B. Rose absolutely in the zone. We're going to be coming up on some pit stops here in the next minute or so. We're going to stay on our leader right now. Our leader, B. Rose, was 9.2 when he came by just now. Dakota Fenn on a slightly longer strategy than uh, B. Rose, but B. Rose doing what he has to do to keep that at negate that. He's now out. 
That was a 33 flat for B. Ruz. Let's see what Dakota comes by with. Dakota, a 33.5, 9.7 is that gap. 15.46 left in this race. So we have 1,053 people watching. Thank you all for tuning in. This is the Southern Indoor Championship. You are watching the Pro Nitro Buggy 30 Minute A Final. Oh no, he's stuck under the pipe. That's gonna cost him a lot of time. So that gap gonna shrink ever so slightly. That's a 36.9. So gonna lose a few seconds to Dakota Fenn. Dakota Fenn about 33.2, 5.9 is that gap. I think we're gonna see b Rose come in on this lap. Maybe another one. Going through that washboard section, b Rose getting a little bit wrong last lap around, trying to avoid that pipe like a vacuum, sucking him in, getting trapped underneath it. Let's see what he does when he comes by. Is he gonna come in for fuel this time around? Yes, he is. In for fuel is b Rose. Good stop. Is he going to come out in front of Dakota? Yes, he does. Comes out just in front of Dakota Fenn. What a great pit stop by his dad. That accident, the lap before, cost him that time. Had he come in on that lap, he would have uh, been way more in front of Dakota Fenn. Dakota Fenn got to come in one more time as well. Then a little bit longer. But here it is, first and second, battling it out as they go up over that Dragon's back. Coming into some lap traffic. B. Rose absolutely flying at this moment. B. Rose coming by with a 38 9. That is a great outlap for him. Dakota Fan just pacing in. Oh! B. Rose just casing that jump. But remember, Dakota Fan got to come in again. And so does B. Rose. B. Rose is good to go to 7.5. It's going to be Brandon Rose, Ryan Mayfield now. 16.9 seconds. These guys. Almost putting a lap on the entire field. Ryan Mayfield, the only drive on that 28 lap pace. Let's see, is Dakota Fan gonna come in this lap? Yes, he is. That's gonna allow B Rose to pull away. So Dakota Fan gonna have to come in one more time. So is uh Brandon Rose, but Brandon Rose coming in at seven and a half, and he's good to go. Rose is flying. Let's get back on Rose. There's Brandon Rose coming through that washboard section. He is in the zone right now. Rose making quick work off that Dragon's back. Get it by Lee Setzer. Lee Setzer currently scored down in 15th. Rose at 32-5. Let's see what that gap is between him and Fenn. When, they, when Fenn comes by, but we are watching that green car. Black Wheel, he makes that mistake once again. He's got to stay. I know he's trying to go on the inside and keep it tight. 6.5, so... Rose got to put his head down and cook off some fast laps. If he wants to keep in front of Fenn, Fenn is on the move after that pit stop. Never caught out Dakota Fenn. Never caught out Ryan Mayfield either. He's still the only one currently on that lead lap with these guys. Lee Setzer. Right in front of B. Rose. B. Rose looks like he clipped that pipe ever so gently. Lee Setzer getting it wrong. There is Dakota Fenn coming up over that double. Not too back, too far back of Brandon Rose. 5.3 was the gap last time by. There we see B. Rose going out the Dragon's back zone. I think B. Rose made a slight mistake because he is, oh, there he is, sorry. A, a slight bobble for Brandon Rose. That's a 34-2. Dakota going to click off a fast lap. That's a 33-7. 4.8 is that gap. We are back on board with Dakota. I'm sorry, with B. Rose. Brandon Rose, hailing from the big state of Texas. Been on the cusp of a big break, breakout win for many, many a uh, race. But now it's looking like it's actually going to happen. We got 1,063 viewers watching this. We need to get another 1,000 back in here. Another 100 back in. Brandon Rose with 32.8, great lap for him. Dakota Fenn with 33.2, that gap back up to 5.1. Brandon Rose is gonna come back in for fuel in that seven and a half minute. As we look at Brandon Rose, Dakota Fenn, Ryan Mayfield, Mason Fuller, Tyler Jones, your top five. Little bump now up to that sixth position. 
Ryan Lutz in seventh, Joe Buenos, Joey Bourdon, Camden Lyons, Spencer Hackett, Adam Drake, Cole Carson, Jonah Wilson, Lee Setzer, and Kay Burnett. But nobody right now on Brandon Ruiz or Dakota Fenn's pace. Ruiz come out of a 32-9. Dakota Fenn going to answer that with a 33-4, 5.7. That gap stays. We got 10 minutes and 38 seconds left to go. All righty then. So Brandon Rose, it's going to be interesting in that after that last pit stop by both of these guys. Brandon Rose needs to just keep his head down, sticking off these high 32s. Dakota Fenn answers that with a long lap with Dakota Fenn of 36. That gap back up to 9.2 for Brandon Rose. Brandon Rose got a little bit of breathing space as he comes through that washboard. Brandon Rose coming around that 180. He's making it smooth work of that Dragon's back. He has 9 minutes and 47 seconds left to go in this race. We'll see him come in 7.5. Brandon Rose in that green S-Works. Just made the switch over to J-Concepts Tires. And he goes back through that dragon's back. Oh, just cases that jump. No harm, no foul. Ooh, getting a little bit squarely as he gets on into the valley. It is rough down there. Brandon Rose of 33-9. Dakota Fenn going to add to that whiff. Let's see what Fenn does this time around. A 32-9. They throw down identical lap times. That gap 7.9. 8 minutes 55 seconds left to go. One more pit stop for both of these drivers. One more pit stop for Ryan Mayfield. Mason Fuller now up to that fourth spot. Tyler Jones in fifth. Little bump in sixth. Ryan Lutz sixth. Joey Berdon on a good run in eighth. Bornhorst on to ninth. Let's see if Gene can pick up, uh, or you can pick up Dakota Fenn, Danny. Let's see how he's doing. All right, there's Dakota Fenn. Coming down that straightaway, getting it wrong, getting off of the track. That was a 33-7. All burden well for Brandon Rose. Will the stars in line? Will everything go well? Brandon Rose, been waiting for this big win. He is 8 minutes and 11 seconds away from his first ever big Nitro Buggy win. Really do it. I think if they do, they're going to have a ticker tape parade in Texas for him when he gets back. I know they'll definitely have something for him at Mike's Hobbies. Brandon Rose on the cusp. Seven minutes and 55 seconds left to go. He's going to be coming in for his pit stop soon. Let's go back to Brandon Ruiz. There he is, coming up over that. He's going to stop her soon. If it's not going to be this lap, it's going to be the next one. So Brandon Ruiz absolutely flying right now. Brandon Ruiz making that switch to J Concepts Tires. Is he going to come in? Yes, he is. Last pit for him. Oh, boy. Good pit for Brandon Rose. He's all in his hands now, and he's going to come out in front of Dakota Fenn by a big margin. So Brandon Rose got it all in his hands now. Seven minutes and 12 seconds left to go. Dakota Fenn going to have to come in for a pit. Let's go, Brandon Rose. We can hear the thousands of people in attendance. Well, a couple of hundred of people in attendance and the thousands of people watching online cheering on Dakota Fenn. But there's many more cheering on B. Rose as B. Rose comes across that line. Another good pit out for him, a 38-5. I'm looking at Tim Lime watching him. He's exceptionally happy. I bet six minutes and 43 seconds left to go. That lead, 3.7 seconds. But Dakota Fan got to come in for fuel at some point. Do we have Dakota Fan on the other camera? Here we see Fan coming by. That orange wing flashing by. Let's go, B. Rose. Everybody's saying in the chat, Dakota Fenn making another mistake at the end of, at the end of the Dragons back. Dakota Fenn gonna have to come in for fuel. Let's get on Dakota Fenn for his fuel stop if we can. I don't know what's happening. Our cameraman isn't paying attention to me now. Six minutes and ten seconds left to go in this race. We're gonna follow Dakota. We're gonna follow B Rose in that green S Rocks. 
to make sure nothing happens to him. Brandon Rose from Dakota Fenn. Dakota Fenn, 5.9 seconds back of him. Ryan Mayfield, 24 seconds back of Dakota Fenn. Mason Fuller in fourth. Tyler Jones in fifth. Little bump in sixth from that 16th spot. Oh, wow. Drake almost running him off the track just now. Brandon Rose, a 34-4. A long lap for him. Dakota Fenn. Coming in, 34-7 for him. Fenn going to have to come in for fuel very shortly, if he hasn't already. Uh, Danny, are you there? All right, so Danny can't hear me right now. All right, Brandon Rose absolutely flying right now. Less than five minutes left to go. He has an 11-second lead over Dakota Fenn. Absolutely. Can B. Rose do it? He's coming up on the back end of Camden Line. Camden Line going to have to let him by. Or is that Lutz? No, that's Camden Line. No, there's Camden Line letting him by. I think that's Lutz in front of him. All righty then. Camden Lime. Oh, that's, oh, is that Ryan Lutz going to let Brandon Rose by? Brandon Rose last time by was a 32-6. 32-7, sorry. And he's coming up on Cade Burnett. Cade Burnett getting out of the way. Thank you, Cade. Four minutes and five seconds left to go. Brandon looking very strong right now. That gap, 14.1 seconds for Brandon Rose. Three minutes and 48 seconds left to go in this race. Brandon Rose taking that lead, never looking back. Still though, three minutes and 40, 38 seconds left to go in this race. Anything can happen. 15 second lead up on Dakota Fenn last time by a 32-4. He just throws the fastest lap of the race. A 32-4 from Brandon Rose. And he clips that pipe. Oh, my goodness. After that, it's going to be a long lap. Dakota Fenn going to come by. What's Dakota Fenn going to do? Fenn with a 34-4. 17.3 is that lead. It's going to shrink a little bit. He is absolutely dominating this race. Is Brandon Rose, he's about to come on that three minutes. When he comes across the line, it's going to be less than three minutes to go. It's going to be a long lap for Rose. That's going to be a 36 flat. All right, so Brandon Rose making a few mistakes here, but able to get by Dakota Fenn. Still not coming across the loop, and, Dakota Fenn, and Brandon Rose is going up over that double. Fenn coming out of a 33-8. That lead on the 15, that lead 15.2 seconds. Right now, you're running on a Brandon Rose, Dakota Fenn, Ryan Mayfield, Mason Fuller, Tyler Jones. He'll be happy with a top five. All righty then. Brandon Rose, two minutes and 15 seconds left to go. You're running order. You're running on a Brandon Rose, Dakota Fenn, Ryan Mayfield, Mason Fuller, Tyler Jones, Little Bump, Ryan Lutz, Joe Buenos, Joey Berdon, Adam Drake, Spencer Hackett, Cole Kasson, Jonah Wilson, Lee Setzer, Camden Lime. Looks like he's going to be out here shortly. Cade Burnett in 16th. But right now, Brandon Rose on the cusp of making history. He's about to win his first big nitro buggy race and it's going to be the first big race here in 2024 Brandon Rose 1 minute and 25 seconds oh I just clipped that pipe B Rose of a 33-7 oh boy he has lapped everybody up to Dakota Fenn right now. Absolute 
great drive. If anything happens right now, B. Rose can be part of this drive, but he's got 58 seconds left to go. He's got an 18.9 second. Not only is he dominating, he is dominating some of the best in the world. B. Rose absolutely flying right now. Super pumped for him. I think this is going to be, he's going to get two more laps after this. He's going to get a victory lap. Brandon Rose absolutely flying right now. We thought it was going to be Mayfield. We thought maybe Tyler Jones also thought Brandon Rose had a very good, oh no. Oh, he doesn't want to get, he doesn't want to break the car. He doesn't want to get it wrong. Calm down, B. Rose. You can bring it home, good buddy. Don't do anything erratic. Brandon Rose going to get on a victory lap here. He just needs a cruise to him. One more lap for Brandon Rose, and this is going to be his victory lap. Dakota Fenn's not going to get it. Brandon Rose is going to take a victory because Dakota Fenn is not going to win it. The crowd is going wild for Brandon Rose. Well done, B. Rose, B. Rose, B. Rose. Excellent drive by Brandon Rose. Well done, Brandon Rose. He is going to take it. He is out there show better right now. This is a victory lap for Brandon Rose. I think everybody can be happy for this guy. Well done, B-Rose. I bet you there's a party going on right now down in Mike's Hobbies. They're celebrating, going nuts. Well done, Brandon Rose. Doing it for S-Works. Alessi Tune taking your win. Woo! Wow, that was awesome. That was awesome. Well done, B-Rose. Your first major big win. And it comes in 2024 at the first major 1-8 scale race. Absolutely awesome. We had the feel that this, this race would be special. And special it was. Brandon Rose just won Nitro Buggy. Well done, Brandon Rose. Let's go have a chat with him. One minute to the start of the race. We hope you guys are enjoying the live broadcast of the 2024 Southern Indoor Championship, and we want to thank all of our sponsors for helping us make that happen. Thirty seconds to the start of the race. All right, guys, I need my top five over here. Top five, top five, please. The podium, top five, the podium, top five. All right, guys, let's get our top five on over here. Top five, please. I need Tyler Jones, Ryan Mayfield, Mason Fuller, Dakota Finn, and Brandon Rose. Hey, guys, hold your cars, please. Hold your cars. Hold your cars. All right. Here we go. Oh, okay. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. One sec, guys. We're just waiting on his fuel here. Just waiting on B Rose's fuel. All right, there we go. All right, guys, here we go. 
your 2024 SIC Pro Nitro Buggy Podium. In the number five spot, it's Tyler Jones. In the number four, Ryan Mayfield. In the number three, Mason Fuller. In the number two, NTQ Dakota Finn. And your 2024 Southern Indoor Championship Pro Nitro Buggy Champion, it is Brandon Rose. Yes, sir. All right, Brandon, come on over for your interview with Lefty. Great job, man. Congratulations. Great job, everyone, on your podium. We hope you guys are enjoying the live broadcast here at the 2024 Southern Indoor Championship. All right, I'm Rev. Brandon Roger, 2024 Southern Indoor Championship. Uh, dude, your first big race. I can't believe it, your first win. Are you stoked? I am crazy stoked. I don't even know how to feel right now. I'm sure tomorrow it's going to feel way more real right now. It doesn't feel real. But, man, it was such a crazy race. I knew in warm-up my car had to pace the win. I just had to drive really smart, which I did. I've limited the mistakes. And, man, the S-first car to J-Concept tires, first big race with JC, absolutely crazy how good they are. Definitely get some of those. Alossi absolutely ripping out there. Uh, just everything was working so good. And, yeah, I'm just stoked. Yeah, we've been talking. we talk about you on the podcast. Like, that day is coming, that day is coming. Well, that day has come. Right here, right off the start, the first big race of the year, and you take the win. I'm sure they're, they're like going crazy at Mike's right now. <laughs> I'm sure they are. All Texas probably going pretty crazy. But, yeah, I knew I had it in me this whole time. I just needed a little more things to go my way, and it finally just all came together, and, yeah, I couldn't be happier. All right. I think they need to have a, a national day of a uh, holiday for you over there in Texas and have a ticket take parade when you get back. Yeah, for real, like maybe on a Monday or something, National yeah. B-Rose Day. All right. There you go, man. Congratulations. Good job. And um, good luck in your e-buggy man coming up. Thank you, man. All right, B. Rose takes his first major win here in 2024. You guys seeing history, man. Good job to him. We got some e-buggy mans to go. We're going to let him go celebrate with his dad. Congratulations, B. Rose. Go have fun, man. Yes, sir. Appreciate it, Keaton. Thank you all. Live our scene. Everything y'all do. Appreciate it. All right. Good job, dude. We're going to get back to the action. We hope you guys are enjoying the live broadcast here at the 2024 Southern Indoor Championship. ready everybody's going on the tone here in less than five it is 40 plus Yeah, it's going to be Bryce Beaver leading him off here in A main number one, but it is going to be Chuck Berg up to the top spot. Here they come over here on the left hand side of the track. Oh, down the front straightaway. Chuck Berg right now leading away. So if it finishes up this way, it'll come down to a tiebreaker who has the fastest laps. And time, Chuck Berg in the Mugen right now out in front. Bryce Beaver holding on to the Associated in that number two spot. Donald Elliott in number three. One minute down, nine minutes left to go. Race number 42. You're going to be coming up next. Race nine 42 up next. It's Chuck, Bryce, Donald, one, two, and three. Mark Morrow in the four. Jason Spitzman in the five. Mark Moon in at number six. Mike Lopes in the seven. Brian Looper in the eight. Randy Ingram at number nine. Tony Rooney in the 10. Josh Deal in the 11. Brad Nimblink in the 12. Ever in the number 13. James Williamson, 14. Ninety seconds down, 8.40 left to go.
All right, you're right at two minutes down, eight minutes left to go, two minutes down, eight minutes to go. Bryce Beaver, Donald Elliott, Chuck Berg, one, two, and three as Bryce now moves back up in that top spot. Bryce took the win in A main number one. He's looking to wrap it up here in A main number two. Again, guys, we'll do all of our podium picks for the electric classes after race 45. Bryce Beaver, Chuck Berg, one and two with Donald Elliott right All righty, everybody, I am back. What a great race we just witnessed. History being made. Oh, my goodness. I am pumped. I have been, I mean, I've been up since 5.30, but that really, oh, man, all worth it. All worth it. That was my coffee. That was my coffee. All right, Bryce Beaver out front, followed by Chuck Berg. We'll have a talk about that here in a second. Seven minutes and 20 seconds left to go in this race. And we finish like this, Bryce Beaver will take the win. Chuck Berg will finish second. What do you guys think about that finish for B-Rez? We've been talking about it a lot on the podcast, how we think he can uh, be that next guy to have that breakout win. And here he does his first race. And not only a breakout win, an absolutely dominating win. And I have to give a good shout-out to Mason Fuller in third. First race out on his new platform. Didn't even break the cars until Friday. Great showing for the s -Rex team here. I know Tim Lime and all the s -Rex guys over there in Europe are super pumped. Brent Densford pumped about that as well. Shout out to all our S-Works friends over there. Max, John, uh, JC3, Elliot Boots, uh, my good friends Mika, and of course, Jorn Newman, all the S-Works drivers over there in Europe. Great race for you guys. Big win for S-Works here, and congratulations. Bryce Beaver out front right now. That's who we're following. And this 40-plus E-Buggy, Chuck Berg right behind him. Chuck Berg one second back. Chuck looking to go two for two here. He needs to get a win here over Bryce Beaver to make that happen. Mark Moon in third. Overall, Don Elliott now in third. Brian Looper, Brad Nimelnik in fifth. Mark Morrow, Mark Moon, your top seven. Ever Lobos in eighth. Jason Spitzman in ninth. Josh Dill, tenth. Tony Roney, eleventh. In twelfth, Randy Anger, Mike Lopes, and James Williamson. No star for Carlos Sigi, Randy Cart, or Brian Bingle. What a great race that was. Man, I am still, still buzz. Still buzz. All righty, guys. We have four more races to go. 40 minutes of racing left to go. All righty, then. We are on board with Don Elliott in that Agama N1. Got in front of Chuck Berg. Don Elliott wants to put his head down and chase down that leader. Oh, and just as I say that, he gets it wrong. I, when I tell you that this track is rough, I went for a walk out to the bathroom, and you can, the, the camera does not do it justice. So kudos to all the drivers out here, braving the conditions, braving the rough conditions. Not as cold as it was last year. Temperatures are dropping, but it is definitely a very difficult track. And I want to thank all of them for all their support. Thank you guys out in the chat who's been watching all day. We only 247 likes, though. We got to bump up that, that, uh, that like count, I would say. Don Elliott takes the lead. Don Elliott out front in that Agama N1. If it finishes like this right now, though, Don Elliott will early finish, early finish second because he will have to have a 17-lap run like Bryce did. Yep. All I know is our, the Elite RC, the Elite RC Productions crew are super pumped about this. We're tired. We're ready for a good meal. But uh, we have 40 more minutes left to go in this race to bring to you guys. And we got to pack all this stuff up. Hopefully we do that tomorrow. Don Elliott, currently out front, needs to click off some fast laps. He's got Colin, Be Colin Beaver, I mean Bryce Beaver right behind him. Colin is the son of Bryce. Chuck Berg right behind them. We got 40, we got electric e-buggy up, sportsman e-buggy, intermediate e-buggy, and pro e-buggy left to go. And then we'll be done for the day. Looking to be done here about in an hour's time. So good prediction by Lance to be done by 7.30. We went late last night till about 12, 15, 12, 20. 
And now we will get out of her early. Don Elliott going single, single, double. Single, single, double. Safe line through there. Don Elliott will finish second if he finishes, wins this race. But Bryce Beaver will take that win because he has a one and a two. All righty then, two minutes and 46 seconds left to go in this race. Got another, about, about another hour's worth of racing here. All right, so I think we're doing all the podiums completely after the, the final, after the last final. I'm not sure about that. We'll find out after this race in 2 minutes and 15 seconds. But we are currently following Don Elliott in that pink, purple, and white Agama N1E. Now Chuck Burke seems to be out. Not sure what's going on. His car is counting, but it looks like he had a problem. Mark Moon up into that third spot. If it finishes like this, Chuck will finish third overall. All right. So Chuck having a long lap. I'm not sure what happened. Maybe he, he missed some missed the loop or something happened. We have a one minute and seven, one seventeen lap for Chuck. So a long, long line. RD will have to look into that. He'll fix it. But right now, Don Elliott out front, followed by Bryce Beaver. Ever Lobos now up at that third spot. Don Elliott firing down the straightaway there in that Agama N1. Don Elliott was racing with us last weekend. This man is a race car driver. He, if there's a race going on anywhere in the Southeast, you bet your boots Don Elliott is going to be there on any given weekend. He is a die hard. He is definition of die hard. Forty seconds left to go in this race. Ooh, who got that big wrong? That was Mark. Was that Mark Moon? Might have been. He just slammed it into the pipe just now. Oh man, I'm. Oh, I'm gonna have to talk about that B Rose being here after that because that was impressive. Impressive work by the s -Rex cars, man. Mason Fuller in third. But we're looking at Don Elliott on his last lap. And he'll take this A2 win, which will be good enough for a second overall over Bryce Beaver. If it finishes like this, Chuck Berg will finish third. Not bad. Chuck goes home with two podiums here. Mark Moon will be in fourth, and Ever will finish fifth overall. And there we go. That race is over. And Don Elliott going to take the win. But not going to be enough to pip Bryce Beaver, who finishes with a 1 and a 2, Chuck with a 2 and a 13. But that 1 was a 17, 10, 22. So Bryce is going to win it on time overall anyway. Absolutely. RC Drivers type hardcore racer in on the internet, and Don Elliott's photo comes up. Absolutely. There's Don Elliott taking that win, going to finish second overall. All righty, so no podiums. We're going to do all the podiums directly after the final. Next up is our A2 of E Truggy. All righty. So we're going to have some word from our sponsors. We hope you guys are enjoying the live broadcast of the 2024 Southern Indoor Championship, and we want to thank all of our sponsors for helping us make that happen. Huge shout out to all of our 2024 race time sponsors, including Absolute Hobbies, J Concepts, Techno RC, Reds Racing, Team Losi Racing, VP Racing Fuels, BeachRC.com, aka Nitro Pro, ProTech RC, Trinity, S Works, Lugs Racing Tires, TNR Fuels, HB Racing, a main hobbies and on point graphics.
All right, we're getting ready for our A2 of E Truggy. I'm still pumped up on that win by B Rose, though. Absolutely amazing. And uh, hopefully we can see something. I mean, not that I don't want to see these guys win, but hopefully we can see something different in E, e Buggy as well. And uh, good job to B Rose. That win been coming a long time, and he finally got it. As we're getting ready for this A2 of Electric Truggy. Yes, absolutely. Great job, S-Works. Nice and full in third, too. Tyler Jones, too, for top five. That's good as well. But let's get back to this E-Buggy racing right here. Little bump. Up next, Pro E-Buggy. A2. Then it would be Sportsman and then Intermediate last. Oh! And there is Little Bump just casing that double. Hunter King getting out front. Hunter King coming by with a 33-2. Four tenths of a second in front of Little Bump. Ooh, King getting it big wrong. Alrighty, back, little bump, back, back out front with Hunter King chasing him down as they come down the straightaway. He goes. Little bump taking that win in the first race. Oh, Hunter King going very wide. Oh, he gets caught. He gets caught in that bump. We've seen a few guys. No, go ahead. Go. Alrighty. Hunter King getting it wrong, and he's going to drop back, way back. He's going to be, there's Michael Rinky, Wyatt Lawson. Peyton Puckett all oh, getting by. Nope, just Michael Rinky getting by. Looks like. Nope, there's Peyton Puckett in front of him as well. Little bump out front. He has a 5.4 second lead over Michael Rinky. Hunter King in third. Wyatt Lawson in fourth. Peyton Puckett in five. Brandon Combo, Aiden Ridgeway. Jeff Stafford, Brian Looper, Mike Lopes, Sean Salter, J.J. Truix, Roland Compton, Eric Hanneman, Dave Taylor. No star from Orion Green or Jared Goodwin. There's Hunter King chasing down Michael Rick. He wants to get by him and chase down a little bump. He's got seven minutes to go to make up and catch up to Little Bump. There's Hunter King currently in third. That purple and yellow e truggy Mikey Rink, Michael Rinky in that red and yellow, red and white one. Oh, Hunter King gets by. Somebody hollering on top of the driver's stand. Don't know what it was. And they were loud. Hunter King. Trying to shake Mike Rinky and, and chase down. Look how fast that e truck is. It is absolutely flying. Little bump now, 8.8 .8 seconds in front of Hunter King. Michael Rinky behind them. Wyatt Lawson behind them. All righty then. We are on tap with Hunter King in that yellow and purple e truggy. He is in a gaggle of lap traffic. Oh, and he threads the needle. Great driver by Hunter King. That's going to be a good lap. 
Electric E A2 E Electric Truggy A2 main up. Four minutes and 30 seconds down. Five minutes and 30 seconds left to go in this race. It's Hunter King trying to put his head down and catch up to Bump, but that's a big deficit to overcome. Bump just threw down a 32-8 fastest lap of the race for him so far. And Hunter King trying to catch him up, shaking Mike Rinke's tail, and now got some clean air in front of him. Hunter trying to mount the charge at Chase Line. Little Bump, Little Bump throws down a 33-6. A 33 flat for Hunter, his fast lap, but still a few tenths off that fast lap. A couple tenths off Little Bump's fast lap. Little bump, 11 seconds to the, to the front of Hunter King. Michael Rinky, Wyatt Lawson, Peyton Puckett, Brandon Campbell, Sean Salter in seventh, Mike Lopes in eighth, Roland Compton in ninth, Jeff Stanford in tenth, Eric Hanneman in 11th, and J.J. Churix in 12th, Dave Taylor and Brian Looper rounding out your top 14. Aiden Ridgeway out early. There is Little Bump flying, but that was a slow lap for him. But that truck is flying down the straight away. Little Bump going to be your e truggy champion here. Gonna make, if it finishes like this, it's going to go one and one. Even if it does fin don't finish like this, I still think he'll take it in one. E oh, he gets it wrong going up over the dragon back. That section is deadly. I haven't seen so many pros or top drivers make as many mistakes as, as I've seen them in that section in a lot of races. Absolutely pro e-buggy up next, A2. All right, we are watching Hunter King. He was trying to mount a challenge, but unfortunately, it's a little bit too much of a deficit. He is uh, trying to chase down Little Bump, but Little Bump absolutely flying in his Z buggy. So is Hunter, actually. He's got a 5.1 second lead over Michael Rinky. Uh, lap traffic. Lap traffic been causing a lot of problems there for everybody in every class this weekend. Did he? Little Bump had a crash off camera. Is that going to... But Hunter King also had a crash. If a 38-4... Alrighty, so almost done for today. Two, uh, we got three more races to go after this. Up next, your Pro Electric Buggy A2. They will do uh, blow the track before these drivers go out there. Then after that,
All right, little bump, 28 seconds. This is going to be his last lap. That was a 34-0 for him just not that time by. Oh, wow. I thought he almost broke his truck just now. He hit pretty hard just now. All right, so Little Bump going to go one and one take this overall win. And Hunter King going to finish second overall. Michael Rinke, Peyton Puckett, and Wyatt Lawson. Your top five here. And going to be your top five overall. Anna Ridgeway going to scratch out a six. There is Jeff Stanford. All righty then. Little Bump taking your E-Truggy win. We hope you guys are enjoying the live broadcast of the 2024 Southern Indoor Championship, and we want to thank all of our sponsors for helping us make that happen. We hope you guys are enjoying the live broadcast of the 2024 Southern Indoor Championship, and we want to thank all of our sponsors for helping us make that happen.
All right, everybody. Are you ready for the final pro main of the night of the of this event? Let's have a look at our driver stand up there. All righty then, let's get that overlaid on. Let's have a look up on our driver stand. We got Lee Setzer, Ryan Mayfield, Dakota Fan, Brandon Rose, Joe Bornos, Ryan Lutz, Jonah Wilson, Fai Long Win, Little Bump, Joey Bernon, Cole Caston, Tyler Jones, Spencer Hackett, Jarrett Riggins, Mason Fuller, K. Burnett. No check in from Camden Line. Not sure what's happening there. Okay, Ryan Lutz going to be filming this on his GoPro. Dakota Fan 1A1, John Smith. Why don't we start as they are off? Lee Sets are taking TQ of this class. There you can see that big divot causing a whole bunch of problems for these guys going up that step up. Lee coming down that washboard side. Not splitting it right down the middle. There's Ryan Mayfield right behind him. Oh, man. Mayfield not trying to play any games right now. Nurse needs to get in front. Win and win by a very good time. Mayfield absolutely flying. He pulled Lee right down that straightaway. That thing's got some horsepower in it. Hobby wing power for Mayfield. You see Dakota fan Brandon Rose right behind him. All right, so Mayfield going up through that Dragon's back. These guys able to make it through. Thank you, RC Attic, for the 499. We greatly appreciate it, man. Hope to see you at the next one. Thank you for that super chat. We got two more races left to go, podiums, and then it's Mexican food time. You should be out of her about 8 o'clock. All righty then. That's Ryan Lutz with the GoPro on his car. Currently, I want to say in third. So GoPro and all, Ryan Lutz in third. Brandon Rose in fourth. Dakota Fan in fifth. Mayfield, if it finishes like this, he will take the overall. Dakota Fenn needs to make some time up there. Dakota Fenn gets by Lutz. There we are. B Rose currently being scored in third now. Second. B Rose is in second. Oh, wouldn't this be something that B Rose gets up and takes a win in A1, A2? B Rose coming across the line. He is now in second, 2.6 seconds back of Ryan Mayfield. The cutoff end pushing hard. Lee sets are right behind him. Ryan Lutz with that GoPro on top of his car. Let's stay on Brandon Rose. He's absolutely flying right now. Ain't no rules about that, her. Ain't no tech, ain't no rules. This isn't the Nationals. Actually, it's a disadvantage. Thank you, RC Car Addict. You are awesome. Oh, B Rose getting turned around and defend, nailing him. And turning him on his lid. Dakota Fenn knows he needs to get up and challenge Mayfield. Oh, oh no. That's not Mayfield. That was Camden Lime. Calm down, Danny. That wasn't Mayfield. Mayfield is flying right now. 32-8 for him. Uh, Dakota Fenn coming across the line. He's 4.4 uh, seconds back. But you did, Kyle Herman, and I thank you. <laughs> uh, 
All right, so Ryan Mayfield, if it finishes like this, Mayfield will take that overall, though. Mayfield absolutely flying. Looking to take a win here for himself and his team, Techno. Yeah, but Don didn't uh, take the overall. He just won that race. So it's two races. He didn't take the overall. He ended up finishing second, I believe. Rifkin isn't here. He is in California, in Paris, doing some testing. Awesome, dude. I appreciate the support. Why are we following Lutz? Lutz is in third. Let's get back on Ryan Mayfield. He's put him on a clinic right now, an e-buggy clinic in that white techno. Absolutely flying right now. That car is looking money at the moment. We're almost halfway through this, through this race. Oh, he is flying with this techno e-buggy. Man, look at him. He is in the zone. Like, he is putting on a proper clinic right now. As we just sit back and watch the poetry that is Ryan Mayfield driving an e-buggy around this blown out SIC track. He is absolutely flying and making it look easy. Getting the power to the ground. There's Cade Burnett getting it wrong. And Mayfield coming by. That's going to be a 33-1 for Mayfield. That has to go a little bit wide. Four minutes and 30 seconds left in this race. It's Ryan Mayfield, Dakota Fenn. Little bump. Ryan Lutz, Joe Bornhaus, Lee Setzer, Tyler Jones, Jonah Wilson, Brandon Ruiz, Spencer Hackett, Joey Bernon, Jarrett Wiggins, Mason Fuller, Cade Burnett, Cade Fuller, Cole Caston, and Camden Lyon. What's up, Ryan Foyt? See you guys at Dean's next weekend as well. Thank you. We appreciate it. Ryan Mayfield, a 32-4. He has a fast lap of a 32-3. As he comes up over that double one more time. Over this big double. Mayfield absolutely glued to the track. And 100% control of his e-buggy. And just driving. Just Looks like he's just having fun out there. And if he finishes like this, he's going to have a 19-10-21. Wow. The cut a fan on a 19-10-27 pace. Little bump on a 18-10-07. Yeah, Kayed had a good weekend this weekend as well. She had some good, uh, good mature driving in his bump ups. I would agree with you there, Carl Hermans. Rifkin is at the dirt practicing. DNC is the race. That's how that the dirt. 32 flat for Mayfield. Wow. He is absolutely ripping. Two minutes and 45 seconds left to go in this race. Mayfield looking to take a win here from this SIC for himself and Techno. Did take a TQ in Truggy. Wasn't able to turn that into a win, unfortunately. But going to take a second uh, number two starting position from E-Buggy. And barring any disaster... With two minutes and 23 seconds, looking to take a win home for himself and Techno in 2024. So it's going to be Ryan Mayfield, Dakota Fenn, Little Bump, Ryan Lutz, Joe Bornos, Lee Setzer, our TQ, -er. TQ driver currently in sixth, Tyler Jones in seventh, Mason Fuller in eighth. Joey Bradon, Brandon Rur, Spencer Heckett, Jonah Wilson, Cole Caston, Caden Fuller. That too, Lanny Langford at the end of the at the end of the race. At the end of the month. They have the A Main Challenge there as well. But All right, so Mayfield comes by for 32-6 that time by. Absolutely ripping and gripping with that techno e-buggy 
Just over a minute left to go in this race, and Mayfield turned on a statement saying, all right, guys, we know we had some surprises here this weekend. Dakota Fenn taking a win in Truggy. That's not, that's not a surprise. These guys have been battling it out for the last two and a half years. Brandon Rose taking that win in Nitro Buggy. I wouldn't say it was a surprise, but it's a, it was definitely a long time coming. And Mayfield going to take him a win here if it stays like this. He's going to get two more laps. Oh. Mayfield taking that wide line through the dragon's back. Almost like almost looks like he's touching the wall as he goes back through, goes through there. No more nitro tonight, Matt Nelson. We're gonna finish it off as sportsman e-buggy and intermediate e-buggy and then the podiums. All right, last lap for Mayfield, and he has put on a dominating performance here in e truggy that techno car looks absolutely amazing, glued to the track, doing everything that he wants to do. Great driving by Ryan Mayfield. Gonna take the overall win with this first. Well done, Ryan Mayfield and Techno RC taking the win in Pro E Buggy. That was a great drive. Followed by Dakota Fenn, Little Bump, Tyler Jones up to fourth. Joe Borner's gonna take a fifth place away with that. Great run for him. Ryan Lutz. Lee Setzer, Mason Fuller, Joey Bredon, Spencer Hackett, Brandon Rose and 11, Jonah Wilson, Cole Caston, Caden Fuller, Kate, Kate Burnett, and I can't tell because my scoring went down before that. That was a blessing. That was an absolute e-buggy clinic put on by Ryan Mayfield. That was exceptional. Very well done. Congratulations, Ryan Mayfield and Techno on that win. That was exceptional. Jay Concepts. Seep in the pro class, here. no surprise. They do that almost every year here at the uh, indoor races. We hope you guys are enjoying the live broadcast here at the 2024 Southern Indoor Championship. We hope you are enjoying the live broadcast of the 2024 Southern Indoor Championship. But don't forget, the granddaddy of them all is coming up in April, the Psycho Nitro Blast. And we hope to see you guys there. Am I good to go, Danny Paz? <laughs> All right, everybody. Uh, before we get started with this Sportsman Electric Buggy, we have Paul Wynn representing Jay Concepts here in the house to have a little chat with us. Congratulations, Paul. Jay Concepts sweeping the pro class for this weekend. Yeah, it was a great weekend. Um, debuted a few new things, a couple new drivers, and uh, yeah, couldn't ask for a better event. Absolutely. Uh, very impressive of uh, Brandon Rose taking a win. First time out on the Jay Concepts tires. I know that's, he's super pumped about that. Uh, as we get started here for our Sportsman Electric uh, A final. Uh, but tell us a little bit about these two new tires. We have the Falcon and the uh, Dirt Bike that Dirt came bike, up, yes. right? So tell us a little bit about the development of these tires and where it came from and uh, where you guys used them a lot this weekend. Uh, they was off and on. We uh, started out with those on the um, wet, you know, green track. Mm -hmm. And um, 
the old faithful reflexes seemed to be the way to go. So we stuck with that until um, the track started to get rough, uh, dusty, and the dirt bite and um, Falcon was just the perfect tire once it, it got to like this. The, the tire was designed for like a West Coast style track. Okay. Really like DNCs like Paris, um, the Proline track, the, you know, Anthony Westergaard's, his layouts are just awesome, but mm -hmm. you know, they, they get a little rough and uh, we needed something to, to compete with some of the tires over there. Okay. And uh, so, yeah, we, we did the Falcon and um, yeah, it's been amazing so far. All right. So we have the dust, the dirt bite as well and the Falcon. What would be the conditions you suggest in using both of them, or the, either of them? So the Dirt Bite is um, a tire that the pins are a little smaller, but mm -hmm. very similar to Reflex, and there's just more of them. Mm -hmm. And that's more for like a uh, groove track, you know, where you're gonna run like a little bit harder compound. So like, you know, blues, aquas, stuff like that. And we actually ran it for the first time at the Nationals, or War Nationals okay. in Chico. And Dakota TQ'd the race on that with um, our A2 compound. Okay. And it worked really well. And then for the main, we went to a little bit different tire. Mm -hmm. uh, he really likes like the rehab, relapse style tires. So that's what he went with. All right. And um, yeah, it's just been just a great addition to our, our product line. Okay. And what about that Falcon? Where would you use that to? So like I said, the Falcon is designed for the um, West Coast style tracks. Okay. You did say that. Yep. I do apologize. And so yeah, it's, it's going to be something that you want to run on those really rough, rugged tracks with a lot of loose soil mm -hmm. on top. And we brought it out here for the main because the track just really um, got rough and sandy and just, it was just a mess. The, the jumps are are, uh, I, well, I guess we call it character, right? Yes. <laughs> so we um, put them on for the main, and uh, they were just amazing. So the top four guys on the podium ran the Falcons, mm -hmm. and Tyler Jones was fifth with the Reflex. Okay, awesome, awesome. Good stuff, good stuff. All right, so Jay Contest also always been a big supporter of the race time events here. Uh, you, you guys, tires always seem to do well here at all four events that we have going on. Obviously, we have PMB up next, Wicked Weekend, and AMS. Uh, what is it where, if it, you know, and obviously in the Southeast, like Jay Concepts is pretty much king. Uh, we're off to the Florida RC Championships next weekend. I know that's going to be a big race as well. Lots of people on Jay Concepts tires. You guys are the number one tire brand uh, in the world at the moment. And um, I, I, heard, I heard some things about going on over in Europe. I didn't know we can't talk about <laughs> that too much. I think that's going to come out here soon. But what goes into developing these tires you have a huge team you have a lot of people running these tires they just seem to work everywhere here in america you know it's it goes back to you know jason rona mm -hmm. uh, myself we just have such a passion mm -hmm. for racing um the way that it was in the golden years when you know you had all these teams competing against each other and you know you didn't like each other you, mm -hmm. you know uh, i think we need some rivalry stuff I agree. And, and uh yeah i mean you've just said that many times mm -hmm. and you know that we need you know these drivers you know having rivalries and so we just have this passion and we just want to keep pushing uh, the envelope and, and give the choices um, race time events are just amazing guys mm -hmm. love the events um, so we try to have tires that can cope with just about any surface uh, like you said you know some exciting things might be happening in Europe so that's you know our next goal is to, to get to get our tires going in the European market and and you know harder compounds and things that uh you know have that extra support for their multi surfaces absolutely and, yeah absolutely and their tracks are all you know most of them are permanent mm -hmm. and so you can really you know test and tune and get dialed in for those type of surfaces mm -hmm. so i think that's going to be exciting because yes. here in the states you know we're always changing you know the track conditions are always different and, and you have to find something to work on every condition and over there it's a little more um you know, consistent, I guess you could say, and that's going to be, you know, fun. All right. I guess uh, the next big race for race time for you guys will be at PMB. Yes. We're looking forward to that. That's coming up uh, April 5th to 7th in uh, White Pine, Tennessee. Now, if a big, if a track like PMB, it gets a little bit different from here. Uh, it doesn't seem to groove up like this as much. Correct. It's a lot bigger. It doesn't get as rough as this. Uh, what, how do you guys go in and attack a, a track like PMB tire-wise? Well, for us, it's been pretty consistent. We've just stuck with reflexes for mm -hmm. the most part. Uh, Stalkers was always a good tire for us at that event. And it seems that the track is starting to get a little more like this one, not quite as mm -hmm. high bite. So it'll be interesting to see what the, the new tires do on that. But we'll 
I think the Old Faithful Reflex is going to be, you know, the go-to tire uh, for us at that event. Absolutely. And um, I just want to touch on some of the other things that J-Concepts does because it's not just about racing for you guys. Oh, you have the monster truck stuff that Jason's really big into. I've been geeking out on that. Sure. I know Tyler Jones is at the Chili Bowl this weekend as well. Got his first win. Did he? He won the Outlaw Sprint. I mean, that's, oh. that's like the worlds for for sprint car yes. rc or like a dnc mm -hmm. so shout out to tyler hooks for uh getting out there with just a little conversion kit associated velocity car um against some of those high dollar cars and you know put it together and that was that That's was awesome good. very good 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 stuff yeah. good stuff always cj concepts on the lead and edge of things uh last time i saw you i know you come from the onward world as well so you had the 12 scale worlds uh, about a month ago sure uh, talking to some of those guys, my first experience in something like that, I, I absolutely loved it. I was geeking out on it. That car was so fast. I'm looking forward to doing some more onward stuff in the future. But um, uh, tell, I know we're kind of we're talking about an off-road race, but tell us a little bit about your history back in with onward and all that stuff. Yeah, I mean, it's when I started racing, it was late '80s, uh, early '90s, and you raced everything back then. You know, there wasn't anybody that was really specializing mm. in one thing. You just there wasn't a whole lot of big races, so you just ran any anything you could. So okay. I raced dirt oval, I raced off road, I raced on road, and I really took a liking to the on road. Uh, I did really well. I was on the the uh, travel team with Team Associated in the '90s, and um, you know ran on, running pan cars. So um, yeah, it was a lot of fun. And then of course touring car kind of took over. Mm -hmm. So um, I had a you know I got one national title uh, with the touring cars. Uh, became team manager with Schumacher and kind of took a step back and you know took care of the team and, and that was a lot of fun Absolutely. Um, yeah, I you know I even did some nitro on road. Oh, yeah, which that's that's probably my favorite class All right, yeah, nitro 200 good. millimeter sedan is man. It's so they, fun if they ever get a chance to drive one You, you need to it's well, uh, they have the world championships coming up in Costa Rica this right. year And uh, I think we'll be going there. So we're looking forward to yeah, that. Yeah, You'll really enjoy that. Yes, absolutely all right, so I guess before I'm going to let you get out of here, uh, can you tell us about anything new that we can, ex can we expect some things new coming out from J Concepts in the next couple of months and in the next in the first half of this year? Um, there will be. I mean, we have a lot of things in the works. Uh, always working on new stuff. Mm -hmm. I think you're going to see some some more th new tires that hopefully are geared towards the European market. Okay. So I think that'll be exciting. Um, there's some really cool stuff with the monster trucks. Awesome. Uh, that's in the works that um, I think is going to blow people away. Okay. And um, the crawler market has just been you huge, know, huge, huge. And uh, yeah, we're really working hard with the crawler stuff and, okay. and trying to keep the scale look, but also have some competition level stuff too, because you know they they get pretty serious oh, yeah. with their oh, stuff yeah. and. The tires always always working on new crawler tires and so yeah a lot of cool things all right awesome uh when can we expect to see the dirt bites and falcons available to general public they were actually released this week okay so they started shipping from the warehouse uh, a couple of the the uh shops here mm -hmm. had them so uh they that went well and so yeah it's uh it's out this week and i would say the distributors should have them um next week so uh you know a main um, Horizon, HRP. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Well, good stuff, man. Well, congratulations on your guys taking the sweeper at uh, the first big race, one eight scale race here. I know they had a big good show in at uh, Hooser last weekend as well. But congratulations to Dakota Fan, Ryan Mayfield, and uh, Brandon Rose as well. At least that's also doing pretty well, taking that TQ yeah. as well. And uh, Tyler Jones also doing well in. Um, yeah, with the and new Nitro Sparko buggy, car. And that Sparko car. So lots of big things going on here in this sure. first big 1-8 scale race. Awesome to see. We're excited to see what the future holds. And uh, we thank you, uh, Jay Concepts. And Jason Rona, I know his uh, home is not feeling too well. Uh, we thank all those guys for all the support. Jay Concepts is always sponsoring these, these different races. They're a big force in the industry. And uh, we look forward to what you guys have new coming out. And thank you all for all your support here at Race Time. Yeah, thanks for having us. Uh, we really appreciate what uh, you guys are doing, Elite productions with uh, Lance and yourself and Danny um, the race time events just you know giving us a place to race especially in these crazy weather mm -hmm. uh, times so yeah we, we really appreciate it and look forward to the next one awesome man we'll Thank see you. you next week good job what's <laughs> up yeah next yeah. week in Orlando yeah all right so that's Paul Wynn representing Jay Concepts want to thank you for his time as we're wrapping up this sportsman e-buggy win it's going to be Josh Fine who's going to end up taking the overall thank you Paul and yep. good luck at intermediate too I know you got some guys in there yep thank you all right all righty. Thank you. 
All righty. Oh, no, Orion Green. Josh Fine going to lose it. Oh, my goodness. So Orion Green going to take the overall. He has a one and a three. Josh Fine going to lose it at the last, in the last lap by six tenths of a second. No, more than that, just over a second. One, almost 1.5 seconds. Wow. All righty. All righty, guys. Talk about in the chat. Last race of the night. Well done to Orion Green taking that win overall. And this is our last race of the night. And then we all do have our podiums. Dalton Balboa taking the win in uh, round one, followed by Patrick Rossiter, Michael Rinke, Wade Piggott, and Peyton Puckett, your top five. All right, Danny. Uh, last race of the night for everybody here. Getting out of her. Yes, I am ready for some Mexican food. And some sleep. Rest. <laughs> we want to thank uh, everybody for tuning in all weekend. We greatly appreciate the support. Everybody out there who's been keeping us entertained in the chat. We hope you guys have been enjoying the coverage. Brought to you by the Elite RC production team. We want to thank us. A big thank you to Dave like on the race time crew. And to race, time, race, race time entertainment crew for having us here. Jacob uh, he has been working very hard to make sure all the media is done right and everything's going good. Bobby did a great job here uh, at the at the track build and running the race. Well done to everybody here. Everything ran very smoothly. Thank you to all the racers that came out and raced with us. 521 inches, 238 bodies here. It was an absolute great weekend of racing. What's up, Ashton? How you doing? He says, I've been watching this. What's up, Lefty? I've been watching you this all day. Not sure if you remember me, but I'm Ashton Webb. Have to see your picture, man. I already know you by face. I meet a lot of people, but I apologize if I don't remember your name or remember your face. But I'll go look you up on Facebook and have a look. Uh, Dynasty, not sure what race you're watching. Yeah, you must be watching that. Truggy man. Nope. No other prayer signed up for it. D70 Racing, great job, man. Thank you. We appreciate it. We greatly appreciate it. But it's a team effort. <laughs> our, Cameron said, our Cameron says, this is perfect timing because his little portable heater is about to run out of gas. My heater ran out of gas like some hour this morning. All right. <laughs> All right. Peyton Pocket, Dalton Mabo, Michael Ricky Jackson, Anderson, Peyton. Patrick Rossiter, Trent Walker, no check from Garrett Martin, Wyatt Lawson, Mike Legee, Wade Pickett, Colin Beaver, Ryan Daze, no check from Cody Ingram, Aiden Ridgeway, Emerson Sturgeon, Jake Stalsick, and Benny Comarion. <laughs> Last race of the night. And they're off. All right, Peyton Puckett. Who, who, who was that? That was bad, whoever that was. I don't know who that was, but they got it big wrong. Peyton Puckett didn't get it wrong. Neither did Dalton Balboa. Dalton looking to wrap this up with a win himself. Peyton looking to have something to say about that. Peyton had a five, but still, he needs Dalton to have a very bad race. If he wants to take that overall win, he needs to have a very good pace on. We are on tap with Peyton Puckett and that yellow and orange black winged car. It's Peyton Puckett from the Balboa. Trent Walker up to third. Well done, Trent. Trent Jackson Anderson, Wyatt Lawson. Peyton getting it wrong. That's going to allow Dalton to pull up next to him. Let's see if Trent can get in the, Trent can get in the mix as well. 
Trent looks like he made a little bit of a mistake and going to drop back a couple of positions. All righty then. All right, so let's see as they come by. We are following. Not sure who that is. I think that's actually Jackson Anderson who got in front of Peyton Puckett, but I think Dalton's in front of him. I can't see. I think that's Dalton. No, oh, there's Dalton and Peyton Puckett. We are following, actually, car number three. Behind him is Wyatt Lawson getting those colors mixed up. Jackson Anderson out to the front, out to third place. Wyatt Lawson in fourth. If it finishes like this, Peyton Puckett will finish overall the winner. And we are on board with Peyton Puckett and Dalton. Balboa duking it out. Balboa looking to take a win as well. He took A1 win. Peyton right now looking to beat that time. That's what he's got to do if he wants to take a win here. Or he needs Dalton to finish fifth or, or, or worse, I believe. Ooh, these guys are dicing it up. It's Peyton Puckett, Dalton Baboa, Wyatt Lawson, Jackson Anderson, Patrick Ross it up to that top five. Michael Rinke, Aiden Ridgeway, Trent Walker, Colin Beaver, Mike Legee, your top ten. Seven minutes into... Oh, Peyton getting it wrong. That's going to allow for Dalton to get by. Peyton Puckett flying down that straightaway. Oh, no, Emerson coming out to get his car. Unfortunate for Emerson. Braking. We are on board with that techno from Wisconsin. Dalton Balboa. No relation to Rocky. But swinging like Rocky now. All righty then, Trent Walker now up to that sixth spot behind his Rockstar Hobbies teammate Patrick Rossiter. Jackson Anderson in fourth, Wyatt Lawson in third, Peyton Puckett in second. Balboa out front, he's got a 1.3 second lead over Peyton Puckett. Peyton Puckett needs to get by him and click off some fast laps. Balboa getting it wrong, going for that single, single. And that's going to allow Peyton Puckett to, oh, Peyton having a look on the inside, getting on those brakes. Slamming those brakes and not getting into Dalton. Smart move by Peyton. Not taking them both out. All righty then. So Peyton losing a little bit of ground to Dalton. While wow, Peyton just hammering his way through that rut just now. That car was getting all type of discombobulated as he came out of there. Dalton Balboa currently in first. Oh, 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 Peyton. Oh, no. Peyton just running it over on the pipe and all that hard work going to be negated. As he chases him down, it's going to be Balboa, Puckett, Anderson, White, Lawson, Patrick Rossiter in fifth, Ridgeway up to sixth, Colin Beaver in seventh, Trent Walker in eighth, Benny Camaro in ninth, and Michael Rinky in tenth. So Peyton Puckett losing a little bit of ground to Dalton as we get to that halfway mark of this race. Peyton going to have to put his head down, get by Dalton, and really hammer out some fast laps. If he wants to take this overall right now, Dalton Balboa will be in front. Peyton Puckett second. Patrick Russell the third. Michael Rinke in fourth. And Jason Jackson Anderson in fifth overall. If it finishes like this. Uh-oh. Not going to do it that way, though, Peyton. Got to drive a little bit cleaner than that, but I know you got to push it. And now he's going to be in some lap traffic, a plethora of it. But so is Dalton Balboa. And Dalton and Peyton are back together again as they make it. Peyton making a power move through the back. Dragon's back. He sees victory in his, in his sights. That lap traffic, been doing what he's doing all day, getting in the way of our leaders. 
Dalton Balboa, Peyton, oh, Peyton getting it big wrong at the end of that straightaway. That's going to cost him a plethora of time. That's Mike Leggy, who's currently down in 13th. Oh, so all that hard work, Peyton going to throw it all away. And Dalton Balboa stretches that lead out quite impressively. And Z Balboa making his way through the Dragon's back. And Peyton just coming onto that washboard. Uh-oh, yep, it's all over for Peyton. That's it. Three minutes and 32 seconds left to go. Peyton Puckett throws that away. Wyatt Lawson might even get by him now. Let's see, Dalton Balboa out there flying. We're following Dalton Balboa. Peyton Puckett gonna have a long, long lap there. Ooh, a 37, a 45-7. That's gonna drop him down to fourth. Jackson Anderson now up to second, followed by Wyatt Lawson. They're actually in a big battle for that second spot. Aiden Ridgeway getting by Patrick Rossino for fifth. Trent Walker now behind his Rockstar Hobbies teammate in seventh. Michael Rinke in eighth. Colin Beaver, Benny Comarion in tenth. Wait, tenth. Wait, Pickett in eleventh. We got two minutes and fifty-one seconds left to go in this race. Let's pick up on car. Our second place driver, Jackson Anderson and Wyatt Lawson, if we can. All right, and we are on tap with Jackson Anderson and Wyatt Lawson. Peyton Puckett right behind these guys. Lawson in that yellow winged, blue and orange. And Jackson Anderson, that white wing car. Peyton getting it wrong again, going up to the big double. Balboa loving this. He's got a 10.5 second lead over all these guys. Two minutes left in this race. And Dalton Balboa out to a giant lead. Aiden Ridgeway still holding off Patrick Rossiter for that top five. Patrick Rossett, if it finishes like this, will finish second overall, followed by Jackson Anderson, Michael Rinke, Wyatt Lawson. All right, Kyle, see you, well, see you later, bud. Thank you for all the support. Have a good Sunday. What's up, Roach RC? Thank, thank you for purchasing that shirt from me. I greatly appreciate it. We are currently watching that battle for second. Wyatt Lawson going big. Wow, Jackson Anderson flip-flopping in the infield. <laughs> Gary Dahlim, Dahlim cheering on Jackson. Jackson looking to finish strong. If he finishes like this, he'll finish third overall. That lead between him and Dalton now, 6.8 seconds with 52 seconds left to go in this race. 5.6 seconds now. So Dalton committing some errors. But running out of time, we got about two laps left to go in this race. Let's find our leader when we can. There's Dalton. Oh, he That's why he is trapped in some traffic right now. Going through that dragon's back. He had to weave his way through that traffic. He's coming up on Mike Legee in that green and yellow car. Balboa. With a 37-2. Still 5.7 seconds in front of Jackson Anderson. Wyatt Lawson in third. Patrick Rossida currently scored in sixth. Aiden Ridgeway making his move up to fourth. Good run for Aiden Ridgeway. Dalton Balboa looking to take the win. If he can make it through this Dragon's Back and around the Nuke Town Valley one more time, he will take that overall win. Jackson Anderson, not too far back. Balboa going to take that overall win, followed by Jackson Anderson going to take the second. Wyatt Lawson third. Aiden Ridgeway fourth. But overall, it's going to be Dalton. Oh, no, Wyatt Lawson, Lawson, Pippen, Jackson Anderson, and Aiden Ridgeway finish with a top three. So Peyton Puckett. Gonna round out that top five, and it's gonna be overall Dalton Balboa, Patrick Rossiter, Wyatt Lawson, Michael Rinke, Aiden Ridgeway, your top five overall as we're getting ready for some podiums. All right, everybody, we hope you haven't been enjoying the, the coverage today. That's our last lap, our last lap of racing. 
We're going to do some podium presentations, and I think that's going to be it for our production. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in with us all day. We greatly appreciate it. Uh, we saw some like, very exciting racing going on. Congratulations to B-Rose getting that first big win under his belt. Taking that Pro Nitro buggy win. Absolutely amazing for B-Rose. I'm super pumped for him. Lee Setzer getting a TQ as well over an e-buggy. That was very good for him. Even though he didn't take that win, Tyler Jones can take something out of this race. Taking a TQ, starting second over on Pro Nitro buggy. And finishing fifth, Mason Fuller. Thank you, Kevin Peterson. Thank you, Derek. I appreciate it, guys. Thank you to all the Elite RC Productions crew. And, um, hey, I'm tired. <laughs> Danny, I didn't know you was going to put me on camera. Come on, man. Uh, we're going to go out and do our podium presentations. Are we going to cut the stream now or are we going we gonna to video the podiums? Okay, all right. Uh, thank you, Lenny Langford. Uh, we're just waiting for everybody to get sorted out. Uh, absolutely. Great opening one eight scale race for the start of the year. If you guys can't uh, agree with me on that, then I don't know. We, we aren't RC fans. What a great race. Brandon Rose, good job. Congratulations. Congratulations to Dakota Fan and Ryan Mayfield as well. As well. All right, let me go over and uh, I wonder if we're doing interviews as well. All right, here we go, guys. Your 2024 yeah, Southern Indoor Championship 40 plus E buggy podium in the number five spot. It's going to be Ever Lobos. In the number four spot, it's going to be Mark Moon. In the number three, it's going to be Chuck Berg. In the number two, Donald Elliott. And your 2024 Southern Indoor Champion here at 40 plus E buggy, Bryce Beaver. All right, E-Truggy, E-Truggy, you're next. E-Truggy, you're next. Wyatt Lawson, Peyton Puckett, Michael Rinke, Hunter King, and Fee Long. Sorry, sorry about that. Uh, e truggy, let's go, guys. E truggy, let's go. E truggy. Uh, uh, let's go. Uh, fifth, Wyatt Lawson. Fourth, Peyton Puckett. Third, Michael Rinke. Second, Hunter King. And Fee Long. First place. Come on, guys. TQ's also Fee. The monster. Yeah. You got TQ also. Uh, third. You got third. Third. You got fourth. 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 Hunter got second. All right, here we go. 2024 Southern Indoor Championship E Truggy Podium. In the number five spot, it's going to be Wyatt Lawson. In the number four, it's going to be Peyton Puckett. In the three, Michael Rinke. In the number two, Hunter King. And your 2024 Southern Indoor Champion, uh, Southern Indoor Champion, yep. TQ and winner in the number one spot, Fee Long win. All right, guys, Pro E Buggy, you're up next. Pro E Buggy up next.
All right, I need Brandon Rose, Fee Long Win, Mason Fuller, Dakota Fend, and Ryan Mayfield. TQ goes to Lee Setzer, Lee Setzer, TQ, Lee Setzer. You close by? Is Lee close by, TQ? Lee Setzer, TQ, you earned that one, buddy. That wasn't given to you, you earned that one hard. Is he close by? Lee Setzer? No, Lee? Lee Setzer, TQ. Hold on one second, guys. We're waiting on Lee. Lee Setzer, TQ. Oh, my Lord. I did. Sorry, guys, waiting on Lee Setzer here, our TQ. Here he comes. Oh, I'm so glad we're done before 8 o'clock. Whoop. No midnight. Yeah, I see him. <laughs> Is he going to jump the rail? Oh, for a minute there, I thought he was going to jump the rail. <laughs> All right. Here he comes. TQ. Come on over here. Right here, buddy. All right. TQ, Lee, or 2024 Southern Indoor Championship, Pro E Buggy Podium, TQ, Lee Setzer. In the number five spot, Brandon Rose. In the number four, Fee Long Win. In the number three, Mason Fuller. In the number two, Dakota Finn. And your 2024 Southern Indoor Championship Pro E Buggy Champion. In that top spot, it's Ryan Mayfield. All right. So now it's Sportsman E-Buggy. You're up next, sirs. Sportsman E-Buggy. So I need Derek Persley. Randall Cart's not here. He's TQ in fourth. Brian, Brandon Campbell third. Josh Fine second. And Orion Green, your winner. Sportsman E-Buggy. Sportsman E-Buggy, please. All right, here we go, 2024 Southern Indoor Championship. Your sports buggy <laughs> in that number five spot is Derek Persley. And the number four, Randy, Randy Carr Jr. And the number three, Brandon Campbell. And the number two, Josh Fine. And your 2024 Southern Indoor Champion here for Sportsman E-Buggy, Orion Green. All right, here we go. The enemy e buggy Good racing with you again. All right, here we go. Intermediate D buggy in the number five spot. It's going to be Aiden, four, Michael Rinke, three, Wyatt Lawson, two, Patrick Rossiter. And your race winner is going to be Dalton Balboa. And I need TQ, Peyton Puckett. TQ, Peyton Puckett. And Peyton, you're going to come down here on the end by fifth place. TQ got Peyton right here. Peyton got, got TQ. Do, 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 do. All right. Yep. There you go. 
All right, 2024 Southern Indoor Championship. Intermediate E buggy, podium finishers, TQ, Peyton Puckett. In the number five spot, Aiden Ridgeway. In the number four, Michael Rinke. In the three, Wyatt Lawson. In the two, Patrick Rossiter. And your 2024 Southern Indoor Championship here for Intermediate E buggy is Dalton Balboa. Thank you, everybody, for coming out to the Southern Indoor Championship here in Otagaville, Alabama. We hope everybody have a good time, and we would love to see you at PNB in April. Thank you. Please have a safe trip home, and we will see you all in about three months. All right, everybody, that is it for us today here at the Southern Indoor Championship 2024. What a great weekend of races we've had. And uh, I can't wait to get home and talk about it all on the podcast. But I want to say a big thank you to all of the Race Time Entertainment crew, especially Dave Lycom for having us here and his crew doing a great job putting on a great race. Shout out to all the racers that came out and uh, raced her and put on a great show for all of us at home. Shout out to all you guys who followed us all weekend in the chats on YouTube, Facebook, and and uh, YouTube and Facebook, sorry. Uh, we can't do it without you guys' support. We greatly appreciate it. If you're on the cusp of coming to this race, think about coming next year. But up next is that PNB, PNB coming up in about three months. That's the next big major race and the most psycho race on the planet. PMB Psycho Nitro Blast coming up in uh, the first week of May in White Pine, Tennessee. You can go sign up right now or pre-register on rcsignup.com. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed everything. Big shout out to Brandon Ruiz. Congratulations to him. Congratulations to Ryan Mayfield, Dakota Fenn, Tyler Jones also having a good run, Mason Fuller, everybody there in the intermediate and sportsman classes for all their hard work as well. We're going to sign off for tonight. Uh, remember, everybody, Help grow RC, Nitro's to glory, E-Buggy pays the bills, Lefty and Elite RC crew are out for the night. Thank you guys for all the support. We love you. RC is awesome. Bye. We hope you are enjoying the live broadcast of the 2024 Southern Indoor Championship. But don't forget, the granddaddy of them all is coming up in April, the Psycho Nitro Blast. And we hope to see you guys there. We hope you guys are enjoying the live broadcast of the 2024 Southern Indoor Championship, and we can't wait to see you at the next Race Time Entertainment event. <laughs>